Let's go, guys. Oh, God. <clears throat> Horrible. <clears throat> Horrible. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Right, I, I am pretty much ready to go. I just need quite a moment. Oh, wait, hold on. How's the... I'm not dropping frames, am I? No, okay. Okay, good. I am almost ready, my friends. I had to bench last night. Saw the VOD. Can't believe I wiped the group in the trial. Classic. <laughs> hey, but you see those dodges, though. Come on, now. Come on, you saw the dodges, though. Sick. Okay, I can do this for you guys, and then I need to very, very, very briefly. I need to get, get all these. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do that later. That's fine. Uh, unless, hold on. Hold on, me mateys. I need but a moment. Um, yeah, sorry I'm late today, guys. Well, I'm not late, but, like, sorry I'm, like, starting, um, later than I normally would. I am, uh, I had a business meeting today. I had a business meeting, so. Oh, perfect, I'll do that. Here. And I just need to finish. Just need to send some photos very quickly. It's that time of night again. Heck yeah. Heck yeah it is. It's that time of night, baby. Right. And then. But I wanted to at least get on screen and show my face, even if I'm kind of technically... Technically doing what I'm doing. Oh, no. Is that going to upload individual? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't upload individual, bro. Don't do this. Cyber, uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's Yo, known okay, in the community. Yeah, okay, stick around because raid time is about to begin again. It's going to drop the reset and watch it. Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy your raid today, my friend. Enjoy. Good luck and have fun. Mm-hmm. Good luck and have fun, dude. Thank you so much. Heck yeah. Business, you say? Business. I actually got a lot of stuff I've been... Sort of... Not... Not struggling with, but like neglecting. Like I've been kind of holding off on all my all my business stuff um, since being in Japan. But I will wait no longer. Uh, so yes, that's what I was doing last night and today. Actually, doing some business last night. Doing some business today. Uh, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. I'm trying to I'm trying to get some cool things for you guys. Um, so yeah, some potential sponsor stuff as well. So this thing I'm currently doing. It's um, it's quite cool. It's I mean, it's not like a secret. I, I don't need to like like some stuff is like sponsored stuff where you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't talk about it until it's like official. But this thing I'm I did is like, it's like whenever anybody so I can set it up so that whenever anybody subscribes or donates or like whatever I want really, it will do TTS of me. So it'll be my voice, it'll be my face up on screen. I know you think inside your face is, and voice is already on screen. Why are you doing this? But like, you guys will be able to type out whatever message you want, and then it'll be me saying it. So, yeah. It's uh, gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty fun, I think. Sounds like an AI nightmare. Uh, I mean, maybe. It might be a nightmare, but it might be amazing. You know, double the side, double the content. Bam! There you go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to trial it. I'm going to see what I think about it. I'm going to trial it and see what I think. Oh, no, I do? Yep. Nice. I need to get all these. Copy. So I just need to um, do this very quickly. Um, but yeah, the plan today, so yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously late as a result of this, but, uh, the plan today, 
Please let me drop. Please let me drop. Please let me drop. Please let me drop. Come on. Come on. Please let me drop, bro. Yeah, so the plan today is more MSQ. We're going to finish this bad boy off. I think that's the plan today. We did 12 hours yesterday. I don't know how long today is going to be. <laughs> I don't know how long today is going to be. We will find out, you know? Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. We'll start with the roll quest, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That we will. <clears throat> oh, I just realized something. Emptiness. Baga. Oh, I'm gonna just do this off the stream. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that after stream. Forget it. I'm doing that after stream. Wasting no more time. Yes, good morning to those that are watching on whichever platform you may be watching on. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, we'll have one roll quest chain. Okay, we'll start that now. Where, where is that again? It's I've already picked it up, I think, right? Did I already pick it up? Uh, it's over here somewhere. I think I already have it. No greater sport. I am. There it is. So I gotta go to Fort Job very quickly. You got your own 14 stream planned? What do you mean? My own 14 what stream? Uh, by the way, Rusty Boy, great job yesterday. Great job yesterday. We had a we had a whole barrel of fun, dude, and we 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 slammed some partner plus points, man. Thank you for giving me the courage to talk about it again. Thank you for giving me the the strength, Chief. Um. Oh, what yummy drink? What's it on? I'm drinking. I'm sipping on chai tea. The tea in Japan is not. I mean, like, they do good tea, right? But, like, like there's, like, matcha tea, and there's fruit tea, and stuff like that. And it's, like, I don't want that with a cookie. You know, I don't want, like, a cookie and, or, like, some a slice of cake and a fruit tea. Like, no, dude, I want British, mate. I want English, British, proper, fatty, naughty tea. No old grey. They have old grey here, but A, it's expensive. And B, old grey is good, actually. Like, old grey is good in, like, as, like, a special tea. But when you drink it every time, it's too strong. It's too intense. It becomes, like, medicinal. Basically, did yesterday there's no fo shot you finished today. Nah, come on. Come on. Believe in me. Believe in me. Come on now. Russ is the Lord Lollarito of streamer managers, building an empire one sub at a time. I just can't believe he stole my stream yesterday. I mean, actually, I can. And Russ was starting with spoilers. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, sort of the zone and stuff like that but I don't know maybe this quest is going to be spoilers but it's fine it's fine Russ is in Shadowbringers as well or something maybe or close he's close to it he's close to it here we are our proving grounds you need only slay a beast of suitable ferocity before my very eyes to demonstrate your own Naturally, re to demonstrate your own. Naturally, we require bait to lure one out of hiding. Oi, me lord. Got your package here. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yes, me lord. Okay, then. Peace out. Alright, man. Take it easy. 
Take it easy, Rossi boy. I would, I wouldn't, I, I would like normally like not get into stuff straight away, but I started stream late today because of this meeting. So like, I want to just kind of, well, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm just going to go in with the flow, man. Yeah, looking forward to the podcast on Friday. Guys, podcast is on Friday. Me and Rossi boy. It's going to be 3 p.m. UK, I think. 3 p.m. UK, which is my 11 p.m. I'm staying up late on Friday for you guys because that's what a lovely young gentleman that I am is. That's what I am. That's what I be. Oh, uh, Royal Quest 100% pretty significant to others in their own right. Okay, sure. Tomorrow? It's it's my tomorrow, yeah. It'll be your guys' tomorrow as well. It'll be my 11 p.m., which is means it'll be everybody else's Friday as well. Well done, my good man. And here is your payment. Okay, maybe all cap boys look the same, actually. This guy kind of looks like Graham. Oh, this. The bait in question. Easier to have it delivered than to take a detour and pick it up myself. Rather more efficient as well. Time is money. Now then, you need only place it in the open and slay whatever comes to claim it. I cannot imagine it will take long for something to come here hither. Nice, man. It's efficient. Efficient, bro. I come up to this dude. He's like, yo, go slay this beast. I'm like, yep, I got you. We're here. We just kill it. We got it. I dislike that NPC. Hey, uh, you know, we'll see. I only just met the dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a fair little shot. But yeah, how you guys doing? Sorry, I started streaming. I was like, or I was like in the middle of trying to do some business -y things. Trying to load some damn photos, man. Why is it so hard? But yeah, so, um... So yeah, um... Oh no, I missed it. Ravenous Smilodon. Yesterday was sick. We had a good old time yesterday, man. Yesterday was really cool. Oh, I want to try something. So, if I pull you... Stunned, okay, bro. So what? A, oh, now I can do this. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Life so track. I nabs. Yep. It's Wednesday. How dare you? Yeah, but Friday will be Friday. It doesn't matter what today is, Friday will still be Friday. Like, it doesn't... No matter what happens today, Friday will be Friday. Fantastic. I knew I was not wrong about you. Come, let us return to the Crystarium at once. Oh, that was easy. Okay. But then again, you guys have still told me this is going to take a couple hours, so... Okay. Mm -hmm. Friday's Friday, baby. Oh, I went, I'm, I'm, I'm an I'm a EP sleepy boy today, but I actually feel like decent in energy, but god damn, I'm, I gotta stop going to bed so late, man. I went out for food last night, uh, so, I, I, okay, so I finished stream, I finished, I did a 12 hour stream, finished stream at 9 something, got ready, left the house, and went to, uh, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to the gym. I can't make it to the gym. Um, I was like, because the time. I was like, if I go to the gym and I get dinner, I'm going to just fall behind. And then tomorrow's stream is going to be late. And then the next day's stream is going to be late. And it's just going to never end. Um, so I was like, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to nip it in the bud now. I'm going to just, I'm going to take the hit. You know, my bad for streaming too long. I'm not going to go to the gym. So I walk in. Now, the place that I was going to get dinner is right next to where my gym is. So I'm walking to this restaurant. And so I just went to the gym. So I went So I went to the gym. Because um, I was like, you know, I was like, well, I should go to the gym. So I did. 
So I, I did, wasn't able to really stick to my guns there. So unfortunately, I did a workout last night. But I did like a little like speed run, speed round. Oh god, I can see my eyes are like, fuck. I did a little speed run, and then um, which was pretty fun actually. Like I just did some, just did some, some quick stuff. Uh, got in, got out, and then I went and got some food. Oh, I got, I got a new dinner spot. I got a new dinner spot, man. It's like super cheap chain. You go in, you order on like a fax machine, in the corner. Um, bunch of seats, just like you go and take your seat, whatever. You like order on this fax machine, beep boop, beep beep boop boop, set it to English, cool, pick my little bits, cool, I got like a chicken, a yakudon, a yakudon, which is like chicken with, I think it was egg, honestly I don't even know, I don't even know what the hell else it was, uh, rice and stuff, like a nice little rice bowl, and then for an extra couple hundred yen, for an extra, for an extra pound, I could add like a, this uh, pork, this like peppered pork broth, with some vegetables and I'm not getting a whole lot of vegetables over here in Japan so I was like oh yes some vegetable stuff so I was like yeah I'll get that and then I got um some uh pickled vegetables as well so kind of like a kimchi but not quite it was more for, like fresh it like felt fresh and then I um and then I did so what else did I get I have a clip actually I can maybe show you guys but um then I got something else Oh, I got some some chicken. I got like a few pieces of chicken as a bonus. And, like the whole meal came to like seven pounds. Again, everything's just seven pounds. Crazy. Will Smith would he'd love it. He'd love it here. Um, so yeah, so been pretty good. Pre uh, last night was pretty neat, and then kind of just like ate there. It was nice. It was good. It was it was like tasted really good. Uh, very filling, and then just um, and then came home. And then came home and then chilled. I tried to play some World of Warcraft last night. But I didn't get into a single dungeon. So I basically kind of chilled. I did some, like, business stuff. Chilled. Was some, like, signing up for keys in the meantime. Didn't get into a single one. Uh, and then just went to bed. <laughs> I was like, nice, okay. That was that was a cool waste of time. And then I uh, went to bed. You gotta stop cheating on stream and seeing this gym person every night. Where you could be spending time with us. Oh my goodness. But Jim, he makes me he makes me big, he makes me strong. He makes me feel good. Come on, I gotta get that summer bod for the calendar. Mm hmm Congratulations on a kill well made, my good woman. I dare say this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. Let us commemorate the occasion with a feast. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, this guy's treating me nice. Sounds like the average wild gameplay loop. Oh, is this voice acted? Wait, why did it go through? Wonderful stuff, isn't it? My compliments to the chef. Another helping? No, are you sure? It really is no bother. Oh, very well. I should like to return our, to our earlier discussion, that of the virtue I have engaged you to hunt with me. Oh. Who's this? Andrea is her name, and she roams Norrent in the guise of Renda Ray. Hold on. I think I know another woman of a similar name, but I think she's in a different industry. Fallen warrior of light and renowned hunter of elves. Oh, a warrior of light, not even of darkness. Oh, she is the most elusive eater who has been sighted in every corner of the realm, though her movements are unpredictable. She has often been witnessed pursuing and slaying extraordinarily dangerous beasts. You can well imagine the question forming in your head. Why not leave her be? If anything, she is not aiding local communities after a fashion. Alas, no, for the beast she slays rise anew as eaters which pose even greater threats to the small folk so you see this one wretched sin eater is in truth sowing untold chaos by carrying on as she does okay but she's not like a light one or anything she can't be unleashing more of her kind on unsuspecting towns and villages all across Norbrand. 
Only you and I can stop her. What do you think this is, MSQ? Yeah, what the hell? I thought it was voice- I mean, they voice acted- Okay, they voice acted him eating and chewing, and then... That was it. I thought... Okay. She was a warrior of light. Oh, I should have said, didn't they save the world? Yeah, that would have been better, actually. Hmm. What an odd thing to ask, but never mind all that. Whether or not they were heroes or villains is whatever a hundred years ago doesn't matter to me. The simple truth is, Renda Ray was the greatest hunter who ever lived. Beating her at her own game would be an amazing feat, don't you think? <clears throat> and regardless of what the Warriors of Light were before... Wait, what? YouTube is blowing up with new game again. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't mean my YouTube is dying, right? Wait, or... What do you mean? Regardless of what the Warriors of Light were before they became Sin Eaters, that's what they are now. So we'd be doing folks a favor by killing one. Well, what say you, friend? Will you hunt Andrea with me? Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I got you, got you. <clears throat> Sorry, it's because I'm multi-streaming, so uh, you, like, scared me. Um, Bellatro, yes. My friends play this, and I've heard about it, but I've not actually played it. Uh-huh. All right, I will, I will help you, my friend. I will help you hunt this lady. So begins our formal partnership. Ah, I can see it now. You and me in the heat of battle, fighting side by side. The picture of courage and camaraderie. It's going to be grand. Naturally, it will take us time to study and understand our prey. Eaters can behave in strange and in inexplicable ways, particularly powerful ones like Andrea. I've been doing my best to get inside her head, to think like a hunter, but it is easier said than done. Anyway, as soon as I have determined where we ought to begin our search, I will inform you at once. Okay. Cool, so that was the first one. That was pretty chill and easy. Oh, is the reward lacking? My apologies. Next time I will see that you receive rather more substantial compensation. Good. You better, bud. Yeah, thank, thank you, rich cat boy. He's playing his bard, isn't he? I can tell by the little trousers and the bow. Nice, man. Helps out your stream has been overtaken by a Bellatro feed. I haven't, I haven't tried it. I, I, I might look into it. Might have to give it a little look. Because, yeah, it's blown up. I mean, it's so cool. These, I, I'm assuming Bellatro is from an indie dev. I think I think it is. It's so cool these days that you just, like... My, you know, uh, those conversations my friends were having the other day where they were saying about... Bel uh, well, saying about um, games in general that, like, are just being made in people's basements. These, like, indie dev games. And they're blowing up overnight and making these people just, like incredibly successful like games selling a bunch they're getting recognition they're able to then obviously probably move on to bigger projects maybe start a studio who knows what maybe go work at a big studio like whatever it may be it's like really awesome i i, I love i love in life situations where someone can just take nothing okay and they can just work really hard and then they can just achieve something really great i love that when somebody achieves something great but they're in a th their starting position was already so highly elevated i'm kind of like yeah that's cool man you just didn't fuck up all you had to do was not mess up and you did it great good job but like when someone can really like elevate themselves and can really like you know yeah take like an indie indie game and make it just a great project like that's really cool i always i always love those success stories man everybody does right everybody loves a success story like that honestly i think some of the best games coming out these days are in terms of cons well i won't say in terms of consistency because obviously there's a lot of shit indie games but like you know i think triple a's are like not pulling their weight at the moment they're they're charging you know 
way too much for the, you know, and all the DLC and the macro transactions and all the bloat and the cringe and, yeah. Yeah, some cool indie dev stuff. I, I wish I played more indie dev games, though, you know? And, like, and this is the thing. is like, I can appreciate something from a distance. Like, just because I don't play a bunch of indie games doesn't mean that I don't think that it's really awesome that, like, they exist. Just most of my gaming is stream gaming and it's MMOs, you know? But I still like seeing the success stories. I hate them. I prefer when everyone fails. All right, Emmett. Did you specify that's a joke? I think some people might believe that for real. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously it's a joke. Wait, it's you. It's really you, me. You actually came. I mean, uh, never mind. Uh -huh. You're here to hunt Andrea with me, yes? Of course you are. Why else would you be here? And wouldn't you know it, one of my hirelings should be returning with new information any moment now. Greetings, greetings, my lord. I'm pleased to report that Andrea was recently sighted in Amarang, in the vicinity of Samuel's backbone, it would seem. Apparently there was a right vicious spider what was giving folks trouble. Now that it's been turned, it's about a dozen times worse. They'd be grateful for any assistance. I see, I see. Well done, my friend. Your payment as promised. I wonder if she's like purposely trying to do this though like yeah like working well I mean she's like a warrior of light but I wonder that's weird hmm I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the story man Shadowbringers has been a great expansion everything has been good I've even been doing side quests randomly just because I want extra stuff crazy why bother going out and and about pestering the small folk for news when you can employ others to do it for you. The better to devote our precious time to rather more important matters, I say. Yeah, man. I should outsource my stuff as well. And owing to my winning strategy, we may now depart for Amarang and the delightfully named Samuel's Backbone. For in pursuing the spider, we may yet find its maker. Mm. Yes, it's me, Denki. Hello. Wow, and you are a person of many names. You are a person of, of many names. How deep does this, does this rabbit hole go? Any of a thousand faces. An illusion, what are you hiding? This is certainly the place. I gather those bones once belonged to dear Samuel. Sam Samuel. But I see no troublesome arachnid. It being a rather large desert, I had considered hiring a few trackers to hasten our search, but I have yet to spy a place where such individuals might congregate. Pity. Ah, nothing for it but to roll up our proverbial sleeves and do the dirty work ourselves. We shall split up and search the sands for the sin eater spider. Whoever finds it first may have the honor of slaying it themselves. <gasps> Thanks, bud. And should we not find it, well, after we both have searched for a suitable length of time, I shall... I say we meet back here. Let the hunt begin. Damn. This guy kind of lazy, man. This guy kind of lazy. He's like, ah, uh, you know, look, if we don't find it... Look, I, don't worry, buddy. I'm going to find it, okay? I'm, I'm, t I'm, I'm 10 for 10 on, on finding things. Whenever they send me, whenever they're like, okay, let's split up. Sai, you go this way. I, it's always the way that I go. Every time. It was a few weeks ago, the big Easter party for Demo Scene Revision. I actually don't know what that is, but... No spider, okay. I actually don't know what that is, but like, I assume it's some, uh, an indie, indie dev game. It's cool, man. 
I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Have you guys seen, uh, actually speaking of indie devs, have you guys seen the new World of Warcraft update that's coming? Okay, that sounded like a meme, but I'm actually being serious. I thought I may as well make a joke, but um, it, they, they're actually doing an update. They're doing a Missa Pandaria remix. It's um, a limited time event. Start fresh with a new character and play at, any, uh, play at an accelerated pace. Play through all quest scenarios, dungeons, and raids. Unleash your true potential with mighty powers and loot. Collect account-wide cosmetics, new and old. I'm like, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know if this sounds cool or not. But like, some people are like, oh, this is going to be awesome. But like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Why they're doing like a limited time Miss of Pandaria? All Pandaria zones, all the dungeons, raids, have all the progression, including Quake of Infinite Potential, Spell Gems, and new itemization. So they're doing a limited time re-release of Mists. Okay. Okay, I, I, I guess. Never played mobs, so I'd give it a go. Yeah, I just, I don't understand why there's so much time-gated stuff. Like, they're releasing so much stuff where it's just like, yep, limited time, by the way. Because they, like, just made limited time Plunderstorm. They've got Season of Discovery, which is, like, phases of limited time events, right? And then they have, um... Oh, it's not a spider, it's a scorpion. You lied to me. Yeah, just, uh... It's that FOMO, man. Yeah, but, like, the problem is... Too much FOMO means that people are gonna just, like... Like, if I get over... Like, if, if something seems like... If I've got FOMO of something, but the, 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 the doing it seems, like, feasible, then... Okay, that's cool. F FOMO probably worked a bit. But if you hit me with back-to-back -back FOMO, uh, fear of missing out. Like, you you, you do it, like, the, the reason... Like, so, so, yeah, you can probably understand from the context, but, like, the reason that they limit the time is so that people are like, oh my god, I'm going to miss out, I need to resub. Because if, if it's there permanently, then you just go, uh, I'll play it next time I resub. And you're like, ah, I'll play it in the future. But if you know, it's kind of like when people, when stores, they do like, oh, limited time offer on this special product. And you're like, oh shit, it's limited. Okay, I'm going to buy like five of them because it's like, it might go. It's like, shit like that, right? Uh, you got that fear of missing out on it. So you resub and then, yeah. Uh, Mr. Bojangles, thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you. Just tuned in, did I miss anything? Nah, not really. I've, I've started this quest with this little uh, rich cat boy. He's kind of just... Well, he's lazy. He's ba he's me. He's me if I he's me if I was implanted into an MMO. Yo, buddy, you want to do this for me? I'll pay you. Wild devs just seem desperate. Desperate? I I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Like I I think the wild devs are actually doing like a really awesome job. I I don't think it's like desperate per se. I think you know, as a dev, you're probably just designing the content. Oh, hold on. Oh, sick. Echo. Who's this big boy? That looks pretty cool. There she is. The scour The scourge. I can't say this word. The sc The scourge. The scourge. The scour of Norvrent. The devourer of souls. Balam quits. Okay, she said a lot of things that I don't know what's going on. Devourer of Souls, Balam quits. We bring this mark down, they'll be singing ballads about us till the end of time. Never mind the king's bounty. Hells, we could buy ourselves a couple of castles apiece. Flanking maneuver as discussed. Wait for my signal, then we'll strike as one. Scourge. Arr. You got the scourgey, do ya? Oh, I think this thing's gonna probably mess him up a bit. Damn it, she's on to us. Don't panic, we planned for this. 
will act as decoys while Renda Ray brings her down. Go, go! Wait, not yet. There's no need to rush this. Oh, no. Oh, they pulled before the tank. Oh, they're running in with their bows. What are you doing? You have a bow. Solid. Always so headstrong. Bugger me! My head! I can't... You pull your tank. They won't be doing that again. Wait, so nobody dies in this game... Except for these two guys that I don't... No. No. Come back here. Finish it, you bloody bastard. Finish me. <laughs> okay. I swear I'm getting more immature the longer I play this game. I don't know what it is, man. It's like... I'm... Yeah, I'm definitely getting more immature. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. The Warriors of Darkness did die. They did, they did, they did. They did. Ooh. Ooh. I'll not let it end like this. I promise. I'll kill that God's damn beast if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, okay, so they are, they are actually dead. Wow. See, they do kill people in this game, like uh, henchman number one and henchman number two. Hey, hey. What was that just now? I've had headaches before, but the way you were thrashing about wasn't like anything I've ever felt. Flashback characters are allowed to die, as are new characters we just met. These guys are both. It's frankly a miracle they made it past the first line. <laughs> yeah. I also, actually, the I think one of the coolest, like, sequence of character deaths is Tentar Deepcroft. I think that's one of the best, like, kind of yeah, everybody's dead, bro. Mm -hmm. Would you want to know the potential reason as to how they died and crossed the rift in Heaven's Ward? Uh... Oh. Oh, sorry, the words of... I was confused. You were talking about the words of darkness. Um... No, I'm... I'm cool on stuff. Okay, the thing... Okay, so this is the thing. Um, I don't want people to give me information pertinent to the story. Even if it's stuff that doesn't get covered in the story. Like, so for example... Um, if you tell me that a character doesn't die... That's like still a spoiler, right? But I think... So, so, so what I mean by that is like, you can tell me... Oh, do you want to know how this, you know, how this is supposed to have occurred? And I might be thinking, oh, I wonder if we're going to find out about it in the story. So I prefer to not be told, like, I don't want to be told anything until after stuff has happened and, like, things have potentially concluded. But even then, I still don't want to necessarily be told stuff because if I think that there's still something coming for a particular character or a particular plot, but then somebody just goes, oh, yeah, by the way, this is what happens. But, like, you know, yada, yada, we don't find about it in-game. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that might affect my cooking later. So, no, I don't actually want to know anything until... Like, Snacku does some really good, like, fun facts, which will maybe be something like, oh, this character originates from, like, FF3. And I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, that's not actually a fun fact. That's just every character. But, uh, you know, that kind of stuff where it's like actually genuine stuff that's like not actually pertinent to the story but like can just be extra context or something it's like okay but uh yeah no i prefer to not know anything because 
it can affect my cooks later, and it can affect what I expect to happen later, you know? If I think, oh, I think the story's gonna go somewhere, and then it's like, nope, that's the end of the story, then I'm like, oh, okay. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. Yo, Mail, thank you very much for that, dude. Hope you had a good little time. Welcome on in. How's your stream today? Uh, it's not killed. The correct time is KO'd. Um... Oh wait, the Warrior of Light has actually died loads of times and they keep getting resurrected. You can see for yourself by watching the Savage Vars. Ooh! Ooh! Harsh. Okay, but how many deaths did my teammates have? That's the, that's the question. You know what? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start raiding for passes, okay? I've decided. That's it. I'm gonna start logging. I'm gonna start raiding for logs, man. Cause, cause I'm, you know. Because you guys keep bullying, you know? Finally. No, I don't think so. Um, stream was good. Trying to push for some UCOV reclears, but we choked on golden. Ooh. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, because it's reclears. I was going to say, choking on golden, isn't that like the victory lap? That I mean, people tell me that's like the victory lap. That's unfortunate. I, you know, that happens, though. It's always, um, it's always rough on raid night when you, like, wipe it on stuff that you should not be wiping on, and you're like, ah, oh, come on, man, why is... Why is everyone just struggling tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't wait to do you club and stuff. I really want to wait for Rust to do my first ultimate, but what I'll probably end up doing is maybe finding some... Well, not to do my first ultimate, sorry. I want to do you club with Rust, but I might try and... I'd love to do, like, a streamer ultimate raid at some point. Try and get some people, like uh, Ponto, Sayori, and Todd, and, and, like, whoever else was interested. It'd be really nice. Mm. Yeah, I need to. I need to. No spoiler. Yeah, thanks, Snacky. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and sorry, I'm just reading some comments as well. Uh, I got burned out by WoW FOMO. Once you're out of the loop, it's like the spell is broken. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think once you sort of... I think once you sort of break... Like, that's what too much FOMO can do, is you end up not caring. Like, once you get past a certain point, you're just like, eh, whatever. I've missed the boat now. Who cares about missing the next boat or the next one and stuff, you know? Hmm. Do I plan on doing it or during before DT? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm... I don't know when I'm going to do my first ultimate. Because ultimate seemed like a good thing to do probably after DT. Like, it would be kind of cool to be caught up and doing relevant... Like, ultimates I can do whenever... But to, to, to get the experience of going into the first tier of Dawn Trail Raid with everyone else sounds really exciting. Failing that, the second tier, right? But if I try and do an ultimate, it might impact my ability to get to that point. So basically it comes down to if I'm going to try and be in Dawn Trail ready for raid release for the first tier, or if I'm just going to accept, you know, accept that I'm not going to make it and go, nope, let's just chill, let's just, you know... Enjoy the ride, in which case, yeah, I probably would schedule in an ultimate at some point, you know, maybe. I was planning on kind of doing ultimates when I hit max level, because it just sort of makes sense, right? But, but yeah, I mean, even going into an ultimate, like, what I, what, uh, actually, 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 man, man, this is a very good point. I don't need to do five days a week, eight hours a day of an ultimate. 
I can do one day a week. We go, alright guys, this is our this is our, our ultimate day. And we kind of just like plug away at it slowly. So I can do say like three MSQ days, one ultimate and one whatever day, you know? So I pro actually, yeah, I probably will try and do an ultimate soon actually. Because I don't, I don't, I keep getting into this mindset where I'm like, no, I have to do it, the whole, everything all at once, you know, like, I can pace it out, I can do one day a week, like, I don't have to completely just no life it, yeah. Um, by the gods, I thought we were lucky just to catch a glimpse of Andrea, but you're also telling me you were granted a vision of her past with this power of yours. Oh, hmm. Two warriors killed while hunting a great horned beast. B says surviving companion vows to slay in revenge. I've heard this tale before. I know it. Ah, it is a common enough tale, uh, sort of tale, I suppose. And regardless, she is gone. Come, let us return to the Crystarium and celebrate your accomplishment. Oh. So, this must be the Warrior of Light that was before the Warrior of Darkness? Yo, we got Snitch and Twitch. If someone cleared, you know what they're doing. It would just be Psy Free Prog, and that's not bad at all. Yeah, I, I, but I don't know how. I don't know whether I want to like. I would be cool with taking seven people who have cleared, like say Uwu, but I'd want to cook the fight, to some degree. Like I'd want, I'd want to have a heavy hand in like cooking stuff, right? Or, I take a mix of people, and we kind of just, like, go through together, like, trying to, like, just piece it all together. So, I've seen every ultimate, so I can't solo cook any of them. The only one I could potentially possibly solo cook is Uwu. Every other ultimate, I've, I've watched. So, you know. Have I seen T? I have. Yes. I think it's up on YouTube. I think they're all up on YouTube now. All of my ultimates are, uh, re reacts are up on YouTube. So in the group, I'd be happy to send back for a thousand pulls where you cook it out. You would be happy. Okay, see, that's what I like to hear. Annie, you're in. All I needed to hear was I'd be happy to send back for a thousand pulls. And it's like, okay, if you got that mental fortitude, let's go. Um... If you take people who haven't cleared Uwu, you'll be mega grieved. Yeah, so if I took people that haven't cleared Uwu, then I would, and I would, that's the one I was going to do, then I would, like, watch a guide. Like, like, my plan is to probably, like, do Uwu blind. But I know Uwu is particular where everyone tells me, oh, Uwu is a fight where there's this one specific mechanic that sort of, like, the whole fight revolves around, and you won't cook that. And you won't be able to do the fight because of it or like i'm paraphrasing but it's more or less like once you know that then the whole fight becomes more trivial i guess so um what i will probably do with uwu is do it blind but then each like i'll try and like so we'll start the fight mechanics will happen i'll try and figure out what we want to do i'll give it a few pulls then once I get to a point where I'm like, nah, I'm kind of stuck. So like a few pulls later, look at the guide up into that pull. Let's say we get, let's say we get 30 seconds into the fight. Okay, I'm gonna watch a guide on the first 30 seconds of the fight. Then we execute that the way that the guide does it, and we and we work on executing it. So that's a few more pulls. Then I try and get into the next bit of the fight. Okay, let's say we get another 30 seconds in. Okay, cool. I'll try and cook that and do the strat for that. Ah, it's... Oh, okay, it came together and we managed to do it. Okay, awesome, cool. I don't need to watch a guide for that 30 seconds. We can do the next 30 seconds, right? And then I, I know that there's a whole thing where, like, you're probably going to need to, like... Stuff that you do early is going to affect what you do late and stuff like that, right? Because that's how a lot of ultimates go. So I will eventually watch through a full guide, but I'll try and, like, sort of slowly unveil it rather than just watching a full guide start to finish and then go in and just doing that, you know? So... Yeah, I'd be happy to do uwu and uh, time permitting and just shrug and chat while cooking. Yeah, I mean, that would be sick. Like, if I could take a group of people that are just... Because I don't think anyone's ever solo cooked a, an ultimate before. So I would love to at least give it a good old college try. 
uh, and see, but like the thing is, I don't know what it's going to be like. So I might get in there and it might be like, oh, this isn't too bad to cook. Or it might be like, this is absolutely hell. I hate it. I don't want to do it. This isn't enjoyable. In which case, we'll change it. If I go in and it's not fun, we'll change it. I want it to be fun. Par like, that is paramount. That is number one, it has to be fun. Number two is whatever. Number three is we buy a boost. suggest going for the newest one doesn't matter even if it's your first and that fight has all eyes on it and probably the most viewership nobody can call call you carried either or anything i don't care about getting called carried anyone who's gonna say that somebody got carried for a thing is like they're just they're just jealous because they don't have any friends that's all it is that's all it is i don't care whenever anyone says like somebody getting carried i'm like honestly you can literally eat my shorts. Yeah. Try it first. If you don't succeed, watch a guide. Yeah, exactly, Saku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you let you cook for content? Yeah, I mean, cool. If I could take seven people, that would let me cook for content. Cool. And then it wouldn't matter whether they'd done the fight before or not, you know? Yeah, if you solo cook uwu even a little bit at a time before checking a guide, that's not being carried. Yeah, no, for sure. But, no, but I'm, like, I get the point that they're making, right? Of, like... If I take seven people that have done the fight before and we go in and then it's just me that has to learn the fight, then I, I am getting, I am getting carried. But like, dude, everyone's getting carried all the time by everything uh, ever. You know, like, what's your definition? You know, it's like, I'm not bothered about that. I'm not worried. I, I don't, I'm, huh. contrary to YouTube comments, um, I don't, I don't have an ego where like, I need to be the man, you know? I just try and, I just want to do stuff that's like fun, you know? I just want to do some stuff that's fun. If the content seems fun, then I'll do it, man. My brain brings you joy, perfect. Yeah, content is years old, who cares? Exactly, Bessie, that's what I'm saying, like who cares? Yeah, just have fun. I don't recommend DSR before Dawn Trail so you get an authentic current experience. DSR also looks like it's the best one. I'll poll it. I'll probably do a poll at some point soon, actually. I'll probably do a poll and just be like, right, what do people want to see? How, how, you know, which one do they want to see first? And, and kind of when should I do it sort of thing to it, to some, some level. Eight man blind fru. I don't even know what fru is. For real ultimate. French ultimate. Do you have to go and watch any J League? Oh, I haven't. Oh, let me see if there's a game on this weekend, actually. No, I was going to go on the 30th, but I ended up going to Kyoto for the day with some friends. So I was like, ah, bummer. So there's only been two home games for uh, for Cerezo so far. One was on the 8th, which was like the the two days after I got to Japan. I was like, nah, too soon. Then the next was on the 30th, last month, was in Kyoto. Well, let me see. Cerezo, it's like a home game. Let me see. The next one is this weekend, April 13th, 3 o'clock. Yo, I'm going to try to go to that. Where is it? Is it at home for... Why doesn't it tell me whether it's at home? Oh, Serzo's won four games. They've won four, drawn once. They're third in the league. Oh, sick. Stadium, Yo Yodoko Sakura Stadium. Is that the one in Osaka? Yeah. Sick, in Nagai Park. That's like so close to my house. Heck yeah. All right, I'm going to try and get to it. Thank you for the reminder, Dan. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to go watch this one this weekend. Take some pics when you go. Oh, for sure, man. I'll take pics, take videos. Yeah. Thank you. I'll book tickets now uh, or t later tonight. Thanks for the reminder. Tickets are, like, pretty cheap as all. Well. It's, like, 10, 15 pounds to go catch a game. It's, like, it's pretty reasonable. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
DSI would be a time, big time commitment. Thing is, if I committed to like one day a week, let's get right, guys. This is our ultimate one day. Uh, one day a week, we do an ultimate, and people know like every Friday is ultimates or something. Could be pretty chill, you know. The table is set, and so I bid you raise a glass with me, that together we might toast your spectacular accomplishment. There's really nothing quite like a hearty meal after a job well done. Drink up, my friend. Stop skipping. Drink up, my friend. Drink up. Belch. Had your fill? I have another few bottles ready and waiting to be opened. No? Oh, very well, if you insist. Uh, yeah, Dan, um, apparently the quality of, like, J-League football is just, like, somebody told me that it's it's like the Premier League, but they're moving in slow motion. I was like, right, okay. We'll see, man. It occurs to me, my good woman, that I have yet to ask you your name. So quickly did we forge our friendship that I hardly noticed until now. Cyber Kauai. Reek and Sai. Yes. I'd rather like the sound of that. Reek and Cyber. The daring duo. The brave bounty hunters. The scourge of sin eaters. Once we have slain Andrea, not a soul in Norrent will not know our names. They shall ring out all across the realm. Ah, but I should dwell over much on the victory before the struggle. A wise hunter is prepared and patient. It would be prudent to send double, nay, triple, the agents afield to seek out promising new leads. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a gillionaire. Worried about the budget of our brave endeavor? Well, don't be. I am prepared to fund our activities as needed. No expense shall be spared. None whatsoever. Thanks, buddy. Did you end up doing DSR? I won't do it. Just did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing, right? Is like that's the most recent one. So like that's actually probably a bad one to do because so many people will know it. You know. Maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, I don't know. Bro, these quests are really quick. I'm already on the level 74 one. There she is. Cyber, come to rejoin her bosom companion in the great hunt. B bosom companion? That is bosom, right? Oh, it's a, a very close friend. A woman's chest or breasts. Her ample bosom. Or as an adjective of a friend. Very close or intimate. The two girls had become bosom friends. Thanks, Google. Now my chat's horny. It is well that you have, for I have obtained, a new, uh, obtained new information concerning a sighting of Andrea on Calusia. The fiend has transformed yet another deadly mark, a great bear in this instance, into an even deadlier eater. And so it falls to Reek and Cybert to slay the newborn eater and continue their pursuit of Norvrant's most notorious virtue. To Galusia, and to glory. Come on, bud. I think Yukob looks like... Okay, I'm not going to say it looks like it'll be easy, but there's just something about it, man. I'm... I'm... I don't know. Just twist us, bro. Just keep running. Nah, I remember it being, uh, ultimates are so, like, it's kind of funny with Final Fantasy compared to WoW, because in WoW, you can sometimes go onto a boss, and you can just, because you're a good player, you can just do well, and you're just like, yeah, you know, I got this. In Final Fantasy, it doesn't matter how good you are, like, you need to know the dance, which is good, but also, like, sucky. Because it's like, you just are going to suck until you you know what is going on. And it and that, I guess, makes sense that it sucks, dude. Yeah, let me just pop my kettle on one sec.
guys, I cleaned my, my room yesterday as well. Do you guys want another house tour? Look at this. Check this house tour, baby. Look, look at this. Okay, we got room. That's my forehead. We got room. Look at this. Oh, look at that. The suitcase is gone, you guys. The suitcase is gone, man. Bam. And then, oh, messy bed. Wait, hold on. And then, bosh. Look at that. Nice and clean. And that's me. Inventory cleaned. Bosh. Is that a Pikachu? Yeah, you want to see it? Cheeks. Look at this little laugh. This is a special Kyoto only Pikachu. You could only get it in Kyoto Pokemon Center. Look at that little lad, man. Look at that. Quite a lot of space? Yeah, a lot. It's why I'm paying more than I, like, more than I could have. Because I wanted to, uh... I'm paying more than what I, what I could have. Like, I could have gotten a, an apartment that was, like, two-thirds the price, even potentially half the price of what I'm currently paying. But I was like, no, I want, like, open space, like, because some of them, they're, like, quite compartmentalized. You don't really get a whole lot of space in each one. So I was like, no, I want to just, like, I, I, I really want, you know, those, like, New York-style apartments that's just, I mean, they call them a studio apartment, right? But it's just open plan where, like, your kitchen is your lounge, is your bedroom, is your, like, just, but it's massive. I love that. I love that as an idea. Um, so... This is like as close to that kind of design as I can get, really. How's Carl getting on? I have a feeling, I think he might be coming home. So I came with two friends, right, Dan? Two friends already lived here, and I came here with two friends. You heard some stories, shit. Okay, well, one of my friends is already coming home. Guaranteed, confirmed. He's going back to England. And we've only been here a month. Carl is... currently living with... They're both living with our, our friends that were already here. So they've been living there for like five, four or five weeks. And then I think they're both just like, yeah, not for me, I'm going home. Which is like... I don't really know what's going on, so I don't want to speak out of turn, because I don't I don't speak to them that much. They're like they're all together and I'm like half an hour away. So like they kinda of do their thing and then I'm kinda of do my thing. So I don't really speak to them, I don't really know what's going on, but it, it's weird if they go home in my opinion, because it's like they've come here, they haven't gotten apartments, they haven't gotten jobs, they haven't really like integrated in any capacity, and then if they go home, it's like they they've kind of just done like a holiday, like of course, you're not going to be enjoying a holiday for five weeks, right? Like, you, holidays are fun, but then you want to, like, get into a routine, normality. You want to have your own space. You want to have, like, you know, your routine. You want a routine. Everybody wants a routine. So I'm, I'm not sure what's going on 100%, but um, he's potentially probably coming home or going home. I, d I don't know. He's told me he's not, but I, I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know how he's getting on. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's just because he's not enjoying it or because he, like, just doesn't want to commit to a whole year or maybe he... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate to call Travis. No, he was not a happy bunny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, like I say, they don't really speak to me, so I don't really know. Um, yeah. Most of the time when they speak to me, it's just them giving me a hard time for stuff. So I'm like, okay. So I'm kind of just doing my own thing, I'll be honest, Dan. Yeah, not here to cause drama, not, not for sure, but like, yeah, I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just doing my thing and then, you know, see what, see what happens, but yeah. Um, culture shock is real? I, I, don't, I don't even think it's that. Yeah, it's... I think to get a culture shock, you have to sort of like, I don't know. Yeah, he really wants to get his own place. If he hasn't by now, then yeah, I can imagine he ain't enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't enjoy... At 30 years old, I would not enjoy living with four other guys. Sorry, three other guys. For five weeks. Like, 
and not having a thing to get up and go and you know you know not having like a job or like a like activity like, you know like having like a like, like having a routine having stuff you know set in so but yeah i don't know i mean i'm i'm, I'm getting on well so i'm gonna stay for the full year well at least i say the full year i mean who knows maybe i'll leave after eight months or something maybe i'll go like yeah eight is cool and then i'm good to go or maybe i'll stay for like 11 or 10 or who knows but maybe i'll, I'll probably do the full full 12 so yeah so yeah, I don't know, Dan. I mean, honestly, you'll have to ask him yourself. You, you'd know more than, like, funnily enough, you'd know more about how he's getting on than I would. I, I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, but I mean, I hope they don't leave, because that would be a bummer. That would be a shame. But I say they. I mean, one one's definitely already leaving, but the other one, oh, yeah, I don't know. Carl, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Let us brook no further delay and commence our search. Separately as before in Amarang, if you catch the eater first, I grant you leave to kill it without me. I trust you will not be disappointed if the reverse were to occur. Surely not. Surely not. I myself would be most put out if I happened to lose to you a second time. So on that note, may the best hunter win. Oh, I have a feeling like I'm going to be the one to kill this one, but... I have a feeling you're going to miss it. Oh, I forgot if I can fly in this zone. Awesome. Oh, I can officially fly in every single zone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, time to make it hard. Yeah, for sure. Speak to him a bit. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But nah, I mean, we'll see. It was always going to be on the cards, I think. Them coming home. I mean, even like week one, people were joking about like, how long do we have to be here before we can go home where people won't make fun of us. I just think it's rough if you tell your whole family and friends, like, yeah, I'm going, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm leaving the country, I'm, I'm gonna see the world, and then, like, four weeks later, you're like, yeah, nah, I'm good. Anyway, mom, where's the hot pockets? You know, like, I just think, I think, commit, I think, commit commit you know you know what's gonna happen if you go home you know 100 percent what's gonna what's gonna happen if you go home you're gonna you're gonna do the same thing that you've been doing if you stay who knows maybe you know who knows maybe maybe you love it maybe you love it maybe there's an element that opens up to you that doesn't open up immediately you know um that's the specific type you're definitely specific yeah Yo, I love that in this game, there's just a bunch of, like, different hunters. Like, they all travel in groups of, like, fours and fives and stuff. That They're all out here for the dungeon content, you know? Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, in terms of the ultimate stuff, by the way, yeah. I I'm you You've inspired me now. I, I think I can start putting an ultimate into play. I think that would actually be pretty good to start doing one soon. I'm gonna look to. I'm gonna plan it out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna think about what I want to do. Um, get some ideas from you guys, and then and let's see. What would you say he's most specific about specifically? Uh, the specifics, I think. Mostly. I'm gonna grab my coffee one sec. thing for me when coming to Japan was like 
the thing that I struggled with coming to Japan was alcohol. I, I, I really don't like the effects of alcohol, the dehydration, the anxiety the next day, the sort of depression. Like, I'm just sunken. When, I, when, I, when I'm... I don't know, maybe I have, like, a good diet, or maybe I actually have a decent lifestyle where, like, I just feel fresh. Like, I just feel good in my day-to-day. -day. Uh, he says when his eyes are literally closing because he's tired. Um, but, like, I feel fresh, you know, I feel good. But when I drink, three, four days after I've drank, um, my head is still cloudy, I, I still don't feel quite myself, I... I don't feel very talkative, I just don't, I just feel like my world just shrinks whenever I drink, and it's, I just don't like it anymore, uh, and, I don't know, when I came to Japan, I was like, yeah, you know, like, I'll, I'll do a bit, like, in England, I don't really drink, but I was like, I'll come to Japan, yeah, you know, like, I like the nightlife in Japan, like, yeah, sure, and then, um, I've done it a few times since being here, and I'm, like, I much prefer the weekend I just had on Saturday, where I went to the Formula One, and just, like, the whole time, I just felt good you know so yeah i'm not gonna say i'm never gonna drink again because i think that's just like too hard to just say and commit to but um i for sure don't enjoy doing it regularly that's for sure that's for sure yeah might depend on the alcohol yeah probably probably but also yeah de the dehydration and depends how long you drink and stuff as well yeah, I had a couple drinks on Saturday, out for the whole Sunday. Yeah, because that's the thing as well. If I go out on a Saturday, my Sunday is gone. So I'm committing two days, and it's like, do I really want to commit two days? Like, I've just had a whole hard week. Okay, say a hard week of streaming. Like, you know, there are way harder jobs out there. But, like, um, I've had, like, a, you know, many hours of streaming. Long, uh, fuck it. This, I think this job is pretty hard, or can be. Um, I had like a long week of streaming and stuff, and then, um, and then it's like, do I really want to commit both days of my weekend and sacrifice them and then go straight back into streaming again? Like, don't I want like, you know, some relaxed time and some sort of chill time and, and, you know, things like cleaning my apartment and like doing all my chores and stuff like, it's also good to do. And it's like, it'll just clean me out for both days, you know? He's missing, yeah, he strikes you as someone sporadic. He's missing his league battle pass grinds, I reckon. He's homesick. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, probably, yeah. I get tired talking to people for an hour. God knows how you do it non-stop for six plus. Yes, I did a 12-hour stream. Like, and I don't stop talking. So, yeah, it's pretty... I mean, for me, like, I think... You know, funnily enough, there was the whole thing with, like, Hassan. Where Hassan said something... I think it was Hassan where he said something like streaming is, like, an exhaustive job or, like, mentally draining or something. Was it Hassan? I think he said streaming is, uh, oh yeah, I think he said uh, streaming is emotionally draining or something. And then people, uh, I am not 100% sure, but I think people took his, what he said, and then like really twisted it to make it seem like he said, you know, streaming is harder than being like a coal miner or working on an oil rig or some shit. Like people made it seem like he was saying that streaming is the hardest job in the world or something. And then a bunch of people memed on him and even some other streamers were like, streaming's easy, bro. And I'm like, yeah, no, sure, like, of course, but... What was that? But, like, also, there's, um... It's emotionally draining. Like, uh, it's just a lot of talking. A lot of talking, a lot of thinking. It's, like, draining. You know, you can be tired at the end of it. After, after a week of 50 hours or so of streaming and stuff, you're pretty, like... Yeah, socially. It's like socially draining. That's what he said, right? He said it's socially draining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Socially draining. Yeah, he said something dumb but meant something reasonable. Yes. Yeah, exactly, Nick, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the thing with streamers, man. Like, sometimes, like, you know, you're on camera for a long time. You don't always word everything perfectly. There's a bunch of stuff that I word poorly, and I'm like, I think about it. I'm like, I didn't want to word it like that. I wanted to word it better. But it's like, it's too late now. You know, it's, it's in the ether now. So if there are people waiting, especially when you're a big streamer, there are people waiting for you to say something so that they can clip it and just like, oh, you fucked up, gotcha. And that's kind of harsh. 
But it's like, imagine you had a camera on you for eight hours a day every day. Like, you'd say some dumb shit. You'd say some shit that you don't really fully mean or haven't really fully thought through or maybe got misconstrued or something. Like, so that's why I'm always kind of easy when it comes to, like, streamers saying dumb shit. Depends how dumb, though. Depends how dumb it is. Some of them say some really dumb shit. Couldn't handle teaching 30 middle school students and 15 classes. Yeah, be oh, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, like okay, yeah. Imagine being like a teacher. That would be insane because it's a similar. You're doing a lot of talking, but you're also just like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's that would be a hard job. That would be a really really hard job. Yeah, really depends if you have the right mental fortitude to be a people person. I can never take so my energy just to ha heckle in chat five times in 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're like typing out. You're like. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Got a new coworker and he yaps all day and it's more exhausting trying to talk to him than doing all what to do work all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I work in cybersecurity. Oh, thank you for keeping me safe. I appreciate you, thank you. Hate to say it, Cyber, but it seems we're late to the party. Lambrid and his mates slew the bear before we could. So it's true then. You cast your lot in with the boy. You poor daft sod. But I don't understand. The Eater was a newborn. How could he possibly have learned of it? And gotten here before we did. Well, see, that's the problem with relying on hired help. They're loyal to your coin, not you. And you're not the only one willing to open his purse. Always oh, angry. But more importantly, Reek, what's this I hear about you hunting Andrea? With help, I mean, rather than all by your lonesome. I have a distinct memory of you storming off in a huff saying you didn't need me or anyone else to finish the job. Tell me, I'm wrong. Also, he's a little punk. Do as you like, help or no, you've no chance of beating me to the prize. Because unlike you, I'm not all talk. Neither are me mates. Speaking of me mates, how much did it cost you to buy her friendship? Do tell. Not much, actually. It's part of the MSQ, so I was kind of forced to do it. So he didn't have to spend too much. Because having a sandwich day? Ooh, with who? This sounds cute. Oh, they're laughing. Piss off, Landbird. Why are you still here? You got your mark, didn't you? You should choose your friends more carefully, Sinner. When it all goes wrong, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. You have questions, I'm sure. As you may have surmised, Lambert was once a comrade of mine. I took him into my service that we might hone our skills battling Sin Eaters in pre preparation for facing Andrea. However, I soon came to see that he was not all that capable of a hunter, and so I dissolved our working relationship. Unfortunately, he did not take it in stride, and instead resolved to recruit new companions so that he might beat me at my own game. It seems that his fortunes have improved greatly of late, so much so that I fear we can no longer afford to dedicate time to tracking lesser eaters must devote our undivided attention to the pursuit of Andrea. As such, we should be getting back to the Crystarium. Before we depart, I have one of the matter to attend to in Yulmore. I might trouble you to accompany me. Ah, but of course you will. Let us be off. Ooh, okay, so they've got like, okay, so this is the level 74 quest. So they've got like the level 76, 78, and 80 to basically get this kid to stop being a bitch, yeah? I hope he stops being a bitch. Okay. So let me pick up the food looks top tier. Dude, let me show you my dinner last night, man. The, f the food over here is unreal. If you can come and visit, Dan, I I'd for sure try it, man. I mean, if Carl's, like, here and stuff, right? And and, and up for that. Um, Japan is awesome. Japan is really awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys this video. Okay, hold on. I'll post it in my own Discord. Beep. Beep. Like every dude, it's cheap, it's quick, it's just it's tasty. I haven't had to add seasoning to any meal. It's just it's so nice. It's like the thing that I love food more than anything else in the world. So like coming to like I go to restaurants in England, the tables are dirty. 
the staff are dirty, the, like, food is just near. They use, like, frozen shitty sausages on your breakfast, like, whatever, and it's, like, eight pounds for a shitty, like, sausage roll, and you're just like, ah, come on, bro. Because over here, it's just, like, it's fresh, it's cheap, it's easy, it's clean, it's mean, it's a fighting machine, it's beautiful. Really selling me on England? I'm not supposed to be. Look, let me show you this. Look at this, dude. So this whole meal, this whole meal cost me seven pounds. Okay, so this is some chicken oyakudon. So it's like chicken and I think egg with some like, I think it's even like, I don't even know what it is. It's like onions and stuff like mixed stuff, I, I think. With some rice. It was really good. It had some sauce on as well. Really good. I got this as well, which is like a pork vegetable broth. And there's like pepper, uh, pepper in it, which was nice. And then uh, some chicken and then some like little pickled vegetables. Like, all that for, like, seven pounds. That's so good. And it filled me up. So good, man. Gonna be going there probably again soon. Probably again soon. Not tonight, but soon. God, I miss the food. Yeah, it's so good. Lovely. Lovely. I think you're kind of unfairly misrepresenting the UK right now. It's a lot worse. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I, uh, it's like tough in England, because I'll go out to eat. And like, DQ always used to be like, oh, can we go for dinner? Can we do this? And I'm like, or like, let's go grab a coffee. And I'm like, yeah, okay, but like, we have coffee at home. If we go out for coffee, it's going to be 11 pounds for us to get two coffees. You know, like, that's just, that's outrageous. Like, I, that's, that's outrageous. It's insane. Like, or like, oh, let's go for a meal. And like, you could go for breakfast. Breakfast should be a cheap meal. Breakfast should be like, you know, it's, it's always cheap food for breakfast. It's like, it's eggs. It's, it's, you know, cheap meats, like bacon and stuff like that. Sausages. It's, it's bread, right? You get like a bread, you know, like a, like a sausage roll or something with some egg on. And like, you go out for breakfast, you can spend 30 pounds on breakfast. It's like, what's going on, man? It just... I don't know. It just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. I'm like, I get it. You know, you know, wages are going up, so it's like fair enough. And you know, things aren't the way that they were ten years ago. But like, I think about to ten back to like ten years ago. You know, even you went, you wanted to go see a movie. Ten years ago, it was it was seven pounds. You know, six to eight pounds, something like that for a movie. Now it's like eighteen to see a movie, and I'm just like, I don't think. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know, like, I'm a streamer, so my income, like, I guess everyone else sort of their income increases within, like, sort of, well, it doesn't match inflation, but it at least increases, and, like, year on year, they get, like, a pay rise, stuff like that. As a streamer, you kind of fluctuate. Like, this year, I, I'm making, I'm gonna make less money than I did last year, you know what I mean? So, like, my, it's, like, weird, so I don't, I guess, like, when things, when prices of things increase, I'm, like, still thinking about it from, like, years ago, you know? So maybe that's probably doesn't help. Maybe for everyone else, they're like, oh no, this is fine because I'm getting paid X amount more, you know? Yeah. Just ate, now you're hungry again? It's the visuals that do it, you know? 30 British pounds for breakfast. Yeah, it can be, well, it can, it can be expensive. If you get a couple coffees and, and, and like, uh, you know, like a, a main breakfast, like, yeah, it can, you can easily pay like eight pounds for a full English. So that times two. 16 couple coffees. Yeah, you, you're probably looking at like 20. Yeah, 24 pounds something like that 20 23 like that kind of region for a couple coffees and a breakfast and you're like What the hell? Like, yeah. Perfect place to insert partner plus pitch that actually I guess that is a good place. Yeah, I, I, I have not spoken about it today I, I, I could I could briefly mention the partner plus push. I, I, I could briefly mention that Guys, if you, if you don't know, right now we're pushing for Partner Plus. You guys actually did it insane yesterday. It was, uh, like, insane. I don't even know what to say about it. But we're pushing for Partner Plus. All the information you need is if you scroll down on Twitch, you can see it right now. Um, so, Twitch is rolling out this new scheme. So, every streamer gets 50-50 on their subs. 
Um, so whenever there are any subs, whether uh, it be gifted, a a prime, a tier one, Guy Mello, thank you so much for the for the tier one. Bam! You don't even know what it is yet. That's how good a salesman I am. You don't even know what it is yet, and you sub. That's I love it. Um, but let me tell you more. So Twitch is rolling out this new scheme, and basically streamers are going to be able to get a 60/40 and a 70/30 revenue split uh, for a full year once you achieve it. So you need to get 300 sub points and you need to hold that for three consecutive months. The way you get points is you guys subbing. So a tier three sub is worth six points, a tier two is worth two points, and a tier one is worth one point towards this 300 point goal. So I have until the end of April to get 300 sub points. And if we do that, then I am going to A, um, just, you know, try and do some cute stuff on stream, but B, like, I'd like to do, like, a, a Dawn Trail giveaway. I think that'd be really cute. But also, I want to do a live stream um, in Japan. So, I want to do a live stream. I want to try and aim it at the Eorzea Cafe. If I can't do a live stream, I at least want to put out an Eorzea Cafe video on YouTube so you guys can see what it's all like. And, you know, it'll all be Final Fantasy themed and stuff. I think it'll be really cool. There'll probably be people there, like, dressed up as characters and stuff. Because it's like, you know, Japan goes crazy for this stuff. So, uh, and obviously, FF is really big over here. So, um... I want to do that for the first month. If we get the second month, then I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a Joe Cat... A Joe Cat furry cosplay is what I'm going to do. So that's if we hit the second month. If we hit the third month, then I'm going to do a saucy calendar for you guys. You can see in the, like the donation goal it, nothing to do with donations it's just there just to visualize but um yeah the saucy calendar if we if we hit partner plus but basically if you guys tier one tier two or tier three it counts towards those points yesterday we went from having 60 points to having 120 points so this is so doable i just uh you know if you're if you're if you're a prime subscriber consider a tier one or or, or, or tier two or something um if you're not currently subbed and you like the content and you think oh man like I'm sure my sub doesn't make a big di difference to Sai. It really does for these next few months. Like, it's it's huge. Because um, what it will also do is, if we hit Partner Plus, is that then... So right now, gifts and gifted subs and Prime subs don't count. So if you are thinking like, oh, I'm going to gift five subs to Sai later today, I'm going to actually say don't do that. And instead, I would prefer like a Tier 2 or a Tier 3 sub. Like, that would have way more of an impact because it's going to give us these points. So... Um, yeah, unfortunately, gifts and primes don't count. But if we hit this, then when we hit, when we hit Partner Plus, then gifts and primes will benefit from the 70-30 split. Fun piece of information I found out yesterday as well, by the way, is that Tier 3s currently already benefit from a 70-30 split. I didn't know that, but they actually already do. So if you do Tier 3, I not only do you give me 6 points, you already give me a 70-30 split on that sub. So it's actually... It's insane. It's actually, like, really, really good. I didn't actually know that. I found out yesterday. Um, so, yeah, if we can hit this first month of Partner Plus, it would be insane. I'd get a 40% pay rise for a whole year for doing zero additional work. So, Cyber, uh, this is a noteworthy yeah, person insane. who's known in the community. Uh, the Flammy, thank you so much for the tier one. I really appreciate it. I hate having to do these pitches for you guys. I really hate it. But, unfortunately, I have to because... If I don't, then you guys wouldn't know about it. And there's probably many of you out there that think, yeah, you know what, I want to support the stream. Um, but you probably don't know that about this information. So, you know, um, we will do the pitch for you. I've no shame. Yeah, I mean, this is really sweet. Like, you guys give me the confidence to talk about this shit because I genuinely, it makes my, like, it, I've just turned the heating on right now. Like, well, the aircon on because I'm sweating because I don't like doing this. Um, so, you know. You know, but um, yeah, if you're on, <laughs> Russ says if you're a YouTube frog, which I don't know what that means, but if you are a YouTube frog and you like the stream, then, you know, feel free to make it like a Twitch account and even consider a tier one just because you like the stream and stuff like that would obviously be super appreciated. And uh, technically, I can't stop people from making a second account and subbing on a second account like you know, I'm not saying you should do that, but like technically I, I wouldn't know if you did and I couldn't stop you. So like you shouldn't do that, but like there's no way of me to know. So 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for those couple subs that came through. Like, again, there's two extra points. Like, we're almost we're almost halfway, and we still have over half the month left. Like, and we're almost halfway. So if we can get up to like 150 today on points for tier ones, tier twos, stuff, tier threes. Um, yo, Zillabrius, thank you so. Wait, what? You gifted five tier threes? Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, that is... That is insane. That is so nice, but also... Also... Oh, I hate Twitch. Just so you know, that doesn't count towards the partner plus. But it's in... Actually, wait, it still gives me a 70-30, so who gives a fuck? Yeah, who cares? It still gives me 70-30. Yo, we're up good. We're up good. We're actually up good. Zilbrius, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It might as well be. Anyway. You know what? It might as well be. Flug it, dude. And Flaming, thank you for the five gifted. Yo, thank you, guys. Okay, was worried. All I heard was tier three. Okay, yeah, no, thank you so much. That's insane. Okay, so yeah, like, okay, technically gifted subs, guys, they don't count. Neither do primes. Gifted and primes don't count. But, like I said, I mean, a sub is, like, I'm not going to tell someone not to, like, it still helps, you know? It still helps. So, like, thank you so much for gifting tier three. Jesus Christ. Woo! Okay. Joe, gift him a sub. No, I don't want to gift people subs, because if I give people subs, then they can't sub, you know? You know? Like, you know what I mean? You know, Dan? Like, I gotta, you know. It's... <laughs> It doesn't, yeah, Sire, exactly, uh, Bailey, exactly. This is exactly. a noteworthy person who's known in the community. Ritho, thank you for the tier three as well. Oh my god, dude, I, why does, I hate the spiel, but you, it, well, I hate the spiel, but thank you guys so much. Thank you for making me feel better about the spiel. I hate the spiel. I'm so, I'm spieled out. I'm, I'm full of spiel right now. And so are you. Jesus. Yo, 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 what if I do that? Actually, Zillabrius, you're not you're not subbed. Okay, if I gift you the money to tier three, what are we saying? Wait, no, I can't do that. Can I do that? I don't think I can do that. Is that a Twitch TOS? Actually, I don't I don't actually know. Cyber. Uh this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known. Link up what's the app? Link up with tier three as well. I'm gonna start an Avon business. I'm gonna become an Avon lady. You know what it is? I think, I think the mood of the stream. I think this is the perfect place to be like, come on, baby, it's just a tier three. What's a tier, th what's a tier three, huh? It's nothing. Who, who's gonna give a little tier one for daddy? Hmm? <laughs> Come on, good looking. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for the subs coming through. Jesus, we're on a level six hype train. Yo, let, let's go, man. Holy shit. Damn, we're doing it. Guys, if we hit Ponda Plus, I'll actually feel like I've achieved something. And it'll just make the stream so good, dude. Like, it's it's insane. 40% pay increase on, on everything. Like, I'll just chill the fuck out. I'll be able to chill out. Like, it'll just be the streams. It won't even matter. Like, I'll, because it'll just be... It'll just be... I mean, I'm already pretty chill, actually. Like, I'm already pretty chill, but I'll just be, like, mega chill. It'll be so good, man. It'll be so good. Uh, I th yeah, and I'll get those, I'll get those prizes, man. I say prizes, I'll do those, I'll do those goals. I will do the Joe Cat furry stream. I will do the IRL, do you guys even know what I'm talking about with that, by the way? The Joe Cat furry, do you know what I mean? You know when he has the chicken on his head and he's wearing panties? I'll do that. I'll stream like that for a day. Yeah, absolutely, Zillabrius. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. 
I'll be honest, I don't know what a hype train is at this point, I'm afraid to ask. Okay, so, again, more info, right? Not a lot of people know this about hype trains, but a couple years ago... So a hype train is like whenever people gift subs, or well, not just gift subs, whenever people sub or gift sub or prime or um, give bits or donation, anything that sort of like gets, you know, anything that's like money into the stream, you get on a hype train if, if, people, do, if people do it back to back to back, right? So if you have like several people all sub, then you'll get a hype train. And then the more that you get subs, the more the hype train will go. But what it does is when the hype train ends, depending on the level of hype train you get, it advertises the stream to more people and pushes your stream to more people in the recommended section and stuff like that based on the level that you got. So if you get like a 10 hype train or a 20 or a 30, like whatever, it'll just push it to more people. So that's like a fun fact that not a lot of people know as well, um, but they changed it a couple years ago. So it's like kind of like a stream boost and also just like, I think chat gets like some emotes and stuff, like some, you know, stream emotes and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. But it's not like a mandatory thing for the stream. Like it's not like uh it's just like one of those, just like an extra little bit of, you know, if the stream is doing something really hype, it's just like, you know, it can be like a hype, hype builder, you know? It's literally the hype train. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, what is this? Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. It's nothing. It's nothing. Who, who's gonna give a little tier one for daddy? It's. N how do I delete a Twitch clip? How do I delete a tw how do I delete a clip from Twitch permanently? How do I perma? Do I have a, rep a Twitch representative I can reach out to? Yo, Anonymous, thank you for continuing the hype train. And, wait, Anonymous gifted a tier three, so wait, what the hell? Anonymous gifted a tier three, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Twitch is, be wait, gifted a tier one, wait, no, gifted a tier three to, to, wait, I can read, I can read, to Artic Articai. Yo, thank you so much. Gifting tier threes is insane, that's mental behavior. Absolutely mental behavior. Uh, all right, we're gonna get we're gonna get the Joe Cat dance, man. It's gonna happen. No, thank you guys so much. A again, like I really appreciate any kind of sub. It doesn't like you know. I'm talking about Partner Plus. Partner Plus is only benefiting from tier ones, twos, or threes. It doesn't count with gifted or primes. But like, just subs in like just subs. Period is is amazing. So thank you so much. I really really appreciate it. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna end the spiel there. I'm done though. I'm done with the spiel. I'm done with the spiel. Maybe we'll do another one way later today before the end of stream, but that's it for the spiel. Thank you guys. And Flemmy said you're my favorite stream right now. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I hope that that continues. I hope that I can continue to just be a fun, chill streamer. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And ignore if I ever say anything cringe, okay? Like, it's, you know, it's all just in, in jest, you know? Right? Like that, like... That random clip from like a second ago. That that's crazy. We should delete that. We should delete that. We should we should delete that. We yeah, we should. We should. Just tier three. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so the way it works, hold on, I'll explain one more brief time. Cause like I know Twitch doesn't so I'm like done with the spiel, but I will explain because obviously you've asked. Um so the way it works is like this is the info. If you scroll down, like this is the stream, right? If you just scroll down. So you get six points like I will if somebody tier threes I get six points added to the tracker if somebody tier ones I get one point But obviously it's all relative like a tier one is cheaper than a tier three, right? But um, It doesn't see it says here gift and prime subs are currently not counted towards eligibility I Get a 60 40 split revenue share on subs if I get a hundred points which we've already done But I'll get a 70 30 if we can hit 300 points and then you have to hold it for three months but the the first month is the hard month right because the first month it's like people don't know if it's you're gonna do it but once you do the first month it's like all people have to do is just continue that party going and they know like oh well we did it one month we're gonna do it the second month so it's like the first month i think is the hard one and i've never gotten the i've not got the first month before um but yeah 
Being cringe could be funny. True. True. That needs to be the new tier 3 alert, not gonna lie. Yeah, just like, who's gonna sub for daddy? A little tier 3. I don't know, man, because sometimes, like, my family watch the stream, like, you know, I don't think I want them knowing that that's, that this is who I am, you know what I mean? I want them just to think that, like, I, you know, I'm like a, like a professional esports athlete who's, like, coaching, you know... I'm like coaching. Yeah, no, I got a lot of clients. I, I'm like coaching them to improve, to become athletes. But it's not. I'm wearing cat ears and shit. You know. 5 a.m. I must sleep, Joey. Make sure you sell, sell out again at the end. All right, Dan, I will do. Love you, Chief. Thanks for today, man. You should start to talk about Panda Plus and then run ads. That's criminal. Remember that time you pitched for tier 3 subs by wanting us to call you daddy? Weird times. TTS is fixed! TTS is fixed. I fixed it. I fixed it yesterday, and it's working. Perfect. You guys have been asking for TTS for so long, and it's, it's working again. Amazing. Amazing. Yes, and Ritho, I do, I do, I do. We are times, man. Good thing we can delete it and forget about it, because it never happened. If you do have a Everyone vampire- Everyone sub right now for just five pounds. To watch this handsome hunk every day, providing you with potentially up to 12, yes, 12 hours of content per stream, for just 16 p per day? Madness value to support our Joey. madness it's madness oh <laughs> thanks Dan uh, imagine them seeing your calendar once it comes to fruition oh no they'll love it they'll love it they'll be proud I'm sure TTS is live floodgates are open Cyber. Make him uh, this is a decision. noteworthy person who's known in the before. community Zillabrius thank you so much for not only gifting five tier threes like an absolute hooligan, like an absolute menace, but also tier threeing yourself. That is just insane. And I don't know how to say thank you enough. All, I, all I'll say is look out for the live stream at the Aorzia Cafe. Okay, oh, I don't want to over, I don't want to promise a live stream if I can't 100% do a live stream, but look out for the Aorzia Cafe video plus a Japan IRL live stream. Look out for the Joe Cat, uh, the Joe Cat furry stream, and look out for the saucy calendar. I appreciate it so much. Um, mainly watching YouTube, but just chipping in to help you out. That thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Your, your champ, your champ, and everybody that's here three, everybody that's a link up as well. You know, Ritho, like <sighs> Flammy, Guy Mella. Th thank you so much. Thank you for all the followers that came through as well, guys, as well. And then Gifted5 as well from Flammy as well. Thank you. Honestly, I, I never know how to say thank you enough. It's it's why I hate selling out, because I never know how to... Not selling out. I never love... I don't like spieling, because I don't know how to show my appreciation enough. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show my appreciation by shutting the hell up and continuing the game. Because that's what we're here for. To see the game. Nothing but legend. Nothing but legends, man. Nothing but legends. Honestly. Honestly, I appreciate it. I spent more on Honkai Star Rail. Oh, then, oh, then, yeah, well, then, yeah, of course. In fact, I'm gonna let you thank me. You know what I mean? You're welcome. I'm glad I was able to siphon some of the money away from Honkai Star Rail. Gotcha. I hope you got the chance that you wanted, though. I hope you got the, the big titty goth girl that you've been looking for. Level 7, or I, I've not played Honkai, but my friends do, so I know a little bit about it, you know. What's the update? It, it takes two hours to update, 
So I actually don't know. I have to wait for it to... It takes two hours to, like, update. I'll check later in the stream. I actually don't... It is probably close to, like... If you think about each of those as six points, it's probably close to, like... Uh, probably close to 150. We're probably almost halfway. We're probably almost halfway. Which is insane. And we still have over... We still have two-thirds of the month left. So, this actually feels achievable. And I don't want to get my hopes up, but it actually feels achievable. Um... Yeah. I never normally get to win at stuff, so it'd be nice to win, man. It'd be nice, nice. To, it'd be nice to win. It'd be nice to win. I'd like that. Um, yeah, we'll do some cool stuff though. We'll 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 do some cool stuff, man. I want to do some really cool stuff with the stream. Like I want to do an ultimate. I want to get that going. I want to get that going on for you guys and getting into Eden Savage and well, and just slamming through more MSQ. You know, I want I want to get it all going on. Yeah. Lost E4 to Yanking, and sorry, save for Aventurine. Oh, this Honkai stuff? I gotta play that game. Honestly, I really wanna play, uh... What was the original? Uh... Starts with a G. Ah, oh, what's it called? Gotcha, gotcha... Gotcha number one. What was it? Same creator. Genshin. Genshin Impact. I really want to play Genshin Impact, but I don't know, is is, is Star Rail better? Because I really want Sider, to get, like, a uh, Star this is a Rail... This noteworthy person who's known Yo, in the community. Dr. Hibbert, it's tier one for Otisan. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Is that coming over from, uh, from, from YouTubies? Thank you. That's huge. Wait, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this, yeah. So, for three minutes. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I, I want to get, like, a Honkai... I know that they do, like, a, lot, a bunch of sponsors and stuff. I really want to do, um, like, a sponsored Honkai stream. Like, I want to, like, have an incentive to go in and check it out and know that, like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna put some hours into it. Um, but I really want to check it out. Even if I don't get sponsored with it, I, like, still kind of want to check it out. But I just know that they sponsor a bunch of people, so I'm kind of like, huh, maybe I'll wait. You know, I'll wait for the ball to come to me. You know what I mean? Why well, go to the ball? I don't know what the ball is. I don't know why I want the ball, but... Why go to the... Why go to the... What do people like? Why go to the... I don't know. Why go to anything? Star Rail is really story heavy. Yeah, I've, I've heard that Zeppelin liked the story of Genshin Impact. Like, I've heard it genuinely has a good story, and I assume Star Rail must as well, yeah. Okay, Impact is my favorite turn-based RPG that isn't FF. Really? Can you do it on, um... Can you do it on PC? Or is it, uh... Did you know that the critically acclaimed stream it, uh, inside there underscore TV has no tier 3 only. subscriptions, which includes viewing the entirety of Shadowbringers and the award-winning Endwalker expansion at free with no restrictions on watch time. Sign up and enjoy emotes today. I've missed TTS, man. <laughs> Thank you, Anylusion. <laughs> Thank you. They're all on P... Oh, it's on PC. Oh, okay. We're going to play Honkai at some point. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Maybe when, like, we're done with Dawn Trail or something and I'll... But it'll be too late then. Okay, maybe maybe I'll start cycling that in a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe I'll start cycling it in. I do like Gacha a little bit. I've never really done it, but, like, I kind of I kind of like the, uh, the appeal. Because I get streamer luck. Like, I get really lucky. I get really lucky. So I kind of want to play... Play Honkai. Honk Shmi Star Rail. Cyber, allow me to introduce you to my father and mother. Ooh, an interesting couple. They hang out together at the strip club. Okay. Father, this is my traveling companion and dear friend Cyber. Is this the guy that hits on other women when his wife is around? Is that the guy that we met earlier? She and I have resolved to hunt a particularly dead sin uh, deadly sin eater. Indeed, I cannot overstate how terribly dangerous this eater is. Okay, I see what's going on. But to pursue it is to court death itself. However, when we at last triumph over the fiend, all of Norvrand shall sing our praises. Right, so he's doing it for daddy. So he's using daddy's money to buy people to kill the thing to impress daddy. Got it. Won't that be wonderful, father? So long as you do not sully our good name, you are free to hunt whatever quarry you desire. I can do without all the petty details. <laughs> Dispassionate oligarch. Now then, how much do you require this time? Out with it. 
Oh, never mind. Just give the boy my coin purse, would you? I'm sure it will suffice for his trivial pursuits. I don't understand this as a as like this dynamic as a parent child dynamic where like the parents are going to give their kids a ridiculous amount of money but then still be disappointed no matter what they do. Like I don't understand like I don't know. It's like filling your car with gravy and then being like, "Why won't it start?" What the heck? My car's not running. But I filled it with gravy. It's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe, like, you should do parenting. Rich people things? Like, okay, when I was a kid, when I was very young, my parents, like, had a, had a, a decent amount of money. So we never, like, wanted as kids. But, like, I still had to earn stuff. And, and I, as a kid growing up, I didn't realize that we had money. Um, so, I kind of just live, like, a normal life, you know? So I don't understand, like, this, I don't get it when parents do this. But it, they, it's always done in, like, media and stuff, isn't it? They're used to throwing money to solve problems. <sighs> yeah, but surely they're smarter than that, right? You just want to not get beat up by your brothers? Dude, why would they always try and drown me? What was their problem? I developed a Twitch when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, I get it now. I get it now. That's why I'm a streamer. It goes back to my childhood. Okay. When I was a kid, I developed a... Not like a Twitch, but like a... like a. Oh, I guess it was. It was like an involuntary ref, uh, reflex. Where... So I had three brothers that are older than me. Or I still do. They're, they're still... Yeah. I have three brothers that are older than me. They would walk in a room, and I'd be sitting on the couch. They would walk in the room, and they would just slap the back of my head. And it would always be a game on how far they could push the limit. Of, like, how much force could they put into it and get away with it. If you put in too much force, I'd cry. And then they'd get in trouble. So it was like... They needed to put in just enough force where it, it would hurt, but not too much. You know what I mean? It's like a perfect balance. It was calibrated. So I used to do, I developed after a couple years of this. I developed, um, <laughs> that explains the bold spot. That's cruel. That's cruel. So, um, I developed a, dude, my childhood was Malcolm in the middle. It was that. And I am Dewey. That was my childhood. Le like legit I watched that show and I'm just like yeah this is this is like th th this is this is what it was except we had more kids I'm one of six right so um so yeah I uh I developed like a like a sort of like a not like a it wasn't like a twitch well I developed a twitch where like if anyone raised if anyone was standing talking to me and they just raised their hand too quickly I I would I would flinch like that because I thought they were gonna hit me um but then also this is probably normal in a bunch of sibling, uh, like, you know, a bunch of families with a bunch of boys. Uh, but, um, I'd be sitting on the couch and I'd be playing PlayStation or something. And, um, I would hear somebody walk in the room and I would instinctively just duck. And I would just do this and I'd, like, stay down and I'd play my game. So I'd, be, like, I'd hear someone walk in the room and I'd just do that and I'd keep playing. And th the thing is that I'd be too far away for them to hit me. So they couldn't hit me. So I'd be safe. But what they used to do... This was a game of cat. This was an arms race. Because what, then what they would used to do is they would... I'd duck down, and I'd count, like, how long it would take them to walk past. And then I could lift up again and continue. And what they would do, they were such dicks that they would they would stand there, and they, would, they knew that I'd do the thing. So they'd see me go down. They'd stand there, wait for me to go, okay, it's safe. And then they smack the shit out of me. What's wrong with them? It's so rough being a younger brother, man. But now the thing is, like, now I'm bigger than all of them. Ironically, except for my little brother, who's bigger than me. So it's it's fueled my, uh, it's, it's, it's fueled my, like, everyone's like, why do you go to the gym so much, Joe? I'm like, I don't know, because my brother's tried to kill me. Times three. Why do you think I go to the gym? Yeah, never knew that line. Mother will stay home. I uh, got to know a lot of people just because they're in our house. Oh, okay. You didn't bully them, but they didn't bully you. Man, that's the life right there. 
builds character. <laughs> Internal motivation. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. My big brother stopped teasing me and believe me after the first time I made him cry. Hey, yeah, there you go. You just got to get bigger than him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this, this was somehow pertinent to the story here. Now then, how much do you require this time? Oh yeah, so just give him my coin purse. I'm sure it will suffice for his trivial pursuits. That is why you are here, is it not? Another handout. Don't play coy. You've never been any good at it. Be funny if the warrior like punches him in the head. You know, I honestly don't know why I came here. Keep your coin, father. We're leaving, Cyber. Right? Meow. Yeah, let's blow this joint, man. Let's get out of this strip club really quick, though. Just one more dance. Just one more. Mm. Sam. Okay, but we're leaving now, though. But we're leaving now. Oh, he's declining daddy's money. Mmm. Separate thing, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. I'm the youngest of three, and the youngest of eight cousins! I'm 100 pounds soaking wet. Oh, damn! Okay, this is the thing, though. Is like, sometimes being the youngest can actually be a, a good thing. So, you know what sucks? Is that... So, I was the fourth... Okay, so, uh, my sister's the eldest. So, she doesn't count, because she wouldn't bully me. Because she's like a... No she's a girl. She's normal, right? So... I have three older brothers and a younger brother. So I got bullied by my three older brothers, and it made me feel like, man, I don't want to treat my younger brother like this, because it doesn't feel good to be treated like this. So I wouldn't bother I wouldn't bully my younger brother. So they would all bully me, and because my younger brother was so cute, so sweet, no one would bully him. But they'd all bully me. But I was too nice to bully him. So I kind of broke the cycle. But, I'm mad about it, because I never got to get, I never got to bully anyone. That's like, that's not fair, man. My nickname growing up, my mom used to call me Gentle Joe. I mean, of course my brothers were going to bully me. Why would you give me that nickname, mom? Come on. And I had a speech impediment. I couldn't say my R's. So my R's is W's. God damn, dude. I was a cute ass kid, man. I was a cute fucking kid. Jesus. God damn. God damn. You can bully chat? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm I'm really trying. Cyber, uh, this easy. is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the community. Holy shit, guys. Thank you for the tier three for three months. Let's go! Another one! Sh you've been spieled! You've been Cyber spieled, baby! Kaisa, thank you. You've been a, a long time watcher of the channel and I appreciate it. I mean, a, a lot of you have, and, and, and yeah, I'm just saying, like, appreciate it. Thank you. Pawnable, let's get it. Hmm. I'm now very good at figuring out if I have a concussion. <laughs> Forgive me, Cyber, but I would forgo the wine on this occasion. Father's lackluster reception has put me in rather dour spirits. As you may have gathered from our exchange, I am a free citizen of Yulmor. Owing to my parents' considerable wealth, I've enjoyed a relatively privileged upbringing. What? This is a shock. Privileged and unbearably boring, which is why I quit the city and resolved to become a bounty hunter. I am no fool, though. I am well aware of my fortunate circumstances, which is why I elected to conceal them from the people of the Crystarium. People who want to jump to uncharitable conclusions. I feel as though you and I have established a rapport, uh, though, and so I thought it best to bring you into my con confidence. I pray you refrain from telling others. Now then, since Lambrin has decided to turn this into a race, we have no choice but to oblige him and slay Andrea before he does. Before he does. This calls for a veritable army of hired hands. No, bro. Alas, in a fit of frustration, I refused Father's coin. 
Without additional resources, we have no choice but to conduct the search by ourselves. Moreover, I am rather embarrassed to admit that I can pay you only a token sum at this time. But I trust that will not deter you from joining me, Anon. I was never in this for the gill. Nice. Mm -hmm. What went wrong? Excuse me? Wolfair? I think I still am gentle, Joe. Actually, I think you'll find. I'm gentle, Sai. I'm gentle, Sai, man. But I swear, you say that to me in real life, I'll punch you in the face. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Really? I mean, uh, of course you won't. Perish the thought. <laughs> you are now more handsome than cute Giga Chad. Okay, okay. Sure, bud. Okay, bud. Okay, bud. Fear happened to me in the army when we were NCOs. We had one officer basically denying bullying. We had to... We had to... We had to... Uh, oh, denying the bullying we had to the next set of soldiers. Wait, deny, denying the bullying to the next set of soldiers? What do you mean? Like, like pushing it on? Like, hey, you guys bully those guys? Cyber, my friend. Thank the gods you're here. Ever since we parted ways, I've been exhausting myself running all over the Crystarium, questioning anyone and everyone. Hope, hoping someone might have seen Andreo, but alas. I'm wondering what the other role quests are going to be if they're related to this... Um, this like warrior, like I mean, this is really interesting actually. Like it is really cool. We've got double, we've got two dynamics here. We've got this kid, and then you know he's trying to become like a hunter, but he sucks, and he's just buying everything. But then also like legitimately, there's an interesting story behind it with like a deeper story with uh, everything going on with the um, with the warrior of light. Uh. Sorry, it's busy chatting and now I'm... Oh, only the Crystarium. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, I see, Ritho. Oh, that's how you make people angry, bro. Mm. Tradition. We weren't allowed. We were bullied. Yes, but couldn't pay it forward. That's just going to breed resentment, big time. You don't really want people resentful in the military, I would say. Not when they have access to heavy weaponry. You probably want to keep them pretty happy. But what do I know? Hoorah! Well, of course. Surely this is the limit of what a man with meager financial resources can accomplish. But never mind all that. For it but recently dawned on me that the vision you beheld of Renderay's past could hold the clues for which we have been desperately searching. When you first described it to me, I felt as though I had heard it before. And I had. My networks had told me the exact same story when I was still a boy. Oh, yeah, hold on. He said he felt, heard it as a tale. This is interesting. So why is... How is the tale coming before... The actions that are happening right now. Time. Wacky time dilation or some shit. It was a tale of courageous hunter, of a courageous hunter who, together with her comrades, embarked on a quest to slay a notorious mark, a great horned beast. They came upon their quarry in a desert, and they attempted to lay it low. Alas, the beast had a singular strength, and the hunter a fatal weakness. And so in the ensuing struggle, her comrades were killed leaving her, the sole survivor, to swear vengeance. Yeah, actually, she had... Well, I mean, she she looked as if she was having, like, an echo moment, right? Warrior of Light, echo. And then it looked like the beast, like, um... EMP'd her. It's like, bam. Would you not agree that your vision is a perfect match for this tale? Then there can be no doubt. Brenda Ray is the celebrated hunter, the hero I so admired in my childhood. After that tragic day, the hunter resolved not to rely upon others and instead slew the beast by herself. She somehow found a way to compensate for her weakness. Anyway, my recollection of the tale is likely riddled with errors. We should ask Miss Olvara to recount it in full. She was a bounty hunter herself before she entered into our service, you know. 
Also, in light of all this, I should share with you an interesting theory concerning all the virtues I heard from a fellow hunter. Apparently, each appears to be driven by particular memories. Moments that forever changed each of these fallen heroes. Makes sense, doesn't it? Render Ray being a hunter for notorious marks in life and in death. I don't know why it never occurred to me before. Hmm. But if it, that is indeed the reason for why she behaves as she does, then the more we learn about Render Ray's adventures, the better our chances of predicting where she'll turn up. All the more reason to go and see my former wet nurse. Miss Olvara lives in Gate Town on Calusia. Let us be off then. Oh, I appreciate this guy for telling me half a story and then being like, all right, let's go get the full story anyway. That's like when somebody tries to line up a joke for you and then they forgot the punchline and then they scramble to try and put, and you're like, just let, Brian, just don't worry about it. Oh, forgive me, this strikes me as a good thing. Yeah, no, it's good to say, like, hey, don't bully people. Like, obviously that's good, but, like, to be bullied, but then... I'm not saying the answer of, of being bullied is to be allowed to bully someone else, but I'm saying, like, that's, like, why we're... I'm saying it's shit that you were enforced to not be allowed to bully, but, like, they didn't... Yeah, you know, like, surely it should be like, well, why don't you stop those guys from bullying that we won't bully, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, why don't you enforce no one to bully? <laughs> yeah. Hazing doesn't do any good, yeah. It's already so stressful, so it's military. Mm. Yeah, I've never, I mean, I've, I, 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 I don't know much about military life, but yeah, I imagine, um, I imagine it's a complex, very complex system, really. I used to want to be in the military when I was younger, but, um, I just, I don't know. I wanted to be in the military. I thought it would be quite cool, but there's a lot, um, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't end up going for it. So I bet this is M Miss Olvara, the wet nurse who raised me for practically the entirety of my childhood. She was bonded to my family and lived with us in the city at the time. When I came of age, she was forced to leave. My, you've grown into such a strapping young man, but I can't imagine you came to Gate Town just to pay me a visit, my little reek. Not in front of her, if you please. But to answer your question, we did in fact come to see you. There were stories you told me as a child of a courageous hunter. Is that hunt a chance the warrior of light, Render Ray? Wait, so this lady raised this kid, he's rich, and he's letting her live out in the slums? Bro, that is... Of all the reasons you could have had... Aye, those stories were of Render Ray, the greatest bounty hunter of her day, the legend so many aspired to become. Less so after the flood. It was still fresh in everyone's mind when I was younger, for all the good they had done in life. None could deny the chaos they sowed in death, as sin eaters. But despite all of that, me and my mates still looked up to her. We knew all her feats and swore to preserve them, in secret if need be, that she might inspire future generations as she had ours. So years and years later, when you wanted to hear tales of adventure and heroism, I couldn't help but share with you the ones nearest and dearest to my heart. I only wish I hadn't had to change all the names. And it's true. The hero who I looked up to as a child, whose tales of daring do drove me to take up the bow as you had, to pester you for training that I might become a bounty hunter. It was her. Miss Olvara, Cyber and I, and I are hunting Andrea. We believe that one of the stories you shared with me may help guide our search, namely the one about the great horned beast that killed her friends. Will you tell it to me again? <laughs> Wicked White, is that... Oh, my little reek. Very well. Um, yeah, where I'm from, all males go to the military. Uh, okay. Where are you from? Like, Texas or some shit? <laughs> yeah. Go learn that you'd be wrong, you can do nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You're from... Oh. Where have you received MSQ? I have got up to. We just killed Vol 3, and Emmett just poosh, KO'd the Exarch. 
And now I'm doing my roll quest, so that we, then we can just like full finish MSQ. We'll probably finish it today. Oh no, I have a whole zone, don't I? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. May we'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Hmm. If you guys haven't realized now, the way I kind of operate my stream naturally without even trying is like, I'll start stream, I'll ramble a little bit, then I'll get into the content, then I'll end up rambling a lot more because I'm just like excited to, to hang out, and then I'll focus and I'll like knuckle down. I'm like, right, okay, it's go time. Let's just flash requests. And then I'll hang out with everyone again. That's kind of the flow. So I know sometimes it's probably frustrating for people where they're like, bro, will you just shut up and just continue? But like, there's a certain time window where I'm just like energetic and I'm just like, I just want to talk. I just want to hang out. And then I'm like, okay, now I'll, I'll put my head down and, and go, you know? And what up, Kawa? How you doing? Oh, gotta watch the VOD? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Will you shut up and just continue? Of course I will, Annie. I'll do whatever you say. It's your stream today. How do you feel with China? Will you please shut up and continue to MSQ Smash? I don't like vi verbally being told to shut up. That actually kind of hurts, man. I don't mind on text, but actually hearing someone say it kind of hurts. How do you feel with China? Savage before Mount Golg. China Savage? Oh, I actually failed it. Dude, I actually failed it. I was joking around, and I tried to put, like, a meme response to one of them that I thought was, like, gonna You're be fine. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. And then I failed it. <laughs> Stop yapping. Stop Don't yapping. Shut up. Keep talking. Read those voice lines. Stop yapping. Do you guys have a timetable where you have like different streamers of when they go live with MSQ and you're like, right, okay, I've got an ARR here, I've got a Heaven's Ward there, Stormblood, Shadowbringers, Endwalker, I've got it like, like you just, you got like four monitors and you just like, you're like o Omega 12 and you just bring up the Sony TV screens and Can you're like, Can you please stop MSQ and talk with us? Smudge. Like throwing windows and shit, over, like, like you're in Minority Report and you're just like, you know when they put on the, the gloves? Move in different windows and look. Enhance, enhance. Yep. Cat girl titty. Pew. Next one. Oh, okay. Wow. I can't believe the villain guy is sexy. Pew. Okay, next one. Next one. Oh, uh, oh, he's in Stormblood. Okay, actually, never mind. Okay, next one. Uh, uh. I don't know how Twitch works, help. <laughs> same. Same. If you stop MSQ and talk with us, smash. Of course I will, sweetie. Even as a young hunter, Renda Ray's incredible hearing was unparalleled. She could track her quarry through a forest by the most minute sounds of their passing. From mounds away, even, by some accounts. Even the most subtle and stealthy beasts never eluded her for long. A misplaced foot, a snapped branch. Eventually, Renda Ray would know and her aim was always good and true. As she grew older and honed her skills further, she set her eyes on bigger prizes. She became a hunter of notorious marks, and together with her comrades, earned fame and fortune. <gasps> oh, Evan, I don't quite get it. I don't know much about ships, but I'm sure it's a good one. Uh, you gotta hurry up, I'm gonna catch streamer number 37373 in 18 minutes. Whew. You run a tight ship, Storm. As their reputation swelled, so too did their egos. Only the most dangerous game would suffice. And so they resolved to hunt the scourge of Norvrant, and devourer of souls, Balam quits. But what Renda Ray did not real yeah, they kind of looked like they sucked in that cutscene, actually. They kind of all just fell over and died pretty quick. They didn't seem very good. But what Renda Ray did not realize was that her greatest strength would prove her undoing. But when she faced Balam Quits, the beast roar roared Rawr. Rawr. with such force that it brought her to her knees. Helpless, she could only watch as it claimed the lives of her beloved comrades and fled.
After burying the hunters and vowing that she would one day avenge them, she took to the road once more. She met Ardbert and his fellow warriors of light, and for a time she accompanied the fledgling heroes on their adventures. Yo! Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. I was like, dude, is she one of the warriors? But no, I don't think so. Unless they replace someone. They could probably get rid of this little dwarf here and slot her in. To them, she was a breath of fresh air, a vibrant young woman who savored every moment and found joy in the simple pleasures. They knew naught of her fallen friends or how their deaths weighed heavy upon her still. The party wandered the realm, performing many great deeds and growing ever stronger, as did Renda Ray. While in Calusia, she even devised a means to defend against the powerful roar that had been her downfall that fateful day. Earmuffs. So I doesn't remember? Uh, I probably don't remember. Just shrug, I guess. And then, while engaged in an adventure in Ragtika, a rumor reached Render Ray's ears. Balam quits. Scourge of Norren, devourer of souls, had been spotted wandering the city of swamps. It was a golden opportunity, but to seize it would be to face the beast alone. She could not wait for Ardbud and the others, nor could she ask that they forsake their sworn duty. Perhaps it was just as well, for the memory of her defeat still haunted her. The courageous hunter had allowed a single fear to take root in her heart. The fear of losing her new companions, she had her old. So it was that Renda Ray ventured forth in secret, resolved to slay her hated foe, Balam quits, alone. Lacking critical information? Damn, okay, obviously don't tell me, guys, but what am I forgetting? What am I... What am I forgetting? I will remember eight seconds before they tell me anyway. So, don't worry about it. Early mornings are for Russ and Mr. Happy. Afternoons with the bald man. Late nights with Sai. Oh, okay, I wasn't actually sure whether you meant me on the second one. Okay. Wow, that's a full day, Pom Pom. That's crazy. That is a full day. Wow. When do you eat? When do you sleep? When do you drink? When do you... Fall in love, you know? Or maybe that is when you fall in love. All of the above. The only other st Twitch streamer I interact with is a social deduction board game streamer who bans people if they sub anyway, other than Prime. Is that real? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> Well, I guess if they like social deduction board games, maybe this is all a social experiment for them. That's funny. Um, I was going to ask you guys a question stream related. Oh, okay. Question about MSQ streamers. And this isn't a question just for like MSQ vamps. This is a question for just like, I guess anyone who's sort of into the MSQ. But like, do you guys feel that you as Final Fantasy story enjoyers, like people that go from Twitch streams to watch like story and stuff, do you feel that you are encouraging streamers to fake any kind of like react, or not necessarily just fake reactions, but feel like they need to be on form all the time? Like, do you feel like that contributes to streamers maybe trying to be like competitive with one another in like being the best msq reactor or something like that um and if so do you think that's necessarily a bad thing or do you think it's like actually fine because it means better content or something yeah i just enjoy the content yeah no not really hmm. i don't i don't think i i'm not that's not like a leading question i'm just like i've just thought oh i'll pose this question like i don't i don't necessarily think so but i'm just like curious what you guys think about you know, your impact on streamers, right? And whether you think streamers sort of adjust based on, on, on it, you know? 
So is there something you want to admit? No, there's nothing I want to admit. I like to give... I can't be bothered to pretend. You know what I mean? Like, if you ever see me doing shit like this, if you ever see me do, like... I'm faking, okay? But if you see me doing, like, like this, right? Like... That one's real, okay? First one's, uh, first one's fake, second one's real. But think, how many times have I gone like this? Well, twice today, apparently. Um, yeah, didn't your actions always better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People do react maxing. <laughs> react maxing, dude. Yeah, really tell when someone's being inauthentic, but enjoying the story. Yeah, you think so? I think I like giving honest opinions because um, I think it's cool. Like I think I I love seeing the differences in how people feel about different things. Like certain topics might have a different impact on you compared to others. Like for me, there'll be certain topics that if they get covered in this game would probably be harder hitting than others. Like some 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 things probably hit people like some story elements. I probably go like eh, like okay, that's sad or that's good or you know whatever but like i don't really like relate or something you know i think normally people react more when they like relate with certain things so like or not react more but like um have a have a more intense reaction i've seen a few streamers who clearly don't like the msq but force themselves to play and it's cringe and i stopped watching that would actually be fun to watch i'd actually want to do some 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 vamping on people that are pretending to like the story that would actually be pretty cool because you'd be looking out for it. That would actually be fun. I'd like that. I'd like that probably more than a genuine reaction. Sai is the worst designed VTuber ever. Yeah, I don't have enough... You know. Am I on stream is misremembering or getting things wrong? Oh, yeah. I, mis I misremember stuff all the time. Yeah. It's just how they enjoy it. The yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll be honest. I, like, I don't see how somebody could track this story and, like, remember and follow everything. It's just too much. Yeah. There's people that are trying to massage a streamer to a specific reaction and will be disappointed when they don't react how they want. But I just like watching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hmm. Uh, and they, they pre-watched and knew some when the big reacts came. Right, okay. Right. I always know when the big reacts are coming because my view count... I always know when I'm like 30 minutes away from a big moment. Because the view count goes up. So I always know. Or, I suddenly see a lot of people crowding around me. And I go, huh. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> So I think it'd be funny to stream the entire MSQ and just pretend and see how long it takes people to know this. <laughs> yeah. You're like, boy, I sure hope Alphano develops into a likable character. No, um, I actually like Alphano. I actually like Alphano. I thought I was going to hate Alphano at the beginning. Not hate him, but like... I mean, I always tell him to shut up, but that's just because he's like annoying. But I like him. You know, I like him. I take naps during random rants. I get eight hours of sleep a day. Heck yeah. You're welcome. Because I ping everyone. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I, I was wondering how people know that, actually. I assume people probably are watching with, like, streams muted, and then when they see her at a certain point, then they turn it up, and then you suddenly count as a view. But I was like, it's like maybe Discord pings? I think I've been told before about Discord pings. Hmm. 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 So was that Renda Ray ventured forth in secret, resolved to slay her hated foe, Balam quits alone. You got it, girl. Hashtag girl boss, let's go, baby. And with all her strength and guile, the legendary hunter did just that. If she shows up with earmuffs on, bro, I'm gonna... Okay, I was gonna laugh. I was gonna lose it. She's like, finally, my arch nemesis. And he's like, rah! 
And then she's like, not today. <laughs> Boom. Knocks on the earmuffs. It's like, what? How could you? This power. Vengeance they even have RGBs. Um, no, Vengeance claimed she rejoined Ardbud and the others and never spoke of the terrible battle twixt her and the dread beast. From that day forward, she was Renda Ray, the warrior of light. The deeds of her and her comrades would be celebrated forevermore. It's strange to think that the woman I admired when I was young would become the Sin Eater I swore to slay. What she became doesn't change who she was. Even if the tales were a little embellish uh, embellished over the years, they were rooted in truth. She was and will always be a hero to me and to you, I hope. Thank you, Miss Olvara, for everything. I promise I will visit you again soon. So, Cyber, remember that theory I told you before about the virtues being driven by powerful memories? Dandrea is reenacting the journey leading up to her confrontation with Baron Quits, the one that took her from Amarang to Calusia, and her next destination must be... Uh, the Raktika Great Wood. Yeah, it wasn't Ilmeg. No fairies were mentioned. Right. Snacku, I think I'm going to fail the test that you give me at the end of Endwalker because I almost didn't get that. Right. That was where she laid low the beast at last. In the city of swamps, to be precise. So that is where we shall go. Let us away. Whew, it's a 50-50. Now listen, Reek. There's an awful lot... There's an awful lot people don't know about Renderay. Or the world, for that matter. So wherever you go and whatever you see, remember not to take it at face value. Wait, this is an old lady. Don't just accept what others tell you as good and true. Listen to your heart and decide for yourself. And be safe. Also... I slipped 10 pounds into your pocket. Happy birthday. Are you sure you don't want seconds? Cybear, was it? It is such a pleasure to meet a friend of Reek's. His parents never hesitated to provide him with all the wealth and opportunities they could. But when it came to love and support, well, all I can say is that it is a miracle that boy turned out as well as he did. One can never have too many friends or too much support. That goes for you as well, I should think. I should do a vote if either chat gets to help you study, slash answer, or B, chat helps contribute questions and watch you suffer. I think you should definitely, if you, okay, so guys, for context, um, Snacku is a fact machine. And they are going to put together a quiz when I finish Endwalker that is a, like a law quiz to see how much I have retained, paid attention to, etc. So I think you should do various sections. I think you could do a, a section on like music, a section on geography, a section on scions, a section on um, expansions. Um, obviously this is a long quiz, but like, you know what I mean? You could do like a couple questions on each, three to five questions on each or something. I don't know what you've already got. You've probably already got a bunch of stuff already kind of set. But, um, that kind of thing would probably be cool. And then you could probably do a, a thing like where it... You could probably do a section on like uh, chat submitted questions and you can in the spoiler channel maybe like ask people um, like that you can ask them a question or, so, or like they, they can submit their questions or something when I was little Miss Olvara seemed so much bigger and stronger than me though to be perfectly honest the way she carries herself even now bespeaks her confidence not hope but envy. Never mind that. We have a virtue to hunt. Let us commence our search at once. Keep your weapons at the ready, my friend. Oh! Ooh. 
Dude, there's so many duties and dungeons. Well, okay, probably not too many dungeons in this expansion, but there's so many duties. This is so good. They should do this in ARR. Way more duties. Way more duties. Just throw them in, man. Heh. About time my luck took a turn for the better. There she is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yep, he already knows me, bro. You won't believe how I got to this world. Ugh. Have chat take the quiz? Oh, yeah, for sure. We will. Like, people will be able to play along. Mm -hmm. I wish you were all here with me, but I know it's better that you're not. We have a score to settle, you bloody bastard. And this time... I'm ready for your tricks. Ah! I brought the earmuffs, but I didn't bring the goggles. Ooh! Sick. Okay, hold on. Wait, is this barred? Okay, hold on. Sick. Dude, there's so. There's, when did they start doing these as well? Is this the first. Was it Stormblood? It was Stormblood. Yeah, we're Stormblood, because we play as Alphano, and we play as someone else. These are really cool as well. I mean, they're a bit basic in terms of, like, skill actions, but that's okay. There was an attack with potency of 550. By the way, I appreciate this guy waiting for me. There was an attack with potency of 300. Okay. There was an attack with potency of 1,100. And then it interrupts the use of a target's action. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go. Yo, the range on this is... Is this real bard range? This is pretty low. So why would I ever use... Oh, that's a dot. Yeah, got it. I see. Ugh! Never died. Okay, rearranged bit one, okay. Oh shit, 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 shit. I got you, I got you, I got you. Easy for me. I got you now, you bastard. Mortal Blast. Popping his pre combat buffs, yeah, he's eating his combat food, he's getting ready, dude. Uh, I wish they gave me more to like really see what bot is like. So I have a single target dart. This looks cool. Like visually, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna do the, um,. I think if I spin this guy around quick enough, maybe I can bug him out. Okay. Hold on. Nope. Dude, that's hard. How did that guy do it in O in A eight? It was hard, man. It's like spin on a die. It's so hard. Only a 30 second heal. I do want to play bot eventually. I want to play, I want to play everything. I just like, I know what I'm going to main. This guy's kind of easy actually. If only had been this strong back then. Lady, you're auto-attacking. Actually, that is weird that I don't have an auto-attack. That's really strange. 
Fuck, I just stand here like an idiot. Do you have a favorite physical range? I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, I've only played Summoner as my physical range. Who am I supposed to stack with? What? No, no, no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, sick. I was like, bro, where? There's no one here, dude. <laughs> Yo, it's the gang gang, though. Let's go. I got Brandon. Brandon with an E. Gosh. Okay, now we stack, we stack, we stack. Nice. Oh, this is 6v1, though. Let's go. shake. I like that Lamit did some slide casting there. He didn't rush it immediately. Finish his cast. That's a, that's a black mage right there for you. Why are the Lollafells always black mages? Oh, my dog. I just feel weird not having an auto attack. Oh, it's a white mage? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, oh, interrupt, 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 interrupt. Oh, I have legacy movement. Every time I press an attack, it's turning me around. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's this? Do you have an auto attack? What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I do. Oh, it's just so long. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I do, I do. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I do. I do want to eventually do all the world quests, but I only have... I only have DPS available. Uh, I don't have a physical range leveled up. Um, the closest thing I have to physical range leveled up is Dancer, but it's level 60. My healer is level 60, Astrologian. I don't even have a tank, but I do eventually want to do it. Oh shit, DPS check. Okay. DPS check, this is a buff zone, I guess. So, do I want to not use my number one ability sometimes because I don't want to clip the auto? If so, then Bard is sick, but like, but also probably annoying. This range and the other same. I thought it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I need a magic range for that. Okay, so summoner. Okay, so so. Yeah, my summoner is sixty something. I think. Sixty something. Maybe. I'll check after this. All of them should be done before Endwalker, but that's personal preference. I just. Maybe it's a big commitment, but I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, no clipping. Okay. Okay. Huh. Tough old bugger. Everyone all right? Ah, oh, young Artbert, man. Look at him. Artbert, I, I, I don't know what to say. Actually, um, uh, Denki, if you want to know what you've missed so far, um, all you need to do is look at one singular clip if anyone in stream has it for him. Artbert, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry for trying to go it alone. And why, pray tell, did you even try to do something so foolish? 
If we'd been here from the first, it wouldn't have been anything even approaching a challenge. Back in the day, I was a bounty hunter. I've told you that much, but I haven't told you about my old partners. Together, we tracked and claimed countless notorious marks throughout Norvran. We were the best in the business. Everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends. And somewhere along the line, we started to believe it too. And then, we set our sights on Balam Quits. I survived. They didn't. I swore vengeance. I had no idea how to go about pursuing it. Then I met you lot and thought that maybe, with your help, I might just have a fighting chance. So you see, I never intended to keep it all a secret. It's just, you never asked. And since I'd rather not talk about it, you just live in the moment. They've walked off, by the way. They're not even, they're, they've gone. They've gone to collect the loot, bro. They're, they're arguing over who... Who's getting the web, man? Easier to live in the moment, you know? The next town, the next job... The weeks flew by, and after a time... I started having second thoughts. Oh, I thought she was turned around. I'd lost those closest to me before. I didn't want to live through that again. Are we or are we not comrades through thick and thin? These bonds of fellowship between us must come before all else. Otherwise, they may as well not exist. You say the thought of losing us pained you. What of our feelings? What of our loss? What if we had not arrived when we did? I like Odba. He's a he's he's a he's a nice young lad. He's a nice young boy. Very respectful, very polite. You've saved our lives more times than I can count. How dare you refuse to let us do the same? And without those keen ears of yours, I'll never know what bollocks Brendan and Nalbud are whispering about me behind my back. And ignorance is not bliss, let me tell you. Why are you have to be mad? It was only a yoke. This one's worth a fortune, aye. And fame besides. I'll wait till we won't have to pay for our drinks when we get back into town. Oh, gods. Not another night to remember. Don't worry about your pretty head over our fearless leader's questionable constitution. Take pride in the victory. To the small folk will sleep easy once they hear Balam quits his demise. I'm glad the Lawless will be fine. Until Ardbud's drunken snoring wakes him from their slumber. <laughs> oh, no one left. Okay. Yeah, what the hell, bro? He has a condition. That's why he snores. Leave him alone. And on that note, I think it's time we quit this place. And render Ray, I trust that the next time you decide to hunt deadly game, you do us the courtesy of extending us an invitation. How did they know, though, that she was here? Mary thought I was doing you a favor by keeping you out of my personal affairs, selfish as it was. Oh, fine. But if you go and die on me, I'll pay a necromancer to raise you from the dead so I can kill you out of spite. She didn't actually do that, did she? Agreed. Now then, mind cutting off whatever it is you need to take back as proof of the kill. I don't want to lose our reward on a technicality. Oh. It must have been in its pocket. They have her on the... No, they have her on the friends list. They have her on the friends list so they know where she is at all times. Like a GPS tracker, man. Wait, is that... You can get griefed in this, can't you, in Final Fantasy? Like, if you unfriend someone, it doesn't unfriend 
you for them, so they know where you are. So if they want to come grief you or some shit, they can, huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. Such a fine crystal. Why not hold it? Hold on to it as a memento of this occasion. Mm. Griefing is a problem. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Are they looking to resolve it or no? <gasps> Wake up, damn you! Hello. What's wrong with you, huh? That's the second time your so-called gift has cost us a chance at slaying Andrea. And Andrea. You... You know what? I've had enough. Enough, I say. <clears throat> yes! I don't need your help. I'm perfectly capable of hunting the Sin Eater on my own. Uh, it's past time I told you to piss off. I don't like being mean to people, man. Should I send it? What do you think? I'm gonna let chat decide. Do I tell this, this kid to piss off? He is a little bit of a brat. I thought we were I thought we were just on the cusp of helping him. Oh yeah, I need to do that, Eddie. Yeah, I need to do that. It's because my list is gonna be full if I do. So I'm kinda like scared. <sighs> I think telling him to piss off will probably be funny. Upon our return to Gate Town, you will be given your final payment. We will be free to go our separate ways. Well, that was an easy quest line. Time to go back to the MSQ. What's the prerequisite for finishing this? Do I just have to be level 80? It's not, this isn't MSQ gated, right? Like I can finish all of this before I finish MSQ, right? Oh yeah, huh? Uh, by the way, Snacky, I see you've DM'd me uh, on Discord. Do you want me to, do I need to read that now? Is that, it's a long message. Do I need to read that now or are we good? Yeah, 80's fine. Okay, cool. Right, before I read this next one, I am going to go tinkle. I've been needing to tinkle for a while now, but I've not wanted to disrupt things. Um, I'm going to run a quick ad so that you guys don't have to get ads in a moment. So I'll be... Oh, yeah. I'm going to run an ad now so that we don't have to get one later. Okay, be right back. One moment. can hear you.
Hey nerds I bet none of you are cool enough to subscribe right now. In the sink? Really? Wash your hands, Strummer. Cyber, uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the community. to me like that. Again, another one. What are you guys doing? Why do you keep tier 3 to me? Tier 3 in the chair. Oh my god, do I have to refund? Dude. Saint Nick, thank you so much for not only three months of subbing, but for tier threeing as well. Where are we at, man? Let's see if it's refreshed. No, it's not refreshed. Twitch! Dude, thank you so much, Saint Nick. I really hope you're just enjoying your, the, the time in the streams here and focus. Focus. Can I? No, it, it's every two hours they. Yeah, they. Um. Somebody said something about washing my hands. I. I use the bidet, because obviously every toilet here in Japan has like a bidet and warm seat. Oh, dude, all of them have warm seats. When I go and sit on the toilet, and I do sit down wheeze, right? Because then I get to go on my phone, I don't have to aim. It's honestly, it's genius. So sit. I could be stuck on there for like an hour, and I'm not even doing anything. Nothing's coming in, nothing's go- wait, no. Sorry, nothing's going out, nothing's coming in. I'm just chilling, man. I'm just vibing on a warm seat on my phone. It's warm right now. Chat, you can go try it. Um, but I, uh, it's game changing. Game changing. But no, I use the water from the bidet to not only clean me spiritually, uh, but also I use it to clean my hands as well because it's like efficient use of water. Like I don't want to be wasteful, you know what I mean? So it's like two in one get everything cleaned up, you know, so it's just efficient that way. Stream time works perfectly for my work schedule, so I appreciate it. Excellent. Perfect. I'm glad. I'm glad. There's so many of you guys that work and watch streams at the same time. I know, like, that's 
that sounds like the dream, man. Like, what do you guys all do? Do you just all work in IT, graphic design? I always, I'm always so curious what you guys do. Because I know why I'm here. I'm here because you're here. But, like, why are you here? You know what I mean? I don't mean to be so... I'm so confrontational today. I'm, like, yelling at people for subbing. I'm, I'm like, why are you even here? You know, I'm, like, threatening people. I feel like uh, the girl from mean, uh, from mean Girls. What are the three girls from Mean Girls? There's, like... Ah... Uh, I should know these. I should know these. Yeah, free, uh, IT, IT. IT, like, you're not the clown, are you? You're not the scary clown that kidnaps children. You're like the, like, information technology, yeah? Is that why, I've not seen the movie, actually. I don't know what happens. I know the kids are scared of him. He knows, Scatter. <laughs> That's Pennywise. Isn't the movie called It, though? Isn't it called It? Um, yeah, so ITIT, freelance artist. Sick. Nice. Janitor supervisor. Okay. So when you're not doing that, you're, like, solving math equations on chalkboards and stuff? I'm an illustration. Oh, that's nice. What kind of illustration? Software developer, software dev, I'm at work, bam. So I'm working with you, you stream on the e time zone? Yep. Mm -hmm. Software dev. I don't like when there's a camera facing me when I sneeze, man. I feel it's too intimate. I feel like you guys know too much about me at that stage. I don't like it. I'm doing this and shit. I'm like... <laughs> I don't like it, man. Stop staring at me when I'm sneezing. Why aren't you wearing pink on Pink Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, office job. Warranty claims and such. Ah, okay. Interesting. So quite a range. Wow. I I'm always so interested to hear what you guys do. Like, I love learning about other people's jobs as well. It's really cool. Measure for work at home. Work at home call center peeps. And they're all well behaved. Oh, cool. Yeah. Dude, call centers make so, so much sense for people to work from home. That's like, you don't even need a call center. You can have a call s separated. You know what I mean? Like a call spread out. That's what it should be now. I think, I think COVID was, okay, I need to be very careful with how this is worded. I think COVID was so good for improving the, the work life balance of a lot of people. Um, it's always a shame when like a terrible thing is something that results in like some positive changes. But I think that's really cool that so many people get to work from home now. So many more work from home options. Yeah, like it's not just seen as like, you want to work from home three days a week? What are you crazy? get out it's like yeah that's fine we can do that like for people that have children dude you gotta pay for like daycare and nursery i've heard about uh, how much nursery is and stuff one parent's income can be the cost of just sending a child to nursery at that point what's the point they're gonna get less good like uh less good sort of i mean i guess they get the social element like they're getting less good sort of uh parenting and the parent has to work as well. It's like, what? I guess some parents like going to work. I'm not, I'm not, I never shame someone for going to work when they got a kid and stuff. But like, I just mean like, some people go to work because they, to pay for nursery, which then doesn't make any sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Post COVID, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've got like BC, AD, and then PC. I watch CNC Machine. Doing work. What's a CNC machine? Oh, you meant information technology, not it. Yeah, hold on a minute. Have you in the corner of my screen and waste time talking to my boss about MMOs when he notices? Oh, that's cool. That's like they have a boss that's like pretty chill with it. Uh, do you know what level Reaper is available? 70? 70. It's like saying, isn't Zelda the dude with the green hat? Close enough, man. I 
Okay, speaking of that, what level am I summoning? Okay, my summoner is 59. My astrologer is 59. I could do these other role quests. I think I probably will try and do them before Endwalker, but I may not get all of them. I'll try and do some of them. I've got the experience leveling ring, so that'll probably help. I don't like when you know too much about me. By the way, I sit when I pee. Yeah, but you don't get to see me doing that, you know what I mean? Unless you pay. In which case, if you guys want to hook up my other site, let me know. DM me. I'll give you the link. Um, no, but uh, <laughs> that's different, you know? Wait, speaking of sneezing, does it annoy you that the Japanese pull it up instead of blowing their nose? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like when, like the guttural, like, thing? Sort of like, intake? Um, I've not noticed that. I've not noticed that, really. I hold my sneezes in public, though. In public, I hold them back, which is kind of bad. You shouldn't really do that, but I don't like sneezing in public. I think it's kind of nasty. The only time I've heard people doing that is in, like, hotels when people are brushing their teeth and you can hear them doing the whole, like... Japanese people, they, like, really clean their bodies, man. Like, I'll go to an onsen. I went to an onsen at the Formula One in my hotel. If you guys have never been to an onsen, it's an experience. An onsen is a public bath. Uh, obviously, gender se se uh, segregated. And... You go in, it's just like a hot bath. The one I went to had like a hot bath, a cold bath, a sauna and stuff like that. Obviously everyone's fully naked. Um, it's the only way you can have a good time. But it's, you go in and there's a row of showers and you sort of sit down on a little shower bench and you have a shower, you wash yourself, you know, like shampoo, condition, whatever, body wash stuff if you want. Um, but uh, they, they, do, they do that. And then they get in the public bath water, right? So you pre-clean, get in the public bath, then you clean again, then you leave. But dude, there are guys that'll be cleaning themselves for like 15 minutes. Then they'll get in the bath and they'll clean themselves for like another 15 minutes. And I'm like, how dirty are you, bro? How much skin you got? How much skin you got, bro? Crazy. And then also when they're cleaning their teeth and stuff, I've heard in a bunch of like hotels when I've been around stuff, they like fully like cleanse their nostrils and throat. It's like a whole process. It takes ages. <laughs> it takes ages, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only two genders in current year. I mean, I know that's bait, but yeah, in Japan, I don't know how much they, like, really... I mean, there's, there's male and there's female. Uh, bathrooms, public spaces, like, that's that. So, just as an information, piece of information. So they clean their bodies, but then we have the recent Yu-Gi-Oh! kerfuffle. Oh, what was that about? I've heard Yu-Gi-Oh! players smell. <laughs> so your bathroom separated? Usually is. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. There's mail and there's email. Yes, true. Honestly, I don't know why I ever placed my faith in you. You are such a disappointment. <laughs> Consider this the formal dissolution, uh, dissolution of our partnership. Let alone ever again speak the names Reek and Cyber in the same breath. Yes, never again. Bro, we were partners for about four minutes. With that, I bid you good day. When he was little, Reek's parents punished him for a time by withholding his allowance. Without money to lavish on his friends, he soon found that, found that many were only drawn to him by his wealth. I dare say he feared you would abandon him as they did, and decided to push you away first. I'm not trying to make excuses for what he said. I only hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Take some time to think it over, then come and see me. Oh, and take this for your troubles. Bosh. There was a tournament where a female player got pretty far, then quit because she couldn't stand the smell. I mean, that's tactics, man. That's tactics. She was weak. 
She was weak, bro. Like, that's strat, man. You go to a tournament, smell bad, your opponent drops out, you win. Done. Didn't even have to put a card down. You know what I mean? What's up? Where's the prize money? What's good? What class is better? Dark Knight or Gunbreaker? I don't know. From a competitive standpoint, you can do all the content on either of them. I think it probably comes down to which one you prefer. You know? Some people literally smell like they shut their pants two days ago and never washed. Who are you hanging out with? You need some new friends. Oh, it's live letter tomorrow, isn't it? Well, uh, my Saturday... No, my Saturday, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's in Japan, so it's my Saturday, yes. Right, wow, she's a, she, wow, she really is a grandma. She's giving me food, man. She's like, now before you do your next quest, have you eaten? Are you hungry? Thanks, lady. It's very kind of you. I'm sure to... I'm sure a talented woman like yourself is needed all over the realm. And so I thank you for sparing a moment to hear me out. Since you two parted ways, she's 26 years old, by the way. Reek has come to visit me several times, though he is blessedly in good health. I worry for his spirits. I think you may have been the only friend he has had for some time. I considered journeying to the Crystarium myself to look in on him but I find travel rather difficult these days. If you would go in my stead, it would put my heart at ease. Sure, lady. Sure, lady. No, but dude, I love going to Jap- uh, I love going to Japanese, like, uh, I love going to onsens, I love going to, like, bathhouses and stuff. I really want to go to some natural springs. Um, yeah, man. I love, I love the onsen. It's so nice. It's so relaxing. And like you said, yeah, it's like spiritual. There's something, there's something just really nice about it. Must be all the old dudes. Wieners. Just really putting me at zen, you know? Put it in zen, at zen, with zen. Zen zen. But so I'm 26 years old. Do you sound like this? Running on the shadows, man. Wee! The floor is lava. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way, dude. I'm going to um. Yeah, I'm going to the MSQ. Whoops. So the reason we're doing this as well, by the way, guys, obviously you probably know, but we're doing these roll quests so that we, then we can continue the MSQ. So we got to a really good point in the MSQ yesterday. We got to the point where we killed Vathri, and we, um, and he was beautiful. Dude, did anyone see that coming? But yeah, did anyone see that coming? I didn't. I don't know why I had my hand up. He was beautiful. Graham got kidnapped. He got shot actually he got well he did get kidnapped as well but he got shot no shot bro that i didn't pre okay i did not predict that i was like oh i think i you know it's uh, like i think midway through i was like okay i think he's a light warden but that story of like him being infused with the light warden at birth didn't see that one come in. I thought that was really cool actually. And kind of problematic, man. I don't I don't know that we should be genetically modifying our kids like that, but and the fact that it's the fact that it's Emmett it was Emmett that did it. Yeah, it, the fact that it was Emmett that did it is so funny cuz he's just been watching us this whole time and he could have been like, "Yo, there he is. He's right there. Go get him." You expected it? Oh, okay. But I never expect how cool the cinematic execution is. That fight, it sh I hope on extreme it's really good. Sometimes in some of these fights, the regular version, like the trial version, is really good. 
so the extreme sort of fall short because they're kind of i guess they're kind of like oh the trial's already so good that we don't need to improve it whereas like some of them are a bit lackluster so the extreme version is like really good you know so i also find it really interesting in this game that there is no story raids like as you know obviously the story to the raids but like none of the story in the raid like none of the bosses are msq bosses like we're not fighting Asians in the raid and like primals and stuff like that we're fighting just like random robot number three ancient alien number seven and you're like okay cool so yeah they're all saved for the trials and stuff for the trials and the dungeons and duties which i think is like kind of interesting in WoW, I'm used to, like, hey, here's the bad guy for the expansion, here's his minions. And, like, yeah, some of his minions are just, like, random henchmen number four. But, like, then there'll be a couple characters sometimes that'll be like, oh, this is a person from, like, this story, no way, this person's from, like, years ago or whatever. And, and you can recognize a lot of the characters. Or they're, the, the, the characters, so you'll go through a zone, you'll be leveling through from, like, 60 to 70. And as you go through the zones, there'll be certain characters that sort of, like, stand out as villains antagonists and stuff and like they wind up being like the third boss of the raid or something or like the fifth boss or whatever and you're like oh cool i remember questing and they were there so that is kind of neat because you kind of like building up to this epic battle with the in these raids with these with these mobs but like you go into the raid in this game and it's just like yeah these are just like random dudes man figure it out and you're like oh okay i don't know what to expect oh actually no sorry that's a lie the bosses in this game are like, hey, did you ever play Final Fantasy 3.5? It was only released in Brazil in 1997 and uh, sold 27 copies. Uh, well, this is the boss referencing that game. And you're like, yeah, I didn't... Okay, sure, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lou Reek's customary seat is empty. There is nothing to suggest he has occupied it recently. Perhaps someone will have noted his passing. It's like this, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes it does, but it's like, I mean, I'm cool with it, man. I'm cool with it. Because if you don't know who the boss is, like Kefka, right? Don't know who that boss is. But if you do know who it is, it's a bonus. But I didn't know who it was, but when I played it, I was like, this is a really cool boss. You know, so like, nice. Cool. God, Vothri was so hot. He was, and then he changed form, you know what I mean? Looking for Master Reek, are we? <laughs> I say you're the only one. Wow, why is everyone so mean to this kid? Like, pff, no reason to be. Like, I get it. No one likes him. Like, you, like, you talk to a random NPC, like, hey, do you know that guy? Like, no, <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> like, okay. Could just be like, no. What is mummy and daddy cut him off? So there's no point in pretend. I don't like that. I don't like how he said mummy and daddy like that. So there's no point in pretending to like the little shite anymore. Last I saw him, he was moping about like someone had shot his Amaro. I'm sure it'll turn up eventually. Damn. Jeez. What's wrong with this kid, man? Never played any other FF, it doesn't matter, and people who say it's reference are kind of annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay, that caught me off guard. Um, no, I think it's cool. I, 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 I like to know. If I'm killing a boss and it's a reference to another FF, I, I could be like, yeah, that's cool. Um... Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah. It's a bunch of stuff in 14 I'd never have known was a reference to a prior FF without being explicitly told. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, except everyone knows the references, yeah. But I imagine it's not because everyone's played every FF, it's because they've been told about it being in another FF. Lou Reek, the Mr. Lordling. If he ain't sat at his usual table, then I've no idea where else to look. Uh oh. Oh, what about the well traveled mage? Come on. Come on. You're hanging out with that other dude, surely, right? Calusia, right? You're Lou, Reek, Lou Reek's partner. I was with Landbred, remember? I do. It was ten minutes ago. Thank you. Was I out of stress? Uh, was? I out of stress. Because after we left, you left you eat. We headed back, uh, straight to Raktika. We'd heard a rumor Andrea was there, and Landbrid wanted to strike while the iron was hot. By the time we realized we were out overmatched, it was too late. I saw Landbrid fall, and when the Eater set her sights on the others, I fled. 
Oh, shit. Call me a coward if you'd like, but my cowardice saved my life. Wicked white. I still remember looking back as I ran and seeing Lambert rise to his feet. I told everyone what happened, to warn them off the hunt. Some listened, but a few bloody fools took up their weapons and joined the hunt. Glory-hungry imbeciles. Not a one of them has returned. Didn't expect Lou Reed to be one of them, either. I remember thinking it odd, especially when I saw him leave for Rektika alone. I'm meeting him there, I presume. Good luck, friend. I have no doubt that you're going to your doom. Oh, sick, okay. Damn, so the bad boy's... The bad boy's down. Well, I see he got to his feet. Maybe he's not down. I've come out of like three hours of Helldivers. I see Sai has not finished the roll quests. Maybe. How do you know that this isn't just my second or third roll quest? Had a fun time playing all FS up to 14 and going, wait, I know you, yeah. Enjoyed the recent content even less than I would have because of them. What, because of knowing bosses are from like old games? Can all the other older references feel like you're missing out because you haven't played it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good, Sky. Sounds good. Enjoy. The insistence that this boss is from this game, yeah. Uh, do, you, do but do you mean that people telling, like people constantly being like, "Oh, this is from this other FF," or do you mean like, yeah, okay, okay, right, right, right. You're not saying you dislike that the FF devs are putting these bosses in the game, yeah, yeah. But yeah, people can be annoying about anything, so it's 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 not the con it, you don't. Because like for me, I could look at it as like, oh, this boss isn't like unique to this universe. This boss isn't like something special. It's like just like a bonus boss from something else so i'm kind of like i could see it being jarring in that way but um but like if it's a cool boss it's a cool boss right yeah some people want to make sure you know it's a reference guys i feel like you're all dogging on snacky here snacky loves fun facts every time there's a boss from a different final fantasy snacky tells me snacky down bad i think we're gonna need some snacky some snacky pets just to just to make them feel better give them a little yeah, it feels like FF is a theme park with its own exclusive attractions, MSQ and stuff. Well, I think that's kind of good. Like, keep like lock in your universe, you know? Like, expand on the universe that you already have because it causes people to go and want to play the other FFs, which means you make more money. Like, it's kind of smart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, okay, so what I'm getting from this conversation is nobody cares that the boss is from, like, a previous thing. It's just sometimes people get annoyed about social situations. Okay, that's fine. That's something different entirely. So that's no sweat. Yeah, cool. I mean, I, 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 for me, as if the boss is cool, the boss is cool. If it makes sense for the lore as to why they're there, then yeah, sick, man. Like, let's, let's go. As long as it's a fun boss, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't mind being told that they're from a different FF. Yeah, like, that's fine, too. Cyber, why are you here? Don't tell me you came for me. It's terrible. It's horrible. Andrea, she's... She's... The lahi, it's in my head. It's in my head. Render Ray, if all of you remains, then hearken to my words. I have come to lay your soul to rest, alone, as you yourself faced Balam Quits a century ago on this very ground. It is him, okay. Lambrid, oh gods, no. Yo, she's turned the whole group. That's sick. Get shit on, I guess, Lambrid. 
Actually, I don't know who these other guys are. Are these her... Are those her old companions? No. No, because those are the... No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, never mind. No, forget I said that. Forget I said that. That's dumb. Burnt, burnt the meal. I burnt the noodles, bro. Forget it. I'll make some fresh ones. Don't tell me. You beheld a vision of my past just now, didn't you? What am I talking about? Bro, I had a moment. I forgot I forgot that the people she was struggling with was Warrior of Darkness friends for a second. And then I was like, oh yeah, shit. No, that, no. It's not them. I, I thought as much. It wasn't but a moment ago that I confronted them. Awfully useful, that trick of yours. But I can't understand why you kept using it every time we ran into Andrea. Why didn't they kill him? They just walked away, man. I can't control when it happens. Huh. So it wasn't something you did deliberately. Good to know. Anyway, unintentional or not, at least I won't have to convince you of what I saw. She's turned Lambert and those other hunters into sin eaters like herself. Yeah, so they're just random hunters. Okay. A Hume Axeman, a Galgen Swordsman, a Dwarven Healer, an Elven Mage. Looked awfully familiar, didn't it? Oh, wait, maybe it did. She's rebuilding her fellowship. She's remaking the Warriors of... Dude, I am so bad at looking at a character that's like a side... Just like a, like, henchman number seven and remembering what they look like. I just count numbers. I just go like... Or I count like numbers or I count the race of the people. So I'll just be like, okay, there was one of that, one of that. They must be the same. <laughs> but I don't actually remember if they are. Okay. So she's rebuilding the her fellowship. She's remaking the Warriors of Light. But for the life of me, I can't understand why. I mean, I understand why she came here in the first place. She's reliving the hunt for Balam Quits. But Brenda Ray slew the beast by herself. The stories were clear about that. Yeah, I don't understand... Um, why this is all replaying like years later what they were there too then the stories were wrong god strike me down i've been such a fool why did i ever think i could do this alone i i hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me for all the things i said cyber i've regretted my behavior ever since the day we parted ways it was stupid and nonsensical and utterly pointless. I'm not sure I could even tell you why I did what I did. Uh, to extend the story, man. Make it more interesting. You know, develop it. We were getting on too well. Thank you, my friend. I hope it is alright if I call you that. I did tell you to piss off, though. You know what's funny is I, I'm I'm getting... So I've read some of you guys' comments. I've been trying to follow the conversation as and when I can. And what I find so interesting is how my experiences in-game have been different as a Sprout and, like, a streamer. Um, and maybe it's the, act, the fact that, like, I'm not in current content. Because if you're in current content, you're probably running, like, a dozen dungeons a day or something, farming for a thing or whatever. So you're probably, like... Like, the amount of people I organically run into in this game is very low. Because a lot of the time when I do a dungeon... I'm bringing you guys. So the amount of... And, and you guys just type in my Twitch chat. And you probably told me a bunch of information already. So, like, there's not just, like, all of these sort of social interactions that are happening in my dungeons. Everything's happening in Twitch chat. So... Yeah. Yeah, I don't often talk much in-game. I don't really talk much in-game either. I, I, yeah. For an MMO... For, for an avid MMO player, I actually don't really like socializing with people that much. Like, I actually don't really like sitting in Discord. I don't talk much to people. Yeah. But, uh, and yet, I like streaming. Make it make sense. I actually, I don't know. What do I think of RP stuff in game? Uh, do you mean like act like people like old? Oh, good day, sir. Where art thou hail from? Did thine? Beep 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 beep
like all that kind of shit. Um, people like pretending to be in character and stuff. Uh, sorry, not pretending. It's real. Let's go. People being in character. Um, yeah, cool. I think it's awesome that they exist in the game because I think it keeps like a, it keeps like a sort of. Like I'll be honest, I think if the RPS didn't play this game, it would be pretty dead. Like I think RPS just. RPS I think are like the honeybees. You know what I mean? That is. That is the workhorses, man. They're maybe not the most exciting animal. They're maybe not the most exciting gamers. Right? But like, they're just keeping everything cooking, man. The RPers, they're the ones, I think, engaging with like all the glamour systems and all the, like, the crafters who are fueling the RPS and the housing market and everything that's all being fueled by RPS. Like, I think RPS kind of keep everything, like, uh, ticking, you know? They're like the glue, I think. Um, so I like RPS. I don't RP. I don't really feel comfortable RPing, but that's my thing that I, feel, I don't feel comfortable. I think it's really cool when other people do feel comfortable to do that. Like I, that's to me, I don't, I'm not gonna describe it as brave because I think that's a bit extreme, um, but it's kind of like, uh, like I have respect for people that can RP because I can't. I just like struggle with that kind of thing. I don't like putting myself in like a position where I have to like act, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I don't RP, I R tinkle. <sighs> right then, Andrea should be around here somewhere. Still in the hunt for Balam quits, I expect. Not that she'll ever find it. No doubt Landbrid and the others are with her too. He and I may have had our differences, but I not wish that fate on my worst enemy. Yeah, the guy was, I mean, the guy was in the story for like three seconds and then he got turned. Would have been cool to see more of him. Unless he's just like a major side character. He's just, I'm trying to figure out like main main and side characters in this story. And I guess right now it's him and it's her. And odd, odd but He's supposed to be laid to rest. They all do. Render Ray most of all. She was... She is my hero. If I have to kill her to save her soul. Then so be it. But this is too much for even the best hunter to handle alone. And I am far from the best. The only way to see this through is together. You and me, my friend. What say you? Is making a relatively involved backstory for your character considered an RP? I think if you play your character in that fashion, I guess, in a way, yeah. But there's, I think RP is a spectrum, right? It's not just like, this is RP, this is not RP. I think it's like, this is an amount of RP. You know, like I guess you could say the fact that I am drawn to playing druidic classes, and I like, I like, have an association of my character. Like I have to play classes that I relate to, but not relate to. I don't relate to being a feral druid, but I mean like that that I that I like with that theme. Like I have to play a character whose theme I enjoy. Like I could never really play like a warrior. Um, even if I play it in this game, it's because it's like, well, it's just a tank, just to say that I've done it, you know. But like, I. I couldn't like play a warrior and I wouldn't like have that attachment to that character. So I guess in a sense like that is RP, but it's not the same as like like I as I associate RP as like pre pretending to be your character and like walking around and you are that. So when you talk to people that is you. Like that is what I think of as RP, like true RP. You know. Huh. Ask for a word and you give me a nod. Fair enough. Before you resume the hunt in earnest, though, let us return to Gate Town and let let Miss Olvara know it all as well. After all, you wouldn't have come unless she sent you. But you're playing a warrior of light. Touche. <laughs> Yeah, Vatia, yeah, that's a that's a cool way of looking at it. Yeah. Like I said, I got big respect for people that do RP, so like I'm cool with RPs, man. Like 
power to him, dude. I think they keep the ecosystem of the game kind of, kind of ticking, yeah. It's a valid interpretation of RP, but definitely not what many people engage in. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I don't really like engage in the RP world, so there's probably, there's definitely going to be nuance to it that I, like, am unaware of, and yeah. Yeah. most of it the good thing is is that all of my vods for the msq are up on youtube so every single shadow bring it the beginning of shadow bring onward is up on youtube so you can check it out they're all there um which is nice at least in a way 14's msq is rp does your warrior of light say fuck right off to catboy from this quest or is he too nice to despite your feelings goes with the other choice yeah, I'd say it's restricted. It's 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 RP on rails, right? Like you you there's only so much that you can say, and have so much. You have two options, right? So it's like it's like RP on rails. I think fourteen is a very I think 14 is very well designed for RP. Um, I would kind of say it's like a story game, then an RP game, then like a high-end content raid dungeon, sort of instance content game. Like, I would put like RP second and raiding like third, you know. Hard disagree, you think? How come? Hey, good luck with the grinder, Ryan. Cyber, what a pleasure to see you again. And in the company of Little Reek, no less. Am I right in assuming you've patched things up? I should like to think so, yes. And all is, uh, and it is all thanks to you. Had you not implored her to give me another chance, I might well still be sitting alone in the swamps, delling on my myriad failings. And you, my friend, I know not why you sought her out on your own, but I'm glad that you did. Miss Olara is perhaps the only person who truly cares for my well-being. She has no one to look after her. Don't be silly, Reek. I have you, don't I? And before you start blabbering about how much you wish you could properly reward Cyber, as I can tell you're about to, know that I've prepared a hearty meal just for her. Our new grandma is going to feed us, man. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Nevertheless, I shall see you both duly compensated once we have claimed the bounty of Andrea. Andrea? It's Andrea. Why do I keep saying Andrea? It's Andrea. It's the same name. It's the same name. Claim it we shall. For United, Reek and Cyber are unstoppable. That's what I would like to say. I know my own limitations better than anyone. It would be prudent to make proper preparations at this juncture. You should. You too should see it. Uh, see to it that you are ready for the struggle ahead. You're mighty one indeed. One well worth the effort, my friend. Boop. Dude, thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. Sai so says he does not pee, but then does voices for side characters. Interesting. I sometimes do voices. Just for you guys to get a variation, you know? It's probably pretty boring just hearing, like, hearing a conversation between five characters and they're all, like, talking like this, you know? Probably nice to hear, like, oh, little Riki. Yeah. MMOs can't survive long term on content alone. They need social structure. Yeah, or FOMO, or um. I think what works really well for MMOs long term success is a uh, sunk cost fallacy. And uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Ushta. Hold on, Ushta. One sec. Snacku. Hit with the copy pasta. You got this. Saiba, my friend. My partner. I trust you already. Good, good. That is very good indeed. For before we depart to face Andrea... For what I pray is the final time, I have a confession to make. Snacky, where are you? No, not that one. Sna God damn it, Snacky. You're never going to make it as a mod in this channel if you keep 
if you keep getting it wrong. The disclaimer, this is a joke, this is a joke. Come on, Snack, you step up. I'm training you here to be my replacement one day. You're never gonna make it. No, yeah, I'm joking, you stop. I can't even remember what I said. What did I say? Oh, I said about Stockholm Syndrome for MMOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a joke. Don't tell me my 14 character will one day be meaningless. Uh, one day they will shut down the servers for your favorite MMORPG. And then what will you do? God damn, that's a sad thought. Do I, uh, what up, Harizik? Har uh, do I use a VPN? I don't know. Um, I do not. If I get sponsored by a VPN, maybe I'll use one. Try it out. But no, I don't currently. I don't feel the need to. Maybe I will one day if I need to, but... I was worried for a second, yeah, no. Uh, I may have been somewhat misleading when I in, uh, intimated intimated the tremendousness of my martial prowess. In truth, it rather pales in comparison to yours. Oh, does it? Do you tell? You must be terribly crestfallen, I'm sure. It was my deepest regret that I allowed you to labor under the misapprehension that we were equals for so long. In my defense, I must say that when I realized what an exceedingly powerful warrior you truly are, I was dumbstruck. I struggled to conceive of how even to broach the subject. Furthermore, I must admit that great majority, nay, all of our efforts to hone our skills in preparation for the battle to come have been entirely for my benefit, that the disparity between us might not be so readily apparent. think that my insecurity drove me to postpone this fateful day for so long. In my cowardice, I allowed Andrea to assemble a party of followers, but before we might have only to contend with the one foe, we must now confront five, and for all my preparation, I am still no more likely to be an asset to you than a hindrance. But perhaps that need not be the case. In discussing this grim reality with Miss Olvara, while you were away, we hit upon a potential stratagem. Recall you render Ray's greatest strength and weakness, a preternatural hearing. We can be reasonably certain that Andrea is possessive as well. Therefore, if you were to fashion a device that could produce a loud noise at will, you could use it to secure an advantage in your battle. What I lack in strength of arms, we may make up for with guile. While it will not guarantee us victory, it will surely bring us one step closer. A thousand pardons, Master Reek. But I am come to deliver a message from your Lord Father. Daddy? <laughs> what does he want with me now? It has come to your Lord Father's attention that you have acquitted yourself rather poorly as a bounty hunter and have brought terrible shame upon your family name. He commands you to seize all such activities at once and return to the city forthwith. Should you fail to do so, you will be stripped of your citizenship and family name. No further financial assistance will be provided. Oh. Oh, dear. You may tell my father, and sorry, don't you mean daddy and mommy, the following, that I am Lou Reek, proud bounty hunter, slayer of sin eaters, that I have no intention of renouncing this cause, that they are free to do as they deem, uh, as they deem fit. Tell them that if they have no son, then I have no parents, that I have no family save Miss Olvara, who has shown me more love than they ever have. Very good, Master Reek. I shall deliver your reply to them at once. Right, now that that's settled, 
If we can get to work crafting that giant noisemaker of ours, let us consult with the craftsman of the crystalline mean at once. I dare say you lit a fire in him, Cybear. I never thought I'd see the day when he'd muster the courage to say anything like that to his parents. If I had a nickel for every clippable daddy moment on stream, I'd have two nickels, which is weird. Oh, yeah. Look. I legally have to read any and all quest text that appears. Okay, if there is quest text, I must read it. They choose the words, I merely read them, okay? I am but a vessel for the words to flow, okay? Boop. Uh, yeah, Drummer, I don't have a other classes leveled yet to do the others, but I do want to try and do them, so I'm going to try and work on stream like, beginning of streams and stuff. Maybe I'll take, like, a day. Maybe I'll take, like, a, a day to just... Depends on what we get to in the MSQ today. Um, depending on where we get. If, you know, if we're building up to some really cool shit, then maybe we'll finish it tomorrow or something. Or like, you know, finish it tomorrow. Or maybe I'll take, like, tomorrow to just level up these jobs so that I can do more class quests, you know? Depend if we get to, like, a really good point, then I'll do it on Friday. If we end up at a point today where we're just kind of doing chores, then I'll go, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll take a chore break and I'll just do some other chores, you know? Dep so it depends what the story is like at the end of today. How's the role quest been so far? Dude, honestly, I know it kind of probably just seems like I'm going through the motions with the MSQ. Like, well, I'm going to class this as MSQ. Go through the motions with just, like, the, the, the games right now, but I'm just enjoying the journey. Like, I am... I'm energetic. Like, I'm feeling good, and I'm just letting things unravel. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in, man. I'm just, I'm locked in, and I'm just letting things unravel. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird that they like make you do it. Like, I don't know why it's pertinent to the MSQ. Like, I don't understand why they're making me do it because they don't make you do class quests. So I don't really understand that. But cool. Like, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um. All right. A mystery. Shrug. Shrug. Shruggies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I do want to try the other ones. Are, are the other one? Oh, I can't even answer. That. I can't even get an answer for this. I will pose this as a hypothetical then, rather than asking directly, but um, I'm curious as to what the other role quests are, whether they're like a different perspective of this same quest, or if you get a completely different one, like if there's a, if, if, if you're still dealing with this Warrior of Light, or if it's like a completely different Warrior of Light, or if it's unrelated to a Warrior of Light, if it's like, I don't know, maybe the Crystal Exarch's like trying to work on his jump shot and just can't quite get it, and you like step in and you're like, alright bro, you gotta like, you know, you want to plant your feet here, and then you want to jump, and as you jump, you want to release the ball. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like maybe that's what it is. So I don't know. We'll see. One of them has an intense underwater basket weaving solo duty. Damn. Damn. Did you want to swim? Yeah, there you go. Like, maybe... <laughs> there you go. Uh, hmm. What's all this? What's all this thing? <laughs> I wasn't planning on continuing this voice, but now I feel like I have to. That's a... What's, what's the... What's all this thing? Um, you got something what needs making? Indeed I do, good sir. I wish to commission the production of a device that can generate a tremendously loud sound. Oh, you know what a really loud sound is that I absolutely hate? The sound of like a tier 1, 2, or tier 3 sub coming in on the channel. Like that's like a, oh man, that would be terrible. Like a sound, so horrible to hear. I hate when that happens. Um, but that's tremendously loud. So maybe that'll help with the, with the questing. You know? Duly noted, I will avoid subbing. Good. 
Good. I'm glad to hear it. Good. 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 That's good. Good, 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 good. Swell. Nice. Excellent. I wish to commission the production of a device that can generate a tremendously loud sound. It must be small and light enough to be carried by a single individual as well. Ain't that one of the stranger requests I've heard? Well, if it's just noise you want, then I'd wager we could make do with a special blend of fire sand. Aye, I think I've got just the recipe for your needs. I need some choice ingredients, mind. You need to go and fetch them for me. F -f fetch <clears throat> What precisely is it that you require? Well, there's this one particular beastie native to Calusia what's got a singular diet and leaves these massive dung piles. The fresher the better, if it please. A few varieties of grass native to Raktika. Oh, and some iron ore from Amarang. I can give you a list if you like. To wit, I'll need to travel to the far corners of Northrend and back. Oh dear, this is rather more involved than I... No, no, no more excuses. I will do whatever must needs be done to see this through to the end. My friend, I will not impose these tasks upon you. I insist that you remain here while I go and fetch the required materials. You know something that I don't do enough with, like, MSQ text reading? Is, like, inferring tone at which they might be trying to say something. Like, a lot of the time I, I find that I just read the words. And I'm trying to get better. It's funny, I'm all the, I'm all the way in Shadowbringers, and yet I'm, a, like... It's like a constant process and a constant like reminder of like, hey, I can do this better. Um, like I'm not concerned with being like the best, the best quest text reader ever. You know, like I'm not gonna do tons of voices and all that kind of stuff because I don't always feel comfortable. But like, I'll fuck around when I feel like it. But um, definitely tone. Like I, I, I sometimes I'll just read stuff because I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna sit here and be like. I don't know, going like super deep on the on the acting. You know, like I'm not a voice actor. Um, I could be. Could be though. Dude, I'd actually love to be a voice actor. I think I I think I'd actually be a sick voice actor. Maybe. Maybe. I had to do some voice acting today for this um this add-on like so it's kind of like an, I guess an extension this is an extension I'm trying to get for for the stream for you guys um, I had to do a bunch of voice acting so I had to pretend to be me in different modes happy sad I was all of the dwarves actually bashful dopey sleepy sexy all of the dwarves um, and uh, and and uh, what was it? What was I gonna say? Yeah, and that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I'd wanna do voice acting one day. To be honest, you don't need to know. It's better if you don't. That's the comedy value. What, the, with the tone? Oh, wait, oh no. Oh, wait, wait you're still talking to him. Okay. Yeah, then at some point the game is like, someone is here to see you, and grandson appears, and I'm like, whomst are you? <laughs> whomst? Whomst are you? Hmm. Can we get Orange's Do Not Interfere as a voice redeem exclusively for when you're cooking? <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get it out. In fact, hold on. Let me see if it's on there. Uh, I'll have to get CC Lemon to look because there's a website I can use, but it's like, there's spoilers on it, right? Because it has a bunch of voice lines from FF. Um, let me get this one. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, what website do I use? So annoying with Twitch. There's so many different mini websites. Like, there's so many websites that you use for, like, one thing. Use it for like one alert or like one other, and then you kind of just forget how everything got set up. Um... Right, 
but I don't think it's that. Is that? No, it's not that. Um, oh, I know. Hold on, it's on my Twitch. Hold on. No, because this is for TTS. Is it? Is it this? It's this. No, that's an extension. Maybe it's that. I know how to find it. Hold on. I am a professional streamer. I know how to do this. Uh, oh, I, well, uh, hold on. I don't know if I have the orange one. Let me see. Hold on. Boop. Somebody put in my Discord yesterday about doing Vothry voice lines, and some of them are hilarious. Some of them are, like, really good. Like, if I want to tell chat off, and it's some shit, like... I don't know. It's, like, talking about people being, like, rats and all that kind of stuff, and it's just, like... Yep, I'm gonna get this for chat. I'm gonna get this when chat's being mean to me. Um, library. Let me see if I can type in Orianche. Do not interfere. Oh. oh, wait. Browse? Yes, browse. So it's a website called bot.isaiahcreaty.com. If you guys, by all means, if you want to search for some, let me know. Browse. Oh, I can upload them. Yes, I can upload them. So if I can go to an inn, maybe later today, and record just the voice line, then I can do it. I can grab the audio clean. Yeah, if you can grab the audio clean, I can upload it as one. The Orion shade, do not interfere. Yeah, if, if you want to do that, Saku, that'd be sick. Yeah. And then I can upload it uh, later today. So you can have... No! Do not interfere! Thank you, Snacku. Thank you, thank you. Stay hydrated. Oh my goodness. Water. Let's get some water. It's not a big cutscene, right? Nah, he's not even voice acted. He's not even voice acted, bro.
It was a series of surprisingly harrowing experiences, but in the end I managed to obtain the materials necessary for the construction of my secret weapon. Oh, I didn't even have to do it. Oh, he does it by himself. Oh, sick. I mean, that's good character development, right? Yeah, good for him, man. <laughs> that gentleman... Was, uh, that gentleman was rather accommodating. Despite being somewhat put out that I had not any guilt to pay him for his labor, he was nevertheless willing to teach me how to craft the arrows myself. He said he found my industriousness endearing. I must confess, despite being utterly exhausted by all this busy work, it has been somewhat refreshing. Now that my noisemaker arrows are ready, I cannot wait to put them to the proof. If all goes to plan, the explosion should be loud enough to incapacitate Andre Andrea for a time. Let us put an end to her tale, my friend, and in so doing, write the opening of ours, that of Reek and Cybear, bounty hunters extraordinaire. Come, Rectica and glory await. Well, so, you know, I always, I make a lot of requests for, like, more voice acting, but it's really expensive, isn't it? I mean, bro, I'm literally here, on I? No, that's still about, okay. It's really expensive to do voice acting. You know? I was talking about that documentary the other day, um, the, the one from Andrew Callahan, Channel 5 News, up on YouTube. And um, he, he, I was saying he went to Las Vegas investigating this kind of like, this rampant homelessness of people living in the tunnels and stuff like that under Las Vegas and did a whole kind of documentary on that. It was like an hour and 40 minutes. He made a big deal about the fact that he'd trans, uh, he'd, he'd had it translated into five other languages and he said it cost him 20 grand to translate it into five languages and it's an hour and 40 minute documentary so like that's kind of insane dude imagine spending like that wasn't even the cost it was to make the video he also had to make the video which probably was easily another 20 grand when you think about like yeah just for the translation cost 20 grand for five languages crazy so like i don't think voice acting is as uh you know and that's just translations right that's not even like voice acting like anyone can translate that speaks a language you know whereas like certain people are voice actors you know what i mean yeah you have to voice act in multiple languages mm -hmm. exactly right so if they do a story they got to do it for x amount of languages as well crazy Voice acting also adds up on the file size of the game pretty quick. True, is yeah, that's true, huh? Yeah. Yeah. If I may make one small request before we begin, please, for the love of the gods, please do not succumb to any visions of people's past. This really could not be a worse time. <laughs> Alright, this is it, man. Let's go. This is it. Well, are you still with me in the here and now? Excellent. Then we can attend to the task at hand without worry. Let us lay to rest our fellow hunters and grant render Ray the peace a hero deserves. Okay. I know why we're trying to fight them, but why are they trying to fight us? Like, why are they just vibing, dude? I'm going in. I don't know what... There goes nothing. Alright, come on, bud. Oh, sick. Groan. Uh, I'm doing no damage. Oh, nice. Little Reek can do Meshonics as well, man. Oh, look at him dodging. Yo, he's running out with it. Nice. Yo, good job. Uh, okay. You guys have way too much. Oh, okay. He's sick, man. Yeah. 
So... You guys have way too much health. Uh, actually... Oh, killing the healer first as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on then. Yeah, no, this is fine. Immaculate healer. See ya. Did a big request from play it? Yeah, to get the game in Portuguese. Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I would have thought Portuguese would be a, a big language to translate into, because Portuguese is a very... Um, what am I trying to say? Highly spoken language? You know what I mean? Like, spoken by a lot of, uh, by a lot of people. I think it's one of the most spoken in the world, right? Portuguese? I still don't know what the connection is of these guys. At first I thought it was the Warrior of Darkness's soldiers. Like, allies? But I don't think it is. Because they're all dead. Like, they, their support souls are gone. Um, but Linden, or whatever his name is? What's his name? He, he... We met him. So I still don't know, actually. I, 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 sh I should know, but I don't know. Don't tell me you should know, by the way. Don't tell me. I'll find out when the time is right. Oh, I'm stupid. No, that's good. Nice. I'm not stupid. What are we going to? Okay, I just saw the app P, and sometimes you can, uh, you can not spoil things per se, but you can hint that, like, oh, you're going to find out or something, and then it's like, that in itself can kind of give me info, you know, so. I was just, just being careful. That is all good. I'll find out eight seconds before. I don't know. I, that's my, honestly, that is my echo. That is my superpower. It's like, I can guess anything in the story. It doesn't matter what it is. I can guess it. But, like, literally, they're about, they're going to tell me, though. Like, that it's right when they're going to tell me. Every time. Roughly eight seconds before. I'm like the last guy in the room to know what's going on. It's. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna kick my ass. Oh, I'm gonna heal. Freak, don't die on me. That's true. want an eight second delay? How would that. Wait, hold on. That would, how would that even make any sense? So. But, like, that, that doesn't make any sense. I would need to be watching the game on a different monitor eight seconds ahead. But of me? Because how would I predict another streamer's stall? That's what you gotta think. Gotta predict their stall. Actually, I can predict Russ's stall very easily. Very easily. It's a slow crawl. Spanish is the fourth most spoken. It doesn't have uh, BO. Yeah. Maybe they do it based on. Okay. So this is the thing. It's probably not based on the most spoken language. It's probably based on the Final Fantasy population. But then, like. Because the game isn't in a language, that's probably why it doesn't have players. Whereas if you have it in that language, maybe you get more players. You know? It's like the chicken and the egg. But I mean, you know. it's uh, easy to predict something that's always happening or already happening. Yeah, like you know, it's easy to predict the grand reveal as they're in the middle of telling you. <laughs> it's like. Damn it.
It's always so embarrassing, man, when I finally have the realization. Oh, predicting his stalling. Oh, okay. Oh, she's... Yeah, okay. Oh, she's gone. We, we won. Even seeing it and saying it, it hardly feels real. Okay, there's got to be more to this because that was kind of anticlimactic. Huh. What's that you've got there? I don't know, but I feel like I'm about to get flashbanged. Wicked, wait. You're... You're Render Ray. The real Render Ray. Yep, so they're the same person. We knew that. But it's like... I should have never betrayed your trust. Never again, I swore. Never again. Balm quits. The Shadow Keeper, the Flood. Come what may, we would face it together. No matter how hard it got. Or how terrified I was. That's what it means to let someone into your heart, knowing full well that nothing lasts forever. To welcome the fear and the pain, the sorrow. When I lost my parents, and we laid the keep below, you felt it too, didn't you? To place our faith in a desperate, hopeless attempt to save everyone, to see it amount to naught in the end. What else could we do but offer up that tiny remainder in a final, futile effort, even knowing deep down it was worth but a few moments more? What is this? You gave me fear, and that fear gave me strength. Is she talking to... Who is she talking to, man? Is she talking to Oddbert? Is she talking to Ud? Wait, there's so much I want to ask. She's talking to Audi boy. She's talking to Russ. God damn it. He does give me strength. Uh, guys, Friday podcast. Me and Russ back podcasting, okay? We're going to do a trial run this Friday. I'm going to see how it is. Mm -hmm. Do you have, oh, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, sick. Okay, hold on. Volume... Do not interfere! Thank you, Snacku. I don't understand. What was she talking about? It's not right. It's not fair. Heroes sacrificing themselves for nothing. Becoming villains. Being forgotten. Thank you, Cyber. Could have never gone this far without your help. I had no idea who Render Ray or any of the other Warriors of Light truly were. It was all ancient history to me. Why would I care who some Eaters once were? It was no better than my parents. Oh, so this is... Yeah. Okay, I thought there was going to be more to it. I thought she was going to, like... I mean, I guess she kind of did a whole speech, but... You know. It was no better than my parents, judging them out of hand. Dismissing their sacrifice, not bothering to look deeper, made it all the easier to pursue Andrea for my own amusement. I pray I've made up for it, in part by helping to lay Render Ray's soul to rest. Mr. Olvera is probably worried sick about us both. Uh, we should return to Calusia and let her know we're all right. Maybe you need to do all of the role quests for like more context or something. Bosh. That's what I accepted. Yeah, okay, 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 okay
Okay. Lahik of Owen? I don't think I can get my voice that high. I have had a sore throat for the last two weeks because of like so much streaming. Uh, by the way, let me. Lahi. What you call me, mate? What you bloody well call me? How much do the other, how much, how much do the other uh, rewards cost? The other, like, text alerts? How much am I charging you guys? 1k? Okay. I'm gonna put 2k, cause like, yeah. Okay. Now. Interfere. There you go. There we go. <laughs> My little reek. My little reek. Cyber, congratulations on a job well done. And from one hunter to another, thank you for helping Render Ray to achieve a measure of peace. She was a hero to me, too. It broke my heart to know what had become of her. To have your legacy tarnished so, to have the world call you villain, even still. But at least I can take comfort in knowing she can finally enjoy a long rest. Whatever others may say, we will pres preserve the truth in story and song. Render Ray the bravest hunter there ever was, and more importantly, a true friend to those she held dear. I can only hope to measure up to her example someday. But now, however, I say we return to the Crystallium. Raise a glass in celebration. We need Alpha no diving into the Ruby Sea. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We are more or less, I think, Chris. I don't. I'm on a triple question mark quest, and when I started stream today, everyone was like, "Do your roll quest." So I don't know that I'm. I. I, I don't know if I've been, like, hard cut off yet, or if I'm just... I just said at the start of stream, oh, I'll do the roll quest because it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to do MSQ, then do roll quest, then do MSQ, you know? So I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll do this, you know? Where are all the others on? I, I have them turned off at the moment uh, for MSQ. Um, I have kept them on for the MSQ because, like, it wasn't too bad, but... The, it was starting to get to a point where, like, people would be doing them sometimes when I'm just like, oh, you know, we're in the middle of a voice cutscene and someone's doing, like, you know, a whatever sound. And I'm just like, mm, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And then, um, so I've turned them off for now, but I turn them on back on whenever we're not doing, like, like MSQ stuff, you know. Yeah, the bit you get hard cut off is annoying. Okay. Wow, okay. Andrea's bounty has been paid to us in full, my friend. So come, let us eat, drink, and be merry. This has been a good story. The character actually turned out better. 
I think I generally like stories where characters improve as people, not get worse or stay the same. Those are big ass grapes, man. What the hell? I've been meaning to ask, Cyber, but I have the impression you are rather more acquainted with these warriors of light than you've been letting on. What exactly do you know about them? Oh boy, you won't believe it. Okay, so you know like um light. I'm literally full of it. I'm chock full of it. Sure, Chris. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. These some high-res grapes, man. Look at them. They're like spilling over. They're dangling. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I think you only joined the stream recently, but I don't remember Render Ray from Heaven's Lord. People in chat was mentioning something, but I, even though you said that, I still don't remember her. This ah, uh, there's too many characters in this game. When the hell? I have been trying to think about like where I recognize or like not recognize, but like where I. Cause I don't even recognize. Even so, I don't recognize. Like where do I? What am I supposed to know about this character? Where was she from? I... Maybe. I'll see, I'll see if I remember. That, that is so preposterous a tale that I have no choice but to assume it is true. Bring up their lives to first cross the rift and halt the flood. Wicked white. Wait, so they are Oddbert's team mates. I mean, they are. Like, she, I mean, she what? Like, literally, she's like, hey, I'm with Oddbert, but like, she seems like she was an addition. One of Oddbuzz homies? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, again, just be careful, guys, with, like, how, how much you say. But yeah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It must have taken us so much courage to see it through in those final moments. A courage born not of a desire for glory or dedication to an ideal, but a fear and love for those with whom she had forged unshakable bonds. Comrades. Yes, comrade. I won't pretend that we have anything even approaching such a powerful connection, but I would like to think where'd the grapes go? Hold on, I can't play this game. Nope. No, no, no. Actually, reversal. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He asked me about my story, which would have taken time. Okay. Time has transpired. Ergo, the food is gone. Okay, I'm back in. I'm actually, I was, I was about to lock out. I'm locking back in. Nice. But I would like to think that if you were in mortal peril, that I would fly to your side without hesitation. Having said that, if I were tested as Render Ray were, if I were challenged to offer up my life for others, without even knowing if it would amount to aught, I doubt I could rise to the occasion. I am a child and a fool who knows little of the world. I have been coddled and spoiled and have only just tasted the bitter fruits of life that you and countless others sup on daily. You are made of sterner stuff, Cyber, far sterner than me. And that is why I know I can never walk your path. No shame in that, man. I'm a pretty cool dude. Oh, but there is. I cannot recall a time I felt happier and more alive than when I have traveled with you. But you have countless other journeys ahead of you, don't you? For you are destined for greater challenges, whereas I am suited to rather more pedestrian affairs. Know your limits, as Miss Olvara used to say. Meeting her again after all these years, 
Seeing how much older and more frail she'd become made me realize how little time together we have left. She shouldn't have to live out her days living alone and in squalor. Thank you. He gets it now. Finally. I decided it will not be so. I shall return to Calusia and tend to her needs. For I would do my utmost to repay the loving kindness that made me the man I am today. Therefore, though it pains me to say it, I fear the celebration must also mark the end, at the very least a tentative suspension of the glorious partnership that was Reek and Cybear, bounty hunters extraordinaire. If you ever find yourself in Calusia, however, do come and pay us a visit. Bum, ba -da -da. Dude, I need to start figuring out what stats I need. You guys said, like, the term... No, skill speed is... Oh, I'm gonna be going monk, aren't I? Oh, I can't wait to main monk, man. I gotta get good. I gotta get good at monk. I gotta get good. We did it, guys. We're back to MSQ. Let's go. Let's go. Don't worry. View count... Can... Come on in. View count can go up now. Come on in. Come on. It's time, guys. The, the fun's about to begin. Come on. Take a seat. Get a little snack. A little drink. Buckle down. Let's go. I'll start hanging the boys in the bed by Discord. Streamer number 738 is starting the next quest. Quickly. <laughs> Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to run an ad because I care about my viewers and I don't want you guys to have to watch uh, an ad uh, during MSQ. So I am going to run an ad and meanwhile, I guess, get a coffee. Um, yeah. Wait, maybe I can run an ad. I might not be able to. Hold on. Alert. 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 Streamer is now doing MSQ. Alert. 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 Streamer is now doing MSQ. <laughs> uh, guys, unfortunately I can't run an ad. So that sucks. Because uh, I think one of us run two recently. I'm going to put my kettle on regardless and I'll give it a sec. Lahi, when I have Ebola. But you know what you can do to avoid ads? Sub to Cybear with a tier 1, 2 or 3. It's a good time to remind the stream to sub back tier 3. <laughs> you will get more points this way and be able to do not interfere more often. That is true. Do not interfere. I love one that line. One brings coffee, one, one brings milk. <laughs> PSA, did you know that Sai is trying to get into the Partner Plus program and therefore he needs you to sub with a tier one, You guys are so sweet three. that you do the Prime or gifted like, subs you guys are, are so eligible. cute, man. What's I'm waiting for my coffee? I'll tell you guys about Partner Plus, okay? Tumay he all over my rake take a great wood. What? Oh, okay. That came out really- what even was that? She- she lie all over my rake take a great wood. Why did I read it out a second time? What's wrong with me? She. She. Um, guys, I'll talk to you very quickly about Partner Plus. Um, time and then to I'll get shut up. sloppy with some MSQ. And I will turn off TTS during MSQ, just so you know, before you guys start sweating. Okay, don't worry. We'll have it on for now, whilst before, just before I start. But yeah, um, I am pushing for Partner Plus. Those chat messages are not a lie. Um... Oh wait, before Russ does this, he always tells the YouTube frogs to jump over to make a Twitch account or to listen up or something. I don't know. I'm sorry for those watching on the red platform that you have to listen to this again, but it is what it is. 
Um, so, uh, so I'm version for Partner Plus. For those of you that don't know what it is, so fi uh, streamers baseline get a 50 50 sub split. Um, the PP grows with oil. But Twitch is rolling out a new program where you can get a 60 40 split if you have 100 points and a 70 30 split if you have 300 points. And that will account for all subs once you hit it, whether it be gifted or primes or whatever. But, 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 to acquire points. Join us. You only get them for a tier one, two, or three. Streamers do not get points from gifted or prime subs. So I'm actually gonna try and tell people this month, I would very much, if, if, if anyone was like, oh, I'm gonna gift some subs to Sai later this month or something, and I'm feeling nice, I'm feeling generous, I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna request that you don't do that. But if you still wanna support the stream, more important this month, more important than donations, uh, gift subs, primes, anything like that is tier one, two, or three subs. Tier three sub is obviously the biggest thing you can give. It gives me six points. Not only that, it, it gives me six points towards this 300 point total, which I have until the end of this month to hit. And then I have to hold it for three months. So my focus right now is just getting 300 points. So like I say, if somebody subs at tier three, I get six points. That tally will go up to 128 points, right? Um, and actually, we've actually we're probably closer to 150 right now because you guys gave a, you guys a bunch of you subbed earlier today at tier three, which was insane. So um, I am pushing for this. Also, a tier three sub will give me a 70-30 split already on that specific sub. So that's really really awesome. Um, of course, you know if it, I don't expect everyone to be able to tier three sub, it's a lot of money. I know. So even just a tier one at like you know five bucks or something, even just a tier one, it's still a point still counts, still pushes that counter up, and it's, like, absolutely gonna be appreciated. So if you guys do want to help me out with pushing for Partner Plus, uh, it'd be very much appreciated. I know a lot of other streamers my size, or even smaller than me, uh, in terms of, like, raw view count, have Partner Plus. I know it's achievable, I know we can do it, and I know if you guys like seeing the raids, you like seeing the MSQ, the just the fun times that we have together, and you want to support the stream for this month and the next two months, if we, you know, providing we hit it this month, um, any tier one, tier two, or tier three sub is really appreciated. But um, yeah, that's the spiel over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick spiel whilst we were waiting for my kettle to boil. But my kettle's boiled, so I'll go get my. What an amazing deal, tea. Sai! And I heard the there was even rewards if we reach this goal. Ooh, what were those goals again? There are actually goals if we reach these. Okay. Oh no, there are prizes if we win these goals. Okay. So the f if, if we you reach like RP, RP is an oiler that enjoys subbing to strong British lads in Japan that are playing Final Fantasy XIV and are in Shadowbringers. That's me. That's me. I'm in Japan. I'm in Japan, and I'm, and I'm oiled up. If that's what you meant. Um, I uh. Yes, I have prizes that you guys might enjoy or be absolutely against, okay? So, um, if we hit the first month, if we get 300 points for the first month, so this month, I will do a live stream in Japan, um, and I will do, uh, included in that, I will do an Aorzia Cafe YouTube video. So I will go, I'll record a bunch, I'll like record you know, as much of it as I possibly can, so that, and then make a video on it, my experiences and all that kind of stuff, so you guys can see what the Eorzea Cafe looks like uh, from my, you know, from my POV and stuff, so I'll do that. If we reach the second month, 300 of 300 goal, then I will do a Joe Cat Furry cosplay. You know the Joe Cat mascot that's like the chicken chocobo, uh, chicken, sorry, 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 the chocobo head, I will do that. Mainly because that's cheaper for me than buying the full suit. People nice. want to play Japanese game with original language. Our streamer plays the game in original country. country exactly. They are not mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. And then if we hit the third month goal and we get partner plus, I will do a saucy calendar. Okay? I will do the saucy calendar. It'll be tasteful. It won't be triple x you know what i mean it won't be xxx content it'll be nice though be flavorful 
It'll be a rewarding, delicious meal after a long cooking session. But, uh, yeah, so those are some of the rewards and uh, some things that I will do. And um, th who knows, Annie? Who knows? Maybe if you guys vote on it, if you guys vote on some sauce, who knows? Maybe that could skyrocket me into my my Jonely fans. You know what I mean? Who knows? Right. Oh, I actually can run an ad now. Okay, I'm actually going to run an ad now so that you guys don't get one during the MSQ. Because uh, I don't want you guys to have to see that so i'll run a quick ad now and then you should be safe for another 30 minutes you're welcome or i'm sorry i don't know whatever man. Okay, I got my coffee in my little pocket monsters mug. I got some nuts and I got a kiwi, which I will be eating like an apple. That's what your streamer does. That's the kind of guy your streamer is. Oh, last 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 thing I wanted to mention about Pond Plus because I, I I forgot to mention it. I, I I forgot. But yeah, what it what it means is if I get a 70-30 split on all subs, then that means for a whole year, I get um a 70-30 split on all on what will then affect gifted subs and primes. So like if I hit it, then any future gifted subs will count and any future primes will count and stuff. And um, it's basically it equates to a 40% pay increase to me as a streamer. Like I just gained 40% more income. So it's a uh, really, really massive. But anyway, I forgot to mention that bit, but that's cool. I'm gonna shut up now about that side and we are gonna start the quest. Is the advert over? Yep, advert's over. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, uh, my Kiwis are actually influenced from Jeff Nippod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They actually are. They're really good for you. Really good for you. And they're tasty. Oh, miss, you're awake. You were injured during the foray on Mount Golg, yes? I was here at my station, as always, when they carried you in on the uh, makeshift stretcher looking disturbingly bereft of vigor. And to compound my worry, the sky has... Well, I'm sure you've seen. Is everyone rather concerned, to say the least? Seeing you up and about is the first good news we've had in a while. Assuming you feel strong enough, would you mayhap consider a stroll around the city to reassure our anxious citizens? Braggy is one of those who helped convey you to your chambers, and he has visited several times since to inquire after your condition. Mel. Go. Go. Mount Gold, man. Ah, oh, I know what it reminds me of. Gay Bolg. Dude, I was like, what is it with Mount Golg's name? That gets, like, that I'm like, huh. Gay Bolg. I met Gay Bolg at, uh, Preach, uh, not Preach, like, Fan Fest at the Preach Party. Uh, he was a cool dude, man. He was a cool dude. 
Do any of you guys know Gay Bulk? From FF1? I s oh my god. Is is it all just a simulation? Like, are we just living in, like... What is FF1 based on? FF0? Well, well, look who's back from the dead. Aye, it was a grim sight. Your companions looked fair ready to drop when they brought you in, so I offered a helping hand. Couldn't bear to see them struggle, so... And you, my friend, I feared you had one foot in the grave. Cold and lifeless you were, like a corpse that was somehow still breathing. Then they told me some evil bastard went and snatched our poor Exarch away in the midst of the chaos. Wicked white. Why do they all say that, man? It's such... It's so lame. It's like some Scooby-Doo shit. Wicked white. F-Zero, the racing game? Yeah. With, uh, Captain Falcon. What's this world coming to? Bah. But, but, but moaning never solved a thing, did it? Nay, it's times like these that we Crystarium folks stand tall and do what needs be done. Trade with Yulmore is back on the table. We'd best make use of those resources to fortify the city against the Eaters, or whatever the misery the fates deem fit to throw at us next. Speaking of misery... Ches Chesimil was worried sick about you. A healing wringing her hands is not a sight you ever wish to see, let me tell you. Le you wish to see? Let me tell ya. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. It must be so easy being a Final Fantasy dev. Like, you don't have to come up with an original idea ever. You literally just play a game from 10 years ago and go, ah, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take some of that. Yeah, bring him. Mm hmm. Yeah, that zone. We'll take that zone. Plop that in. Cool. Glamour? Don't worry about it. I don't even need to think about it. We're just going to take that one and that one. Boom. Done. Oh, oh. Sweetie, you're alive. No one's been allowed to see you. Even Spagyrix. Spagyrix. Kyogens were forbidden from making visits. Reen was was kind enough to tell me you were showing symptoms similar to eater corruption, so I suppose there was little any of us could have done for you in any case. As for your companions, they've been rushing hither and yon, seeking a cure to your condition. I worried to see their faces grown ever more haggard every time they pass through the Crystarium. I shall let them know you're awake, and when they come to see you, sweetie, please do convince them to rest a bit. They won't be helping anyone if they all collapse of exhaustion. And our own Morin has been a little better, I'm um, has been little better, I'm afraid. He hasn't left the cabinet, too busy with his nose buried in one dusty tome or another. Oh yeah, Morin, yeah, I'm, I know the librarian, dude. I know. Uh, yeah, okay, so pick it up from the story, man. So, Emmett kind of shot a guy and then stole him, which is kind of a dick move. Then he told us we all suck. Which was kind of mean, but he has a point. And then, where do I think it's going to go from here? Where will it go from here? Um, well, we've got to go get him back, the Exarch, right? We've got to go get him back. But we're so full of light. But you're so full of it, man. we got to get rid of some of it somehow. I think I should give a little bit of, ev of some to everybody, you know? Everyone shoulder the burden. What if I gave a little piece to, to to everybody in the town? You guys deal with it. Confound it. It's just the same thing as the last. Mayhap I should approach the problem from a different perspective. Saibe, is it truly you? Not some figment of my imagination. 
Oh, but this is wonderful. Should see my prayers have been answered. Feeling otherwise helpless, I've been scouring our shelves for the wisdom to explain this most worrisome conundrum. Why, with all the light wardens defeated, has the light returned to obscure the sky? Must have poured over a hundred tomes, but no definitive conclusion seems forthcoming. So many questions I would pose to the Exarch, and thus do I feel his absence all the more keenly. Now that you are awake, however, I'm hopeful to search. Uh, I'm hopeful the search for our stolen steward might begin in earnest. Catless, meanwhile, leads the crystalline mean in preparation for battle. Though against what foe? Uh, though against what foe, we are as yet uncertain. Why not pay her a visit? Expect seeing you upright. I expect seeing you upright would be a much welcome relief. Reading. How do I do it? Yeah, most FFs are totally different from each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really want to play 10 again. There's a lot of games on my list now. You know, for the longest time as a streamer, I've just been doing WoW. It's like, WoW, 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 WoW. Wow. But, um... Now I'm at a point where it's like... Oh, shit. I can't figure out this city, bro. I legit don't... This one? This one? This one. There's other stuff that I want to play. Like, I want to play... <sighs> nice. I want to play Baldur's Gate. I want to play Final Fantasy 16 when it comes out. I want to play some of the older FFs. I want to play... Uh, what else do I want to play? There's some other single player games that I want to play. Mm hmm. When it comes out, I mean on PC. Yeah, Saint Nick, I think so. It is really cool. Like, you'll be playing 14. They do a good job of that, of like hooking you into the franchise, you know? Cyber, alive and well, I see. You gave us all a proper fright, you know that? Not a day's gone by that I haven't heard folk worrying what's to become of you or the Exarch. Anyway, I'm glad you've recovered enough to stand. You're not planning on striking out straight, straight away, though, are you? I was hoping to have a better look at your equipment. We've been able to provide you with, a better, uh, with better weapons or sturdier helms. Maybe you would have won the day, and the Exarch would still be here. As such, we're keeping busy consulting each other on new forging techniques, designs, and the like. If you could stand still a moment, I'd like to assess the gear we're trying to improve. Okay. An FF14 Kingdom Hearts crossover would be awesome. I'd love that. I really would. Aye, well, that's some fine work, I must admit. It wouldn't be impossible to make something better, but we'd need to experiment with different patterns and materials. I'm not sure we have that kind of time. That sounds like a challenge that he would enjoy. Oh my god, is it Sid? It's Sid. Greetings, Glynard. The Master of the Stairs is running his own errands now, is he? You gotta remember this guy? I do, but I don't. Dude, Shadow Shadowbringers has been so quick. I've absorbed so much information that I feel like I am, am starting to forget things. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well my servers are distraught enough as it is. I didn't want to crack the whip too hard. But never mind that, I'm thinking our absent genius and his epiphanies are perfect answer to this predicament of yours. And by genius you mean old Grenoll. He is a man of unrivaled gifts. I won't argue with you there. But what good does his talent do to us if we can't bloody find him? No one's seen uh no one's seen hide nor hair of Grenoll since he was wandering off some years ago. And you know what he's like once he latches onto an idea. He's probably cloistered himself in some forgotten cave, completely absorbed in his latest creation. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. That does make things difficult. 
Still, if that eccentric is someone you're des destined to meet, I wager he'll show up soon enough. In my time at the bar, many's the tale I've heard told of strangely fated encounters, even if a few of them might be stretching the truth just a bit. Yeah, I think doing like 10 to 12 hour long streams of MSQ, they're, they're small characters, you just kind of like... Because there's, just, there's too much information that you take in in one day. We'll keep our noses to the grindstone for the time being. But on the off chance you do encounter Grenold, it'd be wise to take advantage of his brilliance rather than wait on our slow and steady progress. This is all talk for when you're fully recovered, of course. I'll let you get back to convalescing, eh? Ah, before you do that, you're actually the reason they came over here in the first place. I don't suggest partaking of my stock until you're properly well. But if you're passing near the stairs, then I have a regular who's eager to see you. I think he's just the pub guy, right? He's just the bartender, right? I'd best be getting back. Just because the world's coming apart at the seams doesn't mean we have to follow suit now, does it? Here, here. We can't forget the heart upon which the city was founded, or the Exarch might not have much of a home to return to. Hmm. So, I think that they are going to... Okay, they hit us with the sick old story stuff, and then now they're taking it down a notch. So we went up, we went up, we went up. Boom, we're dropping down, and then they're gonna they're gonna uh, start to bring it around and bring it back up again. Have you considered returning to this? But God damn, Ponto, I have, I have. You know, it's hard being in Japan and being so far away from you. In fact, I moved to Japan just so I could be closer to your schedule. Just so I can see you more. Sniffer. Snack you size for getting things people sad. Yeah. I'm doing 10 hours of MSQ every day. Of course I'm forgetting things. I think. Also, there's like seven warriors of light now. Like, bro, come on. Story's confusing, dude. Cyber, are you alright? I'm fine. Just chat to being like... I think a return to your sickbed might be in order. Oh, or you might consider resting a while atop the watchtower next to the rookery. This damnable sky doesn't make for the most soothing scenery. The Exarch often liked to stand there and feel the wind upon his face. Sounds cute. Okay, I'll go. I'll go, I'll go. Seven. Sigh, you fool. Everyone viewing this stream is a warrior of light. Damn, I knew... I knew you guys were little cuties, but I didn't know why. Now I know. <laughs> You're still awake from when I did Vothry? Are you kidding me? Are you doing like 24 hours up awake or are my time zones just crazy? Everyone in the MSQ is like, yeah, 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 yo, you should lie down. I'm like, yo, chat, you should lie down. I'm not lying down, you're lying down. Yo, this is cute. Oh, boy. Uh, that is, boy, that is some texture, huh? But it sure is a view. Hmm. 
help. Sure, I'll help you. Calamity be upon ye. She. Cute. VA, 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 VA. Good one, filthy. People of this city have spirit, I'll give them that. They've not lost the will to fight. Now I get to eat some nuts. Mm -hmm. I mainly enjoy voice acted cutscenes because it means I get to eat food. What up, Audie B? I can imagine how torn you must feel looking at that sky. Knowing what it means to everyone. And that you're responsible. Um. I mean, it's not really my. I'm trying to clean up your mess, bud. The secrecy is worse. I'd rather people knew. I still can't believe it's coming from me. It's all such a mess. If you're thinking of coming clean, don't. It might make you feel better, but it would make things a hundred times worse for them. They're better off not knowing. You're in a corner, and there doesn't seem to be any obvious way out. doesn't mean it's over. However hopeless it seems, you haven't lost yet. I remember looking up at the sky like this before. Being caught up in a strange kind of calm. You know, I'm wondering, why does Adba, who is the Warrior of Darkness, look exactly like the Warrior of Light from all of the box, like, not the box art, from, like, yeah, from all of the art and f from all of the, you know, like, the standard Warrior of Light, it's Adba, but he's the Warrior of Darkness, bro, because I was just thinking, like, imagine if you, because some people make their characters look like him. But then there'd be two of you in the cutscene. His name is John Fantasy. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because he's this world's warrior of light. Yeah, I get that. But I'm saying, why does he look the same as the, as the standard warrior of light? I'm away. He's this one's. Just does, just does. It was after we realized we were responsible for the flood. When we resolved to journey to the source by taking our own lives. Mm. 
One last sacrifice. One last fight. One last failure. And then the Oracle appeared and... Well... You know the rest. But they didn't transfer to our world during the Flood. Because he didn't sacrifice himself. It was after the Flood. How did they know doing that? They stopped the flood. Yes, yes, yes. They stopped the flood. Yeah, because the oracle was with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they stopped the flood. Well, the flood occurred. They caused the flood. They went, oh shit, panic. Killed themselves. Which, like, I mean, good thing that worked. You know what I mean? Because, boy, that would have been real messy if they just did it and then they and then they got out of there with no consequence. Um, so luckily, healing themselves took them the source why does killing yourself take you to the source I guess because it's the source elegance it, it'll be the elegance there were times in the years and decades that followed when I wondered if we might not have been better off just letting the rejoining happen. You take that back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, Norm, it is. That we'd made one last mistake. But seeing that giant Talos stir to life cured me of any doubts I still had. Always. Always we took the burden of fighting upon ourselves. That's what heroes do, isn't it? So we never had the chance to see anything like that. Our people coming together as one. To think that their hope still burns so bright. That they were still so eager to live, they would lift up their fellows, one on top of the other, till they reached the sky. No. We made the right decision. And I can finally feel proud of the part we played in helping this world survive. Mm hmm Well, come on then. Uh oh. Uh oh. As I thought, what happened between us was no coincidence. My story may be finished, but the fates have gifted me a minor role. In yours. I suspected as much the moment I realized you could hear me. He's gonna take the light. But it's hard not to doubt yourself when you're the man who caused the flood. I was afraid to do anything more than watch for fear of making things even worse. But no longer. After all, the path I once walked is now yours to finish. For what it's worth, I cast my lot with yours. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. If you lose control, I'll do my best to stop you. So, let us be about it, hero. Oh, I was worried you 
you were up here all alone, brooding and fretting and wallowing in your woes. But look at you, grinning at nothing like a pollen drunk pixie. Okay, I thought he was going to take it, but I guess not. Look at what you've done to your ether. It's a mess. And you have cracks running all through that pretty soul of yours. My poor little sapling. Whatever am I to do with you? Shall I yield up my throne? You could claim it. <laughs> Cut ties with the mortal world. Hide away in the castle. <laughs> Won't fix the problem, but would it really matter? If any pesky heroes come calling with steel and magic, all of Il Meg will rise up in your defense. My crown and scepter are yours, if you want them. What? Don't give me that look. Of course I knew before I asked that you'd never ever heed such a wicked suggestion. They didn't even let me choose. And besides, what would become of my precious and ephemeral flower? Oh my dear beloved sapling, you are lost, confused and have precious little time to gather your wits. I'd like if they renamed us from being Sapling to Sprout. I think that would have been funnier. The whole time you're just getting dogged on for being a shit Sprout. How am I finding the expansion? I'll talk about it after this, actually, Spectre. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll give you a brief rundown. Your kind is always so preoccupied with what lies ahead, and so we muddle your vision with fog and glamour. But such trickery is easy to see through. Yeah, like, it sort of is a joke, obviously, but I just think it would... I'd love if they just called you the Sprout, man. Just really hammer it home. Stand very, very still. Think not of where you need to go, but where you are right now at this moment, at this time, in this place. Our cairn of crystal. From shadowed hood he watched you go. His ruby eyes with warmth aglow. See yourself as he saw you. And that shall be the clearest clue. You stand in his garden, dear sapling. Ask his flowers what they know, and you will surely find an answer. But what will you do with it, I wonder? I'll be watching and waiting. Waiting and watching. I could be one of the first sprouts to enter into Dawn Trail. How cool would that be? If I time it right. If I time it right. What up, Katie? I've already played too much. Nah, I, I don't lose my sprout until... Um, you have to be an expansion behind the current expansion. Wee. 
Um, but yeah, okay, so to answer your question of how I'm finding the uh, Shadowbringers so far, really, really enjoying it. I don't think it's, like, I don't, I don't think it's had any issues. Um, I think it kind of did what the other expansions did, but it's just done it in a more sort of clean way, uh, visually stunning way in a lot of places. Like, the music's been phenomenal i think i think i think okay i think the reason this expansion is particularly so good as well is because of where it lies in the story being the concluding element of a story i think is also going to be very special but being at this point in the story like arr or heaven's ward is never going to be like the best expansion like outright in terms of story even though they're very good because you need Mm, I'm saying this with, like, certainty, but it's probably, like, subjective a bit. But, like, I think Shadowbringers just falls at a point where everything starts to converge. And, like, everything is just, like, a major plot point. Like, everything's just unraveling and um, you're starting to see it all take effect. Like, everything we've been doing this whole time is now leading to, like, this right now. And then it's going to be like, right, what are we doing? How are we going to respond to everything? That's what it feels like. Um, the voice acting's been insane. The music's been insane. The zones have been really good, actually. I really like the zones, uh, and the and the world build building of the zones. I didn't really feel. I don't really feel so far like I've been doing. I mean, obviously, there's like, I'm just gonna call chores anything that's like, you are forced to do that isn't necessarily establishing additional things for the story. So, leveling quests and stuff like that, you know. Uh, for a lot of them. Where it's like, oh, go speak to this fairy and ask them what chore you want to do for them. And then they're like, oh, go pick up my basketball. I left it at the court. And then you're like, okay. And you just have to go, like, why am I doing this? This has nothing to do with what's going on. But, like, you're obviously building a relationship with characters and the zones and the cultures and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Stop. Calamit calamitizing me. Shadowbringers was good, but Endwalker made Shadowbringers the best. Oh, not Shadowbringers made Endwalker the best. Wow, okay. I That makes me want to play Endwalker even more, because I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to mean. But it sounds good. Yeah, exactly, Modwell. Like, you need everything to come before. So yeah, I've been, I've been thoroughly happy with Shadowbringers. I don't have a single... I'll probably rank it as like a 10 out of 10. It's had a lot of duties. Had a decent amount of dungeons. Probably could have done with one or two more thrown in. Um, pacing's been decent. Payoff's been great. Really good character. A lot of characters developed really well as well. So it's not just had like main story arcs. It's also had like good character development. It's impressive in my opinion, but Endwalker is not being a huge letdown at the end of an arc. Mm. I sometimes get a little bit worried when I'm completing an arc because I worry that it's not going to have the payoff that I hope for. Yeah. So sometimes, like, the completion of the arc is actually just... You want it to end in a certain way, right? Hmm. Yeah, Shadowbringers is its own thing, but Endwalkers, remember Shadowbringers? We meant it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we weren't just throwing things in for the sake of it. It's like, everything matters, yeah. People who don't like Endwalker are a vast vocal minority. I like that you put vast and minority in the same sentence, but I know what you mean. Um, yeah, probably. Probably, I think, I, you know... I'm going to wait and see. going to form my own opinion. I, I've obviously... I don't really... Uh, you know, know what to expect. I, I, I'm... I'm more so kind of concerned with Dawn Trail, with, where it's like, what's going to happen there? That's what I'm really interested about. I know Endwalker's going to conclude this story well. But I'm like, how are they going to conclude it, but leave it open enough that we can continue on? Like, are we going to have eradicated every single threat and everything saved and 
everyone's great. And then Dawn Trail is just going to be like, a, hey, there's a guy on an island that's bad. Go deal with him. And then, like, that's going to be it. Or is it going to be, like, continuing? I just don't know. Actually just shrug. Like, actually shrug. I'm re I'm really I'm really curious. More than in Walker, I'm more curious for Dawn Trail. Yeah. Speculating out loud, yes I am speculating out loud, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, I did not expect to see you on your feet so soon. Surely you have not come in search of an Amaro. What do I know of the Crystal Exarch? I am happy to share, but I fear there will be no surprising revelations. As any in this city could tell you, he is a man of wisdom and compassion and many untold secrets. But none can doubt his generosity. When the Crystarium was being constructed, he even allowed folk to plunder the tower for resources. He has imposed, he has imposed no restrictions upon us, but one, no one except the Exarch is permitted to dwell within the Spire. Many seasons passed. A comrade of mine was bold enough to ask the reason why. The Exarch merely smiled and said, because one day, the Crystal Tower may vanish as suddenly as it arrived. Kind of ominous. Kind of eerie. Being of expectations by saying you were like an orc or not, kind of like spoils me. Ah, it's fine. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, Dawn, Dawn Trail. Dawn Trail. The Trail of the Dawn. What does the Dawn represent? It represents a new day. It represents... That you've been up... Up all night gaming when you should have gone to bed. Uh, what else does it represent? Dawn Trail. So the Trail of the Dawn. Hmm. Wait, are we going to be trailing the Dawn? Like, we're behind the New Day. Or are we going to be in the light of the New Day? You know what I mean? Think about it. Think about it. Who knows, man? Cyber, it is good to see you awaken a lot, my friend. What's this about? You're not writing the Xbox memoirs, are you? I'm not sure how much I can tell you, considering we avoid asking too many questions. Unspoken rule and all that. Hmm, if anyone has fresh insights to share, then it'd be Captain Lena, I'd say. Oh yeah, is she dead? Is she fine, man? She lost her parents to an eater attack not long after she was born. The Exarch saw to her upbringing. Outward appearances aside, those two are like grandfather and granddaughter. Another, yes, another non-romantic relationship. Unless... Unless... I imagine the news of his predicament hit her doubly hard. Not that our proud captain would ever let it show. If you do decide to talk to Lena, she'll be at her usual post at the Ascensor Gate. Hey guys, are Thancred and Minfilia in a romantic relationship? Next cutscene. Wow, I sure do love you like a big bro. Hmm. I guess we'll just never know. Yes, FBI, this streamer right here. No, no, no. FBI is not necessary. Oh, was there something else you needed? If you come for the results of my research into this persistent light, I'm afraid there's little to tell us of yet. Records pertaining to the Exarch? Well, I need no documentation to relay what little I know of his history. If that is what interests you. <clears throat> Less than a decade, decade had passed since the coming of the Flood when the Crystal Tower first flashed into existence. Its summoner, the Exarch himself, 
became known to the refugees in Lakeland soon thereafter. He welcomed all who sought out the spire, be they locals who had lost their homes, or Vobatites, fleeing their ruined kingdom. Together did they found the city which would become the Crystarium. Some thought to call him King, for he refused to share his name, but the summoner did not deem himself worthy of royal address. Thus did the people consider his scintillating skin, so alike to the tower he had summoned, and bestowed upon him the title of Crystal Exarch. As for his true name, well, it would seem that it is a mystery that remains uh, unsolved to this day. So, so he summoned the tower. This we already knew, and he did it during the during the flood. So why, why on the flood? What's the coinciding thing there? Why on the day of the flood, dude? What are you up to, Graham? What are you up to, bud? I have too many questions and not enough information. You know what I mean? I need Emmett to come on screen and be like, Hey, you fucking idiots. Let me explain a couple things, bud. You're clearly not keeping up. You know? Just, he just left. Wait, what do you mean? That time, good night, Bailey. Good night. Oh, because I teleported here? Bro, I have 10 million gil. Do you think 300 gil is really... Oh, well, I gotta start... Gotta weigh it, weigh it up. You're poor. I'm rich in love and friendship. Cyber, I was not told you had awoken. A welcome surprise. Now, if only the Exarch has, was returned to us. He was taken by this rival of yours, was he not? Your companions mentioned they had an idea of where to find him. And so I bristled... So I bristled when they asked for patience. I did not understand. Uh, I did not understand their hesitation until I saw that you had fallen. Only then, then did I realize that I had no business rushing ahead. Even so, the delay has been no less agonizing. In the moments before he left to join you in Calusia, the Exarch entrusted me with a key. It opens a door in the ocular to a chamber known as the Umbilicus. This room is the heart of the tower, into which only the Exarch himself is permitted to enter. He bid me allow none into the tower once he had departed, only in the, in the event that an army of eaters descended upon the city was I to access, uh, access the umbilicus and awaken the defensive barrier. Never before had he left me with such instructions, but the battle with Vostri loomed near, at the time I accepted the key without much thought. Since then, however, that moment is all that occupies my mind. When I recall the look upon his face, he knew that some terrible fate awaited him. Oh, um, also, with the Exarch, he's getting weaker the further he's away from the tower, right? And the longer, and, and Emmett's taking him somewhere. So, he probably dying, bro. He probably out here die. Oh, and he shot him. And he shot him. So, he probably not doing so well. Tell me, Cyber. I need to know what he feared. What battle you and your companions are truly fighting. Then save him. I'm trying, but this... I, they keep... They made me do the... The role quest. Forgive me. I trust in the Exarch, and I should not be voicing these doubts when he is not here to respond to them personally. You have come to me with a question of your own, have you not? I guess so. 
Ah, I see I'm not the only one who burns Francis. The time has come to open the tower's heart. Though we do not face an invasion of eaters, I suspect the city will be in far more danger if you do not gain the knowledge you seek. Also, I didn't comment enough. Dude, things just happen in this game, and then I look back and I go, damn, I didn't actually spend time on that. Um, I didn't comment enough on what happened with the roll quest. Like, that was a bit of an abrupt ending. I was really surprised we didn't get to hear from uh, Ron Ronda Ray enough. Like, she kind of gave some kind of commentary, but we didn't, like, talk to her. We just kind of, like, killed her and took her little crystal. And that was it. I wonder if that either continues later or if I need to do the other role quest. I probably just need to do the other role quest based on what you guys have said. Um, right, I'm going to tinkle before I do the next one. And guys, by the way, I, whilst I was getting ready to run a quick ad whilst I tinkle, so you don't get it during the MSQ, I checked and the tracker has been updated. We are over halfway to Partner Plus, guys. We are at 155 of 300 subbies, man. That is insane. We've gained over 100 points in a day. Well, t in 24 hours, okay? Thank you guys so much for everyone who has tier one, tier two, tier three. You guys are insane. And I really appreciate it. Wide Poggies, hell yeah. Uh, I so much appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you guys still want to continue to support, we, we do, like, we're over halfway, guys. We have to hit it now. Otherwise, everyone else's efforts are wasted. They're for nothing. So, I'm going to go pee. I'm going to let you guys do your thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to let you guys think on that. Don't waste the other chapter's time. You know what I mean? That would be mean. If you are a YouTube frog, I get it. VODs on Twitch are worse than Stormblood. But consider this, if you sub with a tier 3 you will add 6 points to Cybear's Partner Plus program. Hey guys, it's me, Cy Spielberg and I'm here to remind you about Partner Plus while Cybear is on Tinkle Break. If you subscribe right now, you can enjoy daily ad-free content up to 12 hours a day. Not only that, each subscription is going towards a monthly goal of 300 points and once we reach that, there is amazing rewards waiting. Likes of Spicy Cyber Calendar and Cat Cosplay. Remember though, gifts don't count towards this. Hey guys, it's me, Cy Spielberg and I'm here to remind you about Partner Plus while Cybear is on Tinkle Break. If you subscribe right now, you can enjoy daily ad-free content up to 12 hours a day. Not only that, each subscription is going towards a monthly goal of 300 points and once we reach that, there is amazing rewards waiting. Likes of Spicy Cybear Calendar and Cat Cosplay. Remember though, gifts don't count towards this. Hey guys, it's me, Cy Spielberg and I'm here to remind you about Partner Plus while Cybear is on Tinkle Break. If you subscribe right now, you can enjoy daily ad-free content up to 12 hours a day. 
Not only that, each subscription is going towards a monthly goal of 300 points and once we reach that, there is amazing rewards waiting. Likes of spicy cyber calendar and cat cosplay. Remember though, gifts don't count towards this. Hey guys, it's me, Cy Spielberg and I'm here to remind you about Partner Plus while Cybear is on Tinkle Break. If you subscribe right now, you can enjoy daily ad free content up to 12 hours a day. Not only that, each subscription is going towards a monthly goal of 300 points and once we reach that, hey guys, there is amazing what's rewards going on? waiting. Likes of spicy Cybear calendar and cat cosplay. What Remember though, to? gifts don't count towards this. Do not interfere! <laughs> God. Ah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, chat, this is between me and chat. Don't get involved. Back off. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Guys, shut up. Guys, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Everyone focus up. Come, meet me in the ocular, and I will unlock the door within. Okay, because who was it that complained at me for not tell- Oh, it was Orion. Okay, Orion, I'm going to manually run for you, okay? This is just for you, buddy. No, uh, that's really cute of you guys for doing the copy pasta, the TTS men. Like, that's cute. It's true. Oh, oh, I can fly. Wait, no, it's too late. I'm running. I forgot I can fly. I can fly. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, dude, imagine, uh, imagine spending days unlocking flying in every single zone to manually run on the ground, dude. No, it wasn't me. There's two of us. I'm the evil one, yeah. Which Orion. No, but that's uh, really cute, man. I, I appreciate you guys doing the... I appreciate you guys yelling at me to yell at you about Partner Plus and stuff. Because it's really cute. And, like, it makes me feel less bad. And it also makes me feel like you guys actually genuinely care about the stream doing well. Which is really nice. Because then, you know, just means we get to keep having a good time. So, thank you. Where are we at the, in the MSQ? Um, we shot the bunny boy. No, the cat boy. We shot the cat. We didn't. He, he did. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. We finished the roll quests. And now, summon's about to happen in this room. But whatever happens, it stays in this room. Okay? I can tell it's voice acted because there's music. I have unlocked the door to the umbilicus. You are free to enter. There's no music. It's fine. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Once you have what you require, I'll see it sealed once more. Until then, I will remain without. She's cool. I like her as a character. She's good. We don't get to see her much, but she's cool. I can tell, like, she's a fan favorite, so... What? Something's happening? A moment to collect my thoughts, I prithee. He's always in on it, man. Thy true name is Grahartia, then. Trying to get a sense of what time this was, whether it was when we were already here, or maybe when Orianche first came here. By thy claims, thou too art a native of the Source. 
though from an age beyond our own, when the eighth umbral calamity hath visited devastation upon our star. Wait, I'm confused. I thought the name Graha was used in the Crystal Tower. Surely Orion Shea, or maybe he wasn't in the Crystal Tower, so that's why he doesn't know. Wait, this is the one from the... I gotta go and look at the Crystal Tower cutscenes again, dude. Literally, only for a third time, though. Yeah, he wasn't part of Crystal Tower. Maybe that's why. Okay, that's fine then. Maybe, maybe yeah, maybe that's fine then. Okay. The are native of the source, though from an age beyond our own. And the eighth Umbra Calamity hath visited devastation upon our star. Ooh. Right, so he's from the future. This is why he's saying about change, save the cheerleader, save the world, do the, save the history, save the future, man. Hmm. And then. Oh, dude, I hate, okay. I'm, you know what, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to watch the cutscene, and then I'm going to comment. Let's see. Thou hast, by subtle means, reached across the boundaries of time and space to unsow the seeds of catastrophe, ere its creeping vines drag our champion unto an early grave. In essence, yes. A difficult story to swallow, I'm sure. I doubt not the veracity of thy words, not the account of thy coming, nor that of the fated calamity. Yet my mind straineth still to apprehend the enormity of this tale. Wouldst thou favor me with a gradual unfolding of its chapters? See, even Orion J, even when he's been told something, sometimes he still needs a little bit of a reminder. Sometimes I do too, chat. You know? If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Certainly. But where to begin? I should start with those great minds who survived the calamity. Sid Garland being perhaps the greatest. What? In hopes of staying the unending tides of war, he and his fellows pursued all manner of possible solutions. One of these was rooted in a theory which unified several fundamental principles discovered over the course of the Warrior of Light's adventures. Uh -huh. It proposed a method by which one could enter the river of time, traverse the rift, and leap between worlds. Uh -huh. Perfecting that idea, however, was a work which consumed their lifetimes. And thus was it left to future generations to decide whether theory would be put into practice. But all the while, the world continued to burn. Hope was a feeble outpost, beset on all sides by thievery and misery and murder. People cried out in despair, there is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Then others raised their voices in answer. Mm -hmm. Though we be beyond salvation, those who came before may yet be saved. By the way, why don't the Asians, instead of doing what they're doing, why don't they just get everybody to believe in if zodiac is a primal why don't they just get everybody to worship zodiac and then he'll get stronger and then you know what i mean seems like a shortcut asian's dumb sai smart we will forge a crossroads and pave the way for a different future by the wisdom of our forebears we will prevent this calamity from ever having come to pass The fighting went on unabated, 
but some few took up Sid's research and labored to realize those impossible ideas. So is this game the Terminator? And this is Skynet? After two centuries of labor, their descendants finally succeeded in awakening the Crystal Tower, an integral part of the process, and in doing so, roused its caretaker, me. Cool. By this stage, scholars had largely established the phenomena underpinning the rejoining and identified the first as the shard which precipitated the eighth umbral calamity. This grand structure was already capable of storing the energies required to attempt the translocation. All that remained was to augment some few of its functions based upon the theoretical models of Sid and his compeers. Okay. And by means of such technologies didst thou affect thine arrival in the first to an age before this star had joined with the source. Yes, because that's where we are now. Some while before, as it turned out, it is all but impossible to predict how time will flow between one world and the next, and we missed our mark by almost an entire century. But this only worked in our favor. The Sin Eaters could not be defeated without the blessing of light, and summoning the only woman who might stand a chance against them would require decades of preparation. Undertaking of scarce credible endurance. But thou hast kept thy plan from falling into disarray these many years, bordereth on the miraculous. Yet, howsoever history be rewritten, thy present self was shaped by events which followed the calamity. Should said catastrophe be averted, uh -huh. The very skein of thine existence will unravel. Surely thou hast foreseen this. I am aware of the consequences. Tis for that very reason Sid and his colleagues bequeathed their legacy as an offering, and not an edict. Uh -huh. To give all of oneself for the happiness of others, and with no promise of reward, Tis a hard thing to ask. Harder still for those condemned to survive in a world which pitted brother against brother. Indeed, you are right to call the execution of this plan miraculous, though the force which held it together was nothing so inexplicable. It was her, the warrior of light, has been our unbroken thread. Okay. Where others would stumble and fall, she would rise above. Where others would break and run, she would carry on. Mm -hmm. The warrior of light's tale is one of unyielding bravery. To tell it was to feel courage. To hear it was to feel hope. It was a breath of inspiration in an age of suffocating shadow. In the histories of a fallen nation was our hero hailed as its greatest ally. In the time-worn pages of a noble's memoirs were her deeds joyously retold. Yep. For many, these stories were the flame which warmed them through the coldest of nights. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
And so it should come as little surprise that the plan found no shortage of volunteers, concerning as it did the Warrior of Light herself. It was their chance to add their own verse to the hero's saga. She was the lodestar that brought them all together to send their final message back through time and space to her. Okay. The light of your legacy was our torch in the darkness. Burn bright again and live. I am merely the bearer of that wish. Come to ensure it is safely delivered. Mm -hmm. Wherefore sharest thou this burden with me and no other? What wouldst thou have me say? That you will be my accomplice? Twas you yourself who convinced me of your suitability when you spoke of how you learned of the Flood and of your part in arranging Minfilia's journey to the First. Your actions showed uncommon resolve. It was clear you were committed to the cause of saving this world. I knew I could trust you to choose the right path forward, even if that choice came with a heavy price. What price? When all is said and done, and the last of the Light Wardens lies slain, I will absorb their corrupted ether, and then I will die. Do not interfere. Knowing what I know of your companions, not to mention your champion, they will try to stop me. But in saving one, do they not interfere. None. Therefore, I implore you to aid me in concealing my identity and ensuring this tale ends as it must. To this end, I would have you take what I have told you of the calamity and make of it a portent, a prophetic vision you beheld in the swirling chaos of the rift. Is this truly thy wish? History remembered the Warrior of Light, as I knew it would. And I will suffer no other to rescue the champion whose star has charted my course. Damn, you cut her loving on me hard, man. I will see this tale to a happy end, my friend. There has been enough tragedy. Okay, before Oddberg Ar Ar gets involved. Okay, so he's just explaining the process by which events that have already occurred happen, like why, like why they happened the way they did. Okay, cool. A lot of that was information we already kind of knew, and it's just like we're seeing, we're seeing, you know, I guess just like sort of where the where the plan came from. Um, I don't like timey why me stuff i don't like it i don't enjoy it in media i hate time play so i really want to see this end in a way that i'm like yeah cool that was good and not bad what an original take i didn't say it's original i just I'm afraid of voicing that because everyone loves this game and this seems like it's developing into more of a a forefront 
So it's just my concern more than anything. Um, I hope Do not interfere. <laughs> that it's going to be good. What am I worried about? I'm not like... It's... I just... I think time stuff is shit. Because it's like... You can do whatever the hell you want. Something happens. That's okay. We could reverse it or change it. Or it didn't happen. It's like... I like things happening. Things in... Things in real life are finite. You know? And... Um... And permanent... Is the word I'm looking for. Not finite. But things are finite. And they are permanent. And I don't like when you have a, a situation where you can just change that permanence. You know. He hates time travel. That's why he moved to Japan to be eight hours ahead. I know. I was nine hours ahead. And then Americans changed time. So now I'm only eight hours ahead. Crazy. Okay, actually so did some Europeans, but... You already have my money. Tell me how you truly feel. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do for tier 3 subs in, like, the Discord. I'll do a separate tier 3 sub channel where I'll put my true feelings about the game. You know what I mean? And it's, like, special members-only club where I go, <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> and you guys are like, hey, nice one, Sai. And we all high-five and send cute pictures of each other to... Of ourselves to each other. That kind of thing. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just I just think that it's kind of like time travel as a whole can be a bit of a scapegoat thing. It can just be like a get out of jail free card and I don't always like it. it it's like reminds me of when I was at school. I talk about Twilight, right? Remember at school and you'd have to write a story and it would have to be like some compelling thing and then it would end and you didn't know how to you didn't know how to end the story. So kids would just write like Daniel awoke in his bed. It was all a dream. The end. And you're like, that's a really shit way to end a story. So, yeah. I It just, it's like that kind of thing. It's like the Twilight thing. So, but not all time travelers like that. Like, for example, I really liked, did you guys see the show, German show on Netflix? Was it called Dark? I think it was just called Dark. It was like three seasons. That is incredibly convoluted complex time travel all kind of stuff and that was a really good show so i'm not saying time travel inherently makes a story bad but i'm just saying you know dark sucks lol i thought it was really good i thought it was good i love the acting in it as well i love some of the characters you know um Sorry, Sai, the story actually sucks, and we just wanted to see you realize that. At least I got to free trial for so many levels. I got worried you were going to talk shit on Dark then, Joey. Absolutely not, DQ. Never. Never. What's up, Dokuma? How you doing? I thought the first season was great, and then it got progressively more bullshit as the seasons went on. I mean, things definitely happened in Dark that I didn't, like, I would have preferred it to go a different way, but I still thought it was, like, I still thought it was good, and it managed to make sense in the end, but yeah, it was definitely, like, I think season one was definitely the best season. So I woke up, and the partner plus copy pasta was all a dream. What? No. We have to hit it. 70-30 split. I make 40% more money from subs if I hit it. What? No, it can't be. I only need 145 points. That's like a handful of tier 3 subs. What? Justice for Jonas. Jonas. Uh, ultimate fist pump? I like Dark. Yeah. Yeah, Dark. Uh, okay, Dark is really good. It's very, like, it. You, I could see you watching it and going, this sucks. But I also think, like, it's. I think it's good. It's definitely a show where you have to put your phone down and pay attention, though. Yeah. Yeah. 40% pay rise, does sound like a dream. I mean, hey, look. Listen. You know. Say what you will about streamers, but my... You know, I don't keep up with inflation. You know what I mean? 
So, you know, you guys give me a f the the power for me to make more money is in your guys' hands. You know what I mean? Like you guys are my boss if you think about it, and you decide whether or not I get to make a saucy calendar or um, feed my kids. Which is crazy, because I don't even have kids. That's how that's how powerful you are right now. You decide on whether or not I feed my kids. Billy, he's hungry, man. He's not eating in weeks. He doesn't, he doesn't exist. I don't have any kids. Get back to work, then? Yes, me lord. Can you think of time, some ways to do time travel in a good way? Um... I don't know. I just don't really like time travel. I also don't like cosmic threats. Which is this game. I don't... <laughs> I don't like two of the main elements of this game. Uh-oh. No, but and yet I'm still really enjoying it, so... I don't know. You explain it. I don't know. Uh, do you like the Alexander story? I did. I did. But it had cats in, so that's not fair. There were two cats, but it was actually the same cat. You know what I mean? Meow. Meow. Yeah, it, that had two cats in, so that's not fair, dude. You can't ask me that. That's not fair. Rise and a cat. Shit. And you stole it, actually. Okay, we're up good on cats. No, um... I don't know. We'll see. You know, I let, ask me again when I finish and Walker. I'll tell you if I like this game or not. Right now, I do like this game, but I'm just cautious of time travel. Okay? I'm going to tell Jeet that you hate the game. That's what I said. Those are the words that I used. Not a huge fan of time travel stories myself, because most of the time they're flawed and full of plot holes. However, in some cases, they're told well enough that I can get over some of the flaws and just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the thing is normally it's normally that um, there's plot holes and it means that nothing is permanent and I like something I think that in life is important is um, is that things are permanent you know what I mean markers markers are permanent right so life is full of things that are permanent and I think um, yeah I like that reflected in game I guess. Jeez. Okay. Thanks, Jeeth. Jeeth would be great to have on a podcast, wouldn't he? Cyber, uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person. Like, who's what's going on, Jeeth? How you been? He'd be like, fine. All right, well, thanks for being on, Jeeth. Good luck with your next endeavor. Uh, Lord Chozo, thank you for the TL1. Yo, points up the board. We're getting partner plus, let's go. Huge. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's one point on the, one additional point. Thank you, I hope you're enjoying the streams. Right, okay, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens with the, with the time travel -y stuff, timey-wimey stuff, but, um, okay. I just find time, time travel stuff hard to follow for me as well, right? To, like, get the right timelines and to get it... I think for me as well, like, I lose track of sense of time. <laughs> Which doesn't sound like me, right? I'm always... I'm always on time for things. So, uh, yeah, I think... I think, uh... I lose track of time and then the sense of, like, context of where, where you're in and stuff. But, yeah, anyway. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right, let's see what this dude has to say to me. Use control again if the light could claim you for good. Although it's probably only a matter of time before you succumb to the change in any case. Nah, all good, Abish. I got you, I got you. What? Dude, seriously. Oddbert, please just take my light, bro. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. The, I've given up on Graham. You gotta take it now. Please. I have no idea why you're here if you're not gonna take it. 
What do you mean to do? Please. I mean to hunt down Emmett Selch. I mean to rescue the Exarch. I mean to have a few words with both Emmett and the Exarch. Be on our way. Deacian mentioned the tempest, did he not? He did. That's the stormy seas around Calusia to you. His lair must be down there somewhere, hidden beneath the waves. Oh. So not a Shakespearean island, then, no? Though that's a pretty good guess. Damn. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe school did pay off, man. I can't remember a damn thing about the Tempest. I just remember they were on an island. Which he isn't, but he's close to it, that. I get half a point. I get half a point. I get half a point. I, I get half. I get half credit. Yeah, Temp yeah Tempest is... Well, yeah, Tempest is obviously... Stormy. But it can it can be interpreted in a lot of ways, I guess, Tempest. Did you find the answers you sought? If there is nothing more you need, I will go and lock the door. I need some directions. You wish to know the way to the Tempest. You mean the sea itself and not the island of Calusia. If you make a request to the Tamers, they will provide you with an Amaro, but... Do you mean to leave right this moment, alone? I am not sure that... <laughs> I will not seek to stop you. Go with the blessings of the Shadow, and I shall await your safe return. Okay... Yo, cute. Can't teach this man to fish. Yeah, that's cute, dude. I like that. My friend CC Lemon, he sells these masks. Actually, a lot of people wear them to uh, fan fests and stuff. CC Lemon, what a guy! Mm -hmm. Fun fun fact about the lemon. Mm -hmm. I miss him every day. Oh, I miss the lemon as well, man. He catches the VOD. Sometimes he comes in. I mean, what time is it now? Let me see if he's awake. Hold on. Mm. Doesn't look like he's awake. I miss lemon. I don't even get to some... Okay, this has been the hardest thing about coming to... Okay, no, okay, that's actually such a lie. Also, I know that DQ is in chat right now, so I can't be saying that the hardest thing about coming to Japan is not being on Discord with my friends. And luckily, I went back in time and I caught myself from saying that so I could change the future, and the future is that what I was going to say is that not the hardest thing about coming to Japan, but one difficult aspect of many difficult aspects of coming to Japan is uh, I don't get to talk to my friends on Discord anymore. No games with friends. I don't do any games with friends. Because I don't stay up, because I stream early, I stream 9 a.m., right? So I can't stay up until 2, 3 a.m. I used to, when I was in England, sometimes I'd stay up till 2 or 3 or something, because I wouldn't stream till like 12, right? Um, so, I thought you hated timey wimey stuff? Yeah, I mean, look, it just got me off the hook, man. It just got me off the hook. See? Does it IRL? Mm -hmm. You miss me? I know it's okay. Let it all out. But friend, I do. Oh, 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 voice break. Oh, like Zoix Scoob. Um, I don't know why I have my voice break in there, bro. Um, uh, I do. I do miss all my EU viewers. You know, I do. I do. But I, that's why I stream late. I should have ended stream 15 minutes ago. 
Uh, but I'm trying to stream late because I like to, uh, you know, give time for you guys to come in. So it's nice. You require an Amaro. Just a moment and I shall saddle our swiftest beast to fly you to the island. The open water. To the depths of the tempest. Our Amaro can swim, yes. But to reach the ocean floor. Right, are we going to get an underwater zone? Mm, oh, oh. Hold on, hold that thought. Ah, we have found thee. Oh, hey guys. Word reached us of thy recovery, and thus did we gather with all haste. By thy looks, I gather thou hast gleaned that which I came to tell thee. Orionger has shared everything with us. The Exarch's true identity and purpose. Cyber, uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the community. Yo, Fredicus, thank you. Hold on. Nope, TTS didn't go. Okay. I was waiting to see. Sorry, I can't read. Hold on. Uh, sub and Johnny started 18 months ago. Damn, time really goes by. In two days and 19 months, sub arrived. Thank you, Frenicus. I appreciate that prime, Chief. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching for so long. And sorry I can't always... Sorry you probably have to be doing a lot of VOD watching at the moment. But, you know, I'll be back to England soon enough. And then it'll be, it'll be back to normal, you know. I'll be going back in time. I will. I offer no excuses. I don't think you did anything wrong, buddy. I think you're fine, man. It's when fine, I agreed right? to aid the Exarch with his plans, it was in full acceptance of the condemnation I would face when my duplicity was laid bare. You good, bud? Yet it is not rancor, but resolve that I sense in thee. Thou art fully intent upon walking thy path to its end, art thou not? If thou canst forgive my deception, or, failing that, set aside thy displeasure for a time, I do beg leave to follow thee. What strength and wisdom I possess are thine to command. I forgive you, let's go. <laughs> Come on, man, I gotta finish this story today. I thank thee. I promised. Doubt not, but that I will do all in my power to repay thy kindness. And fulfill the Exarch's wishes. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good idea. Leaving the Crystarium, I mean, with or without Uriante. What I did for you won't last forever. There's no telling when the light will break free again. Please, you must stay here. At least for a little while longer, we will find a way to cure this, I promise you. How can you make promises? We don't even know where to start. All right, Thancred. You know what I mean? Jeez. Alize, please. You know Reen was only trying to help. Pog, 24-hour stream? I don't know, you guys have you guys have been good lately. Of course I know. I know only too well. But making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. It's a lie. Plain and simple. She's still upset about Halric, I think. We've all searched high and low for an answer, and every one of us came back empty-handed. Oh no, she said I'm gonna die. I am not about to stand in her way now. Not after failing her in her hour of need. No, the least we can do is... Hmm. 
We will go with you as well. There is naught to be gained by standing still. Indeed, we have exhausted every other avenue. The gang's going out, man. Let's go. Lead, and we shall follow. If there is any hope to be found, then we will surely find it at your side. Do you think that the Scions do like a Christmas do? Are we all in agreement then? Is there aught we can do to help? Oh, hey guys. Though we may not know the whole story, we do know you're in for a fight. And while the Exarch's away, it falls to the rest of us to see the Warrior of Darkness is given a proper send-off. Chat. You told them. <laughs> no. Well, not in so many words. Aye, we didn't need it spelled out for us. When the night sky appeared over whichever place you went to, it was harder not to put two and two together. Oh, so they know I'm the Warrior of Darkness now. Sick. From the moment I heard that you and the Exarch shared the homeland, I had my suspicions. Long had he been waiting for a certain someone to arrive, and I knew at once that it must be you. Exactly. When he went up to meet you, it was clear it was no ordinary visitor. That spring in his step spoke volumes. I could feel his excitement. Me too! That's right! Yeah, yeah! Me too! Right, raise your hands, chat! We do not chat. fully understand where you or the Exarch hail from, or why you've all done so much to protect us. But we are deeply grateful nonetheless. So, if there is anything at all we might do to aid your journey, you need only name it. What would you have of us? You might have invited them to join us, where there are not so many. But come, they are waiting. What is your will, O oh warrior of darkness? Defend the Chrysarium until we return. Leave it to us, we'll see the Exarch home safe and sound. That would be so brutal. They'd like, yeah, we're gonna help you. And we're like, what do you want us to do? And we're like, um, oh, can you get me a coffee? Do you think, do you think you can handle that? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Nah, defend the Chrysarium, you got it guys, you got this. I gotta keep him happy, man. I gotta keep Twitch chat happy. Try not to burn it down. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? There was something... See, this is why I need to comment mid-cutscene, not at the end of a cutscene, because I forget. Um, something happened in that that made me think. Oh, yeah, no, I was gonna say... Uh, no, I don't remember now. What was I gonna say? Maybe it'll come back to me. Thou didst plan to commandeer in Amaro for thy journey to the open sea. I fear the following dive down onto Emmet Selk's underwater abode would drain even thy legendary stamina. Thus, during thy convalescence, we considered the most efficient. <sighs> efficacious method? for reaching the depths of the Tempest, and I believe we have arrived at an elegant solution. But ere we do, I swear to God, not a single word from you, chat. Why don't you guys try reading this, 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 huh? Yet ere we discuss this step, I suggest thou dost conclude such pressing business as remains to thee in the Crystarium. Once the sea closeth above our heads, we are unlikely to surface again until our grand deed is done. Oh, I was gonna say, shouldn't we be trying to like, take the light out of me before we go and do this? No, because Alice was do like, yeah. Alice is like, yeah, I don't know, bro. We tried, man. 
and she's like, she's just shrugging. Is, is it British person struggling to read average British person writing to them? You think that British people talk like this. Have you spoken to a British human? They don't speak like this. This is what, this is what Anne Hathaway thinks that the English sound like, okay? Bro, you talk exactly like Orient Shea. What, you mean when I'm reading his lines? Are you the most reliable witness to this? People say you are a yank. I got something you can yank. But be gentle. Um, I lived in America. I grew up in America, but I'm English. British, mate. From Birmingham, mate. Um, I, yeah, I, no, I, I, I know, um, trust me. I have to listen to a lot of Brits. They don't, they don't speak like Oriarche. They don't. Go to Birmingham, you'll see. I'm in Japan, though. I am in Japan. Konnichiwa, bitches. Oi, bruv, oi, bruv, in it, bruv, 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 in it. It's weird to hear different accents in the English version. Don't remember hearing any of that in the German language. Maybe it's just because it sounds normal to me, so I don't know. Maybe. Wait, they, they do German translation? Is there a zone in Shadowbringers that relates with you at all? Lakeland is the one I still feel really good about with its violet trees and nighttime music. That relates with me. I mean, I guess I've been up to Edinburgh, so I guess the, the fairies probably make sense. Um, yeah, Yulemore reminds me of Birmingham, actually. Yeah, I think Lakeland. Wait, no. Lakeland? No, not Lakeland. Which one's um, Calusia? Yeah, Birmingham, mate. Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're more reminds me of Birmingham. I'd say that's probably the zone that resonates with me. How to turn the Scots against you by saying the fairies relate to you because Scottish. You're right. They can't be Scottish. They weren't nearly as drunk. Sign about the meme, the happiest man in Birmingham. I know they're like, woke up in a steaming mood. I hate Birmingham. I, I don't remember the rest of what he says, but I've seen that video. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, I lived in, in near Birmingham for 15 years. I don't think you guys understand the damage that does to a man's mental state. Okay, dude, we're gonna get an underwater zone. Okay, I hope this is good, because the last time we had was Red Sea. Red Sea was pretty cool. I liked it. Sick dungeon there. Okay, let me go tinkle. Uh, I'll run a quick ad if you guys don't want to get hit by ads. Hey, look, tier one sub, pana plus, pa 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 pa, 300 points, 70 30 split, 40% uh, pay rise, all that jazz. Bam, 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 bam. Running an ad? Tinkle. Hey guys, it's me again, Cy Spielberg. Seems like Cy Bear has taken another tinkle break, so I have to remind you again about Partner Plus. It's a golden opportunity to support your streamer and enjoy ad-free viewing experience. 
Imagine the cat cosplay, a bear cosplaying a cat, what could be better? Not only that, I know all of you want to have a closer look at those big guns that are Cy Bear's arms and this is your best opportunity to see them, W. Mine milkshake bringeth all yon gentlefolk to mine yard and lo they reply, tis better than thine. Verily, tis better than thine. I could apprentice thee, but I wouldst levy a fee. Y'all are rascals, you know that? <laughs> that? Living 15 years anywhere else, it's kind okay living 15 years in England, Birmingham, British Dispage. I was tinkling and that was that that was making me chuckle. I like that TTS, Rascal thank you. This. <laughs> Cyber, uh this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the community. Oh my Carol, god. Carol, thank you so much for the TL1. Thank you. Thank you. Picture of mine cock and balls. Pretty deleted. Lest thou desire to look. Ha ha jest. Deleted. Should thee crave. Ha ha nay. Banish it. Lest Mine milkshake bringeth all yon gentlefolk to mine yard and lo they reply. Hey look, the typical British thine. man. Verily, tis better than thine. I could apprentice thee, but I would levy a fee. <laughs> Alright, Silabrius, thank you so much for today. You're a champ. Thank you so much for today. I'll uh, maybe see you tomorrow in case we don't conclude Shadowbringers today. Are we there yet? But yeah, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Today's been fun, man. Thine affairs are in order, then I shall unfold to thee my proposal. Our destination is the ocean floor, yet our goal is not simply to arrive there. Nay, we must needs have the means to breathe and fight freely. Thus would I petition the aid of one of the Fae, a being with whom I have yet to meet face to face. Rather than waste words on explanation, I bid thee follow me unto the hamlet of Sullen which lieth to the south and west. All will become abundantly clear, I promise thee. Guys, if we're going to an underground, underground, underwater zone, okay, and, which by the way, you guys are real buggers. You guys are like, hey Sai, any guesses on what the final zone is gonna be? <laughs> yeah, man, I saw this one coming. Um, but since we're going to an underwater zone where Emmett's just teleported himself, surely, okay, hear me out, surely there aren't going to be any chores. Promise me, promise me, promise, promise me, how could there be? There's no one there. Promise? Pinkies? We're gonna go in. We're gonna see Emmett. He's gonna be standing right there. We're gonna be like, yo, what's up, son? He's gonna be like, oh, what's good? Let's go. Yes? Pinky? Pinkies? What I will promise you is that I'm going to bed. Good night. You, I swear to God, if if you go and get in bed and you start looking at your phone, nah. Good night. What good I night, will promise you is that I am going to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Hold on. And then this is really quick. Okay. Yeah. Is this the the happiest man in Birmingham? Hold on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, this is sped up. Angry British man living in Birmingham. I just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, yeah? Because I live in a shithole! Do you know what I mean? Birmingham is a fucking shithole! I hate the fucking place! I fucking hate it! It's full of dickheads! I fucking hate it! That is the accent I had to live with for 15 years, you guys. It's a surprise I didn't commit a felony. Okay? Or juice up like this man clearly look at the veins in his neck 
This the man is 22. Love he thee, looks 50. Break thine own heart in twain. If thou should fall into mine own appendages and ride uncontrollably, akin to an article of flora. Birmingham is full of dickheads. Yes. Yes. Is that guy's name Dadfoot? Dadfort. Dadfort. I have subbed to that accent six months. I do not sound like that. That's 22. No, I have no idea how old he is. <laughs> Living in Birmingham for 15 years is a The felony. only felony committed here is everyone that hasn't tier 3 sucked yet. <laughs> Uh, aren't 70% of Brits looking 50 years older than they really are? Sorry, did you say 70% and 50? 70%, 50. Where do I know those numbers from? Oh, that's right. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, there, to the west, canst thou discern the hump of an isle rising above the water? Thou, thouest can. That foliage-covered mass hideth the key to our safe descent. Swim close and plunge thee beneath the surface. This is like reading IKEA construction manual, you know, and you're like looking at step seven and you're like, I don't think I have this, man. Swim close and plunge thee beneath the surface. Thou shalt soon divine the reason for mine insistence. That would be much to my shame. I can but flail and flounder where thou mayest glide as a fish. I shall board a boat to the island and spare one and all the spectacle of mine inept strokes. I don't get the joke. It's like, you know when you're reading a manual for something and you have to like, you read a line and then you read the next line and then you have to double check the first line and then you have to read the second line again to understand the first line and then you have to go back again. Right, let's go check out this hump, bro. I guess I reserved all of the green for this. Am I going down? Let's go, baby. The Isle of Ken. Who's Ken? Oh, I'm going back up. We're going back down. I'm not going to do well in an underwater zone. Suspect rock formation. A little sussy. Two curved slabs of rock seem squeezed together here. Don't, because chat's going to get excited. Don't, 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 don't. Giving the impression of a giant stone eyelid. Bro, what the fuck is this? Who is Ken, bro? Ken is Ryan Gosling. What even is it? What even? Bro, this is creeping me out, actually. I don't like water, man. I Even in games, I think I really, I think I do have a fear. I think my fear is water. Though it appears solid enough, the rock yields slightly under your touch. Was the surface gently shifting, or was it just your imagination? Oh god. Is it a turtle or something? Oh my god, wait, when was okay, hold on. When did this game release? Shadow recent. Kenneth Sean Ken Carson Jr. is a fashion doll introduced by American toy company Mattel in 1961 as His the name is Carson? Barbie, who had been Kenneth? introduced two years earlier. Shadowbringers released July 2nd, 2019. Mists of Pandaria released date. September 25th, 2012. Hmm. Chat, can I ask you a question? Is 2012 before or after 2019? Just a quick question for you guys. Why didn't Barbie got pregnant? Cause Ken came in a different box. TTS was a mistake. I actually really like the Bobby movie, by the way. Do you guys watch that? I like the Bobby movie. I really wanted to get one of those Ken Enough 
jump is. I liked it. But then everybody has one. So I was like, oh, now it's not cool. It was cool, but now it can't be cool because everyone's got one. You know what I mean? Because, like, if you're wearing one and someone else, you meet someone randomly in the streets and they're also wearing one. Is Siberia's Kenuff? I don't know that I am. Well, what hast thou discerned? I'm discerning that that's an ordinary island. It reminds me of a certain primal. It's just like the big one. Yes, yes. Who's the big one? There aren't enough tier three stars. Ha! Thine impression is not inaccurate. According to the lore of the Pixies, we are, even now, perched upon the pack of an ancient fey entity. I don't even know who the big one is. Its name is Bismarck. Yo! Bismarck... Bismarck Ultimate? Oh, of course! It's not a turtle, it's Bismarck! Dude, I'm so good at realizing shit after they tell me. Dude. It's not the Bismarck, though. No, it's not the Bismarck. It's Bismarck 2.0. His name is Bismarck. Aye, the self-same title by which we know the great feathered whale revered by the Vanu Vanu of the source. I would enlist its aid to bear us unto the deep, and thence banish the water with an airy sphere. Dude, Bismarck. See, this is why. Okay, funnily enough, this game... Uh, so if you... If you ever in your life have said a bad word about Bismarck Extreme, then this doesn't happen. You get a different version of the game. Because Bismarck doesn't play games and you hurt his feelings, okay? Me, never said a bad word about Bismarck. Not once. Not once. I would enlist its aid to bear us unto the deep, and thence banish the water with an airy sphere, alike in form to the domes which do shelter the hamlets near neath the ruby sea. Within its compass we may move unencumbered, and defend ourselves when the hour of battle cometh, as it most surely shall. I must needs ask for silence whilst I make my supplication. Okay, sick. Dude, I'm sad though, because this Bismarck gets to be in the water, and the other Bismarck is is lost in the sky. It never gets to reach the oceans. And that's sad, man. Weir Sach, Bilan Bismail. Mr. Psy, 8 Second Bear, is a British... Okay, but can you please explain why I'm Mr. 8 Second? Because that... I don't want people going around thinking... You know what I mean? Like, I want... I need... That can't happen. Mr. Psy, 8 Second Bear, is a British Final Fantasy fourteen streamer based in Japan who sounds exactly like every other British person. I heard swim and lemonade. Why do you wake me, little neighbor? Fallen si lor wislan, ada si alina. To the bottom of the western sea we go. Pray lend us your back and your breath. This world is in twilight. I wait for the sun to set. I wish only to sleep. Oh dear. I don't need to speak Fae to know that didn't go well. So how the hell are we going to do this? I know what to do. Okay, why does my warrior of light know what to do and I don't? This is the second time. Okay, hold on. If the Warrior of Light knows what to do, then I know what to do. We need Fail All. Okay. 
why would that make it night? Oh no, that's not what he's saying. Wait, that's not what he means. The world is in twilight. I wait for the sun to set. Yeah, no, no, no. I wait for the sun to set. Maybe she... Sorry, King. Maybe... maybe oh, wait. They... They... Maybe they will... Um, just tell him to stop. And to help us out. Goes all my Scottish viewers. They're gone. They're not coming back. Oh, my precious mortal, I shall help you in any way I can. Yes, Bismel, when picked. Man, draw me, draw me, Jacob. Sleepy Bismarck, you old pixie. These are my precious, precious saplings. Let their wish be the king's command. I think this is Twitch streamers and their girlfriends. What a rare thing to awaken to. My beautiful king. If it be thy wish, then so shall it be. Oh, so shall so shall it be done. Strap this one's teeth for him upon your return. It's only good manners. It will be done, Your Majesty. Our deepest thanks for your timely intervention. An agreement is reached, and your departure is at hand. You wingless ones, best hold on tight. Shadowbringers is sick, man. We didn't even have to do anything, and it was voice acted. I did no chores, and it was voice acted. Big. May the blessings of the Fae keep you safe in bar. You worked so hard for this, don't let Bismarck down. To the Western Sea we go, wrapped in my breath. I will see you to your destination, little neighbors. Ah, oh, I like Bismarck, man. I'm never gonna say a bad word about Bismarck. Ever. Base in Walker is as much voice acting as all the other expansions combined. That is going to be insane. I might even go a full stream without even having to say a word. Lord knows I'm not going to be able to cook. Bro, if I've got to cook timey-wimey stuff, I'm not going to be able to do that, man. The timey-wimey. The cosmic timey-wimey. Not even just Earth timey-wimey. It's like, it's like planets and shit. Solar systems. And just like that, it's all gone back to the way it was. What was you expecting? Hundred years of honey and rainbows? Seeing them Yulmore types wake up and smell the ashes was miracle enough for me. See, and this is a footballer. Or a scaffolder. There you go, that's an English accent that's... You know. Magic in the air when that ladder started moving. <laughs> and when that great hulking Talos rose up. Gods. I could live a thousand years and never behold anything so amazing. What the? You see that? Train. 
Shit, we going ocean fishing, boys. <laughs> it's not stopping. Run! Run! <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if those are the the two biggest casualties no, of the franchise? I have fulfilled my duty. I return now to the lake. I have not flown in an age. It was pleasant. May a journey be a safe one, little neighbors. Poor Naraxia. Yeah, no one ever brings up Naraxia, man. Kicked in the head. Why is this a thing? Why is what a thing? Oh, is this? That's Twitch meta, wow. baby. The breath of Bismarck. See how it swells to form a dome beneath the waves? The waters recede. The tempest's floor is laid bare. In defiance of the blinding sky, this place holds fast to its gloom. The last refuge of he who denies the light with every fiber of his being. You stand at the precipice, hero. Journey unto the heart of darkness. Finish it. You know what I've not thought about? Are we gonna kill... Okay. Welcome oh. to the final area of Shadowbringers, The Tempest. Shrug. But dude, are we gonna kill Emmett? That I actually didn't see coming in this expansion. I think maybe in Endwalker I could see it coming. But literally, what did he say? Wait. Wait, why didn't I get a... Uh... Why doesn't his text pop up? Is it in battle text? Ah, man. Where he says, like, finish it? Dude. I hadn't actually thought about that. I just thought about us going and being like, yo, man, can we have our boy back? And then being like, yeah, okay. Okay, that's going to be sick. Because, as well, it'll either be a... It won't be a duty. It'll be... If, it'll be a dungeon. Or... A trial. Which, if, if that's a fucking trial, that's going to be sick. Okay, I need to, um... I need to uh, skip all of this text rush through the zone, and then we're gonna find out, okay? Oh god, please don't give me chores. Oh god, please. Please, don't give me chores. Yeah, we, uh, watch, um, Denki's video? Okay, what's this? Dude, this music's so good, though. Hold on. So what's this? Hold on. So what's this? An old clip from three months ago. I'm scared. I'm scared. This isn't eight seconds. What's it gonna be? Uh, guys, I promise you, there is an Asian underwater and we're gonna reach him and he's gonna go, ah, finally, you took your time. Or some, some dumb shit like that. He's gonna be like, I've been expecting you. Bro, what is the context? The bottom of the ocean, just waiting for us. Like some kind of doofus. <laughs> what is the context of that? Wait, what is the context of that? D 
do you have another clip? When you unlocked underwater in Stormblood, dude, what? <laughs> you unlock your diving? Holy shit, I don't even remember that. Oh, I was wondering where the Ascians were in Stormblood. Holy shit, dude, I don't even... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no way. Is that what you mean when you were like, you were like, oh, so I got this clip that I gotta show you. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's like Jeet when he's like, oh, what are they gonna do next? Bring back. Wait, who do you say? Do you say bring back Gaius? It was Gaius, wasn't it? Was it. Yeah, was it Gaius? Where he's like, oh, what are they gonna do next? Bring back Gaius? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Does I have a clip of his reaction to the Sasanu Blade mechanic in trial? I actually don't. Uh, oh, I don't. Oh, I remember though. I remember seeing. I remember seeing it when we were in the fight because obviously I was looking forward to it, right? Like, looking forward to Susanu because I remember it from from uh, Aether Robics. And during the fight, I remember I said something. I think I even like zoom in and I'm like, oh, look at this. But I don't remember exactly like what I did. Dude, that is so funny. That is so funny, man. I to I to okay, I th th this is what I say though, Denki. This is why you say my cooking is like my cooking is like um uh is like my rating. I will figure out the most like ridiculous bonkers shit, but then the simple stuff that is literally right in front of me, where the game like where even the Warrior of Light is like, yes, this is the answer. And I'm like, how does the Warrior of Light know this? Like I don't know why. I can't see a foot in front of my face, but I can fucking meme joke. Dude. I mean, I don't even, this doesn't even make any sense. Okay, this doesn't even make any sense though, because why is he underwater? Like, why is he underwater? Is he a fish? I hadn't actually thought about that. Hold on. Why is he underwater? Because it's cozy? Maybe he jokes about an August story. Maybe true. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've really had much with N Walker. Yeah, what's... I'll do... Okay, let me finish N Walker and then I'll... I'll... I'll do Dawn Trail next. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, don't tell me, Bossy, but like, why would he be underwater? Like, why would you go underwater? You can go anywhere. No idea, wink, wink. God damn, dude. Those Same. Were the days when me and my GF to Dethrobics with Psy. I need to do more of it, Kat. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. It just when I started getting deep into the MSQ, it just became like a little bit more of a, like a just like not a distraction. Like it was fun to do, but. I feel I'm already so erratic as a streamer to then include it in. It was just like, tinkle break, aetherobics, this, that, random story, ba-da-ba. And then it was like, I think it was just too much stuff. 
So I've tried to like calm things down a bit, he says as he's literally AFKing on a text screen. Uh, same, always overlook the simple stuff because you're too worried about the hard stuff. Yeah, exactly, right? Dude, that. That is funny, man. Um, haha, <laughs> full glad am I that Bismarck was true to his word. We are arrived in the Tempest, safe and dry, to see that we shall find the lair of M itself, and I believe the imprisoned Ex Exarch as well. For an Asian alone, it is of course a trifling matter to flee into the Rift, yet I suspect such a travel is nigh impossible with the mortal one's custody. Nay, he would not soon risk his prize when the Exarch's very body serveth is the key to the crystal tower and his powers of temporal transportation. Um, maybe that's why he's underwater? Maybe he's like underneath the crystal tower or something? So he, the Exarch is still close? So he doesn't die? Do not soon risk his prize when the Exarch's very body serveth as the key to the crystal tower and his powers of. Why doesn't he just go to the crystal tower? Oh no, he wants to know knowledge, right? Thus am, am I all but certain that it, this underwater realm harboreth our friend and enemy both. We have but to find them. Oysters on the half shell. Nice, thank you, man. Um, so, in the event that you leave the area, speak with Inul at the Venmont Yards in Calusia. Okay, sure. So, we can breathe under here, yeah? Like, we'd. Okay. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Huh. This isn't what they did in uh, the Ruby Sea, is it? Will we be able to run around like this? This is like a full-on... I mean, you wouldn't even know it's an underwater zone. This is really cool. In WoW, you, like, obviously I'm just used to, like, it's an underwater zone, but you're swimming. There are, like, moments where you don't have to swim, and you can, like, you have brief periods where you're running on the thing. But you're, yeah, we're in a Bismarck air bubble. But it follows us around, I guess. Yeah, there were like small little bits, right? But you were swimming most of it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, because I'll be honest, I don't really, I'm not really big on like underwater zones in general. I'm not, they don't really like uh, tickle me fancy. But this doesn't really feel like one. It feels like mainly, you know, just for story, right? Um, so. That is cool. Feels like you're in Mario. <laughs> I don't like hate WoW well underwater zones. Like I, I, I like designer or devs like experimenting with stuff. Um, Cause I could see you being really stoked about like an underwater zone and then you get there and then it's like, you're not actually swimming. And I could see you being like disappointed cause it just feels like another zone. But for like, for logistics, it's kind of nice to just, you know. Uh, thing is, oh, okay, you are flying. I was literally, I was literally just gonna say, do I unlock flying here? Um, but so yeah, clearly, so you're gonna fly as well. Yeah, more like under the water, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have national PTSD. I mean, that wasn't too under, that wasn't really underwater, but still. Now, as for where we should be looking, I rather doubt Emmett itself will be sitting around out in the open. I propose we follow the slope down towards the deeper trenches and keep an eye out for rock formations large enough to house a stronghold. Let's be off then. But watch your footing. The ground is still wet and like to be slippery. I thought he said I like to be slippery. I was like, alright man, what are you gonna like roll around or something? Like Okay, bud. Sure thing, thank you. Uh yeah, okay, there is one. You have to be able to fight underwater, and that would be slippery slope with all the spaghetti code. Mmm, a lot of like movement-based abilities and stuff, right? Oh, this is convenient. Yeah, like imagine you're trying to do, trying to do movements. Dude, that is so funny. Man. I've been expecting you. Gonna be in a chair and do Are the evil. Are we gonna have a 14 hours stream the, today? Okay. The... 
Ah, champion. You came. <laughs> Gonna have a... Have a crab on his lap. What's the ocean of, uh, equivalent of a cat? A catfish! Can I have a catfish on his lap, bro? I love that there's puddles in here still. Hilarious. If you actually finish it, I might die. It de I don't know. It depends. I mean, it depends how many chores I'm going to have to do. Because it's like a whole new zone. It depends. Depends how much we got to do. Did you listen to the song I mentioned yesterday? So I actually didn't. I am sorry. But I will. I will. I've got it saved. I've got it written down. I'm going to. Promise. Promise. I'll do that today. 100%. 100%. 100%. My man. Heck yeah. I got you. Yo, who's this guy? Ondo Youth. <gasps> Oh, okay. Yeah, so... What are we doing? We're just exploring, yeah. Oh yeah, we're just looking for him. Okay. Great, you scared him. He's like, oh my god. What the hell are you? Uh, is this just a beast tribe? The finless ones, they followed me. Why have you come? Was it you who took away our water? Ah, so this is where the Ondo make their home. I had wondered. Pray forgive us any inconvenience we have caused. We are not aware your people lived here in the Tempest. We need this great dome of air that we might conduct a most urgent search, and thus beg you for your understanding. Chieftain, what are we to do? I guess luckily that these guys can breathe oxygen. Just kill a, just kill a whole village of fish people? Are you emissaries of the Ancient Ones? The mist... The uh, mysteries have stirred. We have seen the illuminated land shining through the gloom of the abyss. If you are the emissaries, the chosen, I bid you welcome. If you are not, I bid you leave. I am not sure I understand. Would you be willing to elaborate? It would seem not. I suggest we withdraw for the moment. Probably about two to three hours to get to the point of no return where you have to see it through to the end. I'm d I mean, I'm definitely not doing two hours. I'll do a smidge. I'll do a smidge. See how we go. So what's the plan? Given your condition, I'm reluctant to suggest lingering here. That said, I'm honestly... So curious. Okay, if we kill Emmett here, I'm honestly so curious what Endwalk is even about. Like, the, the more I... Before I started playing Shadowbringers, I was like, okay, I think I know what Endwalk is going to be. And then I played... Well, not like I think I know what it's going to be, but like, I can... Like, oh, it's going to be Asian, right? Like, Shadowbringers will deal... I mean, Shadowbringers is called Shadowbringer. I actually thought it was going to be very Asian based but it's actually related to the Warrior of Darkness and the Warrior of Light, which I realized once I watched the trailer. Before I started playing Shadowbringers, I thought like, oh, okay, I, I, I can guess how Endwalker's gonna end. We're gonna kill the Asians. We're gonna stop the rejoining and everyone's gonna be cool, right? Heidelin and Zodiac are gonna figure their shit out and we're gonna call it a day. You know, we'll call it a draw. You go to that corner, you go to that corner play nice or we defeat Zodiac or something and Heidelin wins and then cool 
So, like, that's the kind of stuff that I thought Endwalker was going to be about. But now, having played Shadowbringers, I genuinely, like, don't know. Because if we kill all the Asians now, then, I mean, I guess, okay, I guess Endwalker could be about some of the other stuff. But, I, yeah, I thought that would be, like, the last thing we do. Endwalker is about walking to the end, isn't it, in the name? I'm... I am willing to RP walk through the whole expansion. I'll do a poll. If you guys want to... <laughs> dude, could you imagine? The whole expansion, dude. Um, no, I don't know. The more I play Shadowbringers, the more I, like, don't... Bro, I just... I don't know. I love how you're exactly as confused as I was in your current position. It's like the more answers we're getting, the more we're doing the story, the just like the more just the more stuff. I'm like, okay, but what about this? But what about that? We must make him walk. I how long would it take? I mean, you can teleport around everywhere actually, so it probably wouldn't take as long as you think. It actually probably wouldn't add that much time to it. You know. Um, that said, our presently meandering search would proceed far more swiftly if we could call upon the Ondo's local knowledge. Yes, I'd like to know more about this illuminated land the chief spoke of. Could it be Emmett Selk's stronghold, do you suppose? Perhaps he lit the lanterns upon his return. I thought they meant the light returning to the sky up above the water. I thought that's what they meant. We cannot dismiss the possibility that these Ondo refuse to speak with us. Cyber, so do you remember my first scheme for entering Yulmor? How I had planned to ingratiate, uh, ing ingratiate, 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 ingratiate myself by offering lucrative trading opportunities with the Ondo. The individual I dealt with was reticent in manner and curious in custom. We were able to reach an agreement nonetheless. I believe that with the right approach, we can build a similar relationship here. What kind of approach did you have in mind? A chieftain fellow didn't leave us many options. If we are to tread the swiftest course, then we must need to locate its beginning. It is plain, on all our too it is plain our all too traumatic arrival hath thrown the settlement into confusion. Another thing I'm curious about, and I would advise, I guess, like, don't tell me, but, um,. I am curious as to what the patch content is going to be like for Shadowbringers because every other expansion so far, the patch content has been the hard carry because it's like, like, ugh, it's not even that the .0 content is like bad, it's good, but it's just like the patch content is just, just full of just densely packed content. And then shadowbringers has kind of had so much already like there's so much to cook i'm kind of overwhelmed i'm forgetting things and forgetting characters and all that kind of stuff and then it's like how the hell are they going to do the patch content and then do a whole experiment like it feels like we're wrapping up you know it feels like we're wrapping up already i genuinely don't understand how there's a whole other expansion of story unless endwalker is like major fill <laughs> until like the last five minutes you know don't worry about it. Yeah, no, of course, of course. I'm just, it's one of those where I'm just like, I'm excited. Which call it for tonight without going past the point of no return. Maybe the hard cutoff point where roll quest is required to continue. Yeah, you guys just give me a heads up where you think it's probably cool to cut it and I'll, it, if I end earlier than that, then cool. If I end later, like, you know, yeah. Were we to solve such problems as we have caused, the Azure, uh, the Azure are host thereby, a host thereby that our purpose here is not. <laughs> inimical in, in, inimical to them they may or, <sighs> they may yet prove amenable to read bro what are you saying if we were to solve such problems as we cause bring the water back and they'll be our friends got it Did you say amic no yeah he said amicable at the end didn't he bro I have no he said amenable okay yeah okay never mind whatever I smell chores, <laughs> but very well. 
and it can be done quickly. Okay, that's my favorite. That's my favorite line in this whole game. <laughs> We're like literally like chats like sorry how much longer are you gonna stream today? I'm like, I don't know man, it really depends. And then thank it's like, yeah, how many chores, bro? Can we do them quick? What do you think? I've nothing better to offer, but I do worry that what will happen if the Ondo's tails end up leading us to a dead end. I cannot say for certain, but I sense this tribe has a deeper connection to the Asians than first meets the eye. It warrants further investigation. Thus I cast my vote in favor of aiding the settlement for the time being. You will make allies of the Ondo. Let's do what we do best. I'll do what I can. Yeah. Man, my voice, my throat is fried. I, I can't wait for a weekend. A little weekend break for my throat to recover. It's been crackling and hoarse and everything. But it is settled. Ishtala, pray proceed with your investigations. The rest of us will see about fostering some goodwill. The MSQ sections of streams like batter me. If I do like two weeks of MSQ, my throat is just <laughs> ARR was really cool, like in terms of my journey in this game, I think ARR was so cool just knowing that you had fifty levels of content, you know. Whereas, like, did I already get this? I did, didn't I? Like, you just knew it was, like, gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. It's kind of cool. I like that. Cyber, you won't believe who I've just bumped in into. This is Posh Shun. I, you're right, I can't believe that. Posh, Posh Shun. The very fellow I did business with prior to our ill-fated stay in Yulma. All right, well, that's convenient. I waited and you did not come. Then the mistel came, but his visits did not continue. I'm truly sorry, Pasha's own. Things did not proceed as planned. Is there aught we can do for you by way of an apology? Hmm, perhaps... Weather dry return. A cavern to the north is home to giant crabs. We do not fear the crab, for we are the swiftest swimmers. But now there is no water. We run, and they scuttle close behind, snipping and snapping with their claws. There are too many of them. Too many! Ah, I believe I can be of assistance there. And what of you, Cybear? If you've not found a task, you are most welcome to join me. Indeed, I should appreciate the company. Where the dry return has a rather ominous ring to it. Yeah, 50 levels of content, yet the expansion is somehow just as dense. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I wonder how much of uh, the game story in general was like dragged out compared to um purposefully like it's the difference between being stretched and dragged you know what i mean where like i wonder if they were like yes this is where we want certain key points to conclude or what i mean obviously i guess i must be but get, you know did someone give the man a fat cat what does that mean you mean like the pet? I think so. Yeah, I think I have one of those. Yeah. If you follow this through to the very end of this base, Shadowbringers, I genuinely think you'd have a 13 hour stream. I mean... I can't do a 13 hour stream. You guys are really building up the end of this. What level is my quest? I'm on a level 79 quest. Okay, so I'm, I'm very close to the end. Please, I want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Definitely let me if there's a... Let me know if there's a point where you're like, side, don't go past there. Definitely let me know. Oh, I'll definitely finish before the podcast, because the podcast isn't until 11pm for me. Yeah, guys, me and Russ will be doing the podcast again tomorrow. Yeah, with respect to you, more than a couple hours from the credits. Yeah, of course, of course, that's fine. 
That's probably good. It means we probably get a good day tomorrow, you know? Wait, there's another roll quest? I'll stop at the roll quest thing for sure. Okay. Is my boy Lou Reek down here? <laughs> Not another, but you'll get a noted. Okay. You know when you see it? Okay, sure, 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 sure. Okay. Say no more, say no more. We got it, we got it. So just, that'll be a good stopping point. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't know. I never like to say exactly how long I'm going to stream for, because then it's kind of like, if, if people can be like, oh, there's no good point upcoming, then they'll just like leave. And it's like, I don't want people to leave, man. I want people to hang out and chill. Then again, if people need to sleep, go to sleep. You could crack their shells. You must be stronger than you look. Oh, that was like a question. I see you've reached your quota first again. I should never be your equal in such tasks. Still, I would say we have reduced the local crab population to a far less threatening number. My thanks to both of you. We must have a reward. Nay, Pastor Owen, this was to be part of my apology to you, remember? Besides which, the lack of water is our doing, for which we must also make amends. Might I convince you to tell us something about your village instead? I would very much like to learn more of you and your people. Very well. Before the flood came, it is said that our ancestral home was found in the seas to the south. It was utterly destroyed by the light. Only those who were out hunting survived. They swam, aimless and lost, until they spied buildings here on the ocean floor. Allegan. Strange buildings they were, and long had they stood under the water, yet somehow they had been spared the scars of time and current. These structures provided shelter for my people, protection from the tempest, turbulent waters, and the predators which hunted within them. Their very existence seemed a miracle. The first settlers pondered their good fortune. It was clear that the race who had built such wonders had guided their course, and from this did they discern the truth. I love no matter where we go, it's just, it's Asian adjacent, man. That the ancients had chosen us to serve as caretakers of their eternal sanctuary until such time as they returned. Let's if it is judged that you're coming in this great vanishing of water thus if it is judged that you're coming in this great vanishing of water was by the ancients designed you will find warm welcome here wait these guys were the ancients have chosen us to serve as caretakers oh, okay a truly astonishing history yet i cannot keep but help but wonder how will the significance or otherwise of our arrival be decided so if these guys were entrusted with caretaking this city, then it's always been underwater. Because like um, if there's buildings and stuff, I'm like, oh, it's Allegan, and there's been like water, like you know, flood or whatever times gone by. But that would mean that this, um, the these buildings have always been underwater, like this town and stuff. A truly astonishing history, yet I cannot help but wonder. How will the significance, or otherwise, of our arrival be decided? The ancients have blessed us with protection and prosperity. If your presence serves to bring us the same, there will be no doubt in the matter. You think? Well, I mean, it makes sense, right? But it would seem our earlier decision was the correct one. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if that, like... We thank you for the lesson, Pastor Owen. And will continue to do all we can to assist your people. Should you desire our help with any trouble, pray do not hesitate to ask. What type of stream do you have highest view account? As I always get in like four to five hours in stream, and that's like seven eight UK. Finish this tomorrow. Don't want to miss it live. Oh, um. Well, I won't be finishing MSQ based on view count. I'll be finishing MSQ when it naturally happens. But uh, I, uh, I don't know when I'll finish it tomorrow. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how much I've left, you know, with people saying like a couple hours, but then like tomorrow, for example, I'll go live at 9am, maybe start MSQ around 11 or 12 or something, and then I could set a hard MSQ start time, I could start it at say like 3pm my time, but that's 8 hours, yeah. I Okay, so I will finish it tomorrow, but yeah, like, 
I don't know exactly. I could do MSQ like later in the day. Maybe start MSQ at like, yeah, three or something. But the only problem is I have football at six. So, ah, oh, no. Yeah, I don't want to start MSQ too late because I don't want to risk getting to really good moment and then having to go, guys, I got to go. I've got football because that will just be horrible. Uh, and I, well, I wouldn't go to football, but like, I'd hate to like just be torn like that where it's just a shit situation. So I'll probably start it 12-ish Japan. Yeah, let's say 12 Japan. That probably is the best time. It means that you don't have to, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We should return to the task at hand. Only do not try to overexert yourself, my friend. The risk far outweighs the gain. Probably about six hours. Oh, if I'm if I'm six hours away from end credits, then yeah, I'll start it at twelve. Yeah. And then oh, that's still risky. That's still risky with football, but I'll figure it out. I'll do a bit more today then, so it evens out, you know. Ah, Cyber, have you learned aught of note? Fascinating, and precisely the sort of information I was hoping to hear. In fact, if you have a moment, I'd like to borrow your eyes to confirm a theory I've been working on. Come. Bench. Yo, what up, Parsi? You made it, you made it. Oh, I want to stretch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think I already have these pets, but hey, look, thank you very much. It's the thought that counts. Very, very sweet of you. What time is that, GMT? It is a... Uh... Hold on, I'll tell you in one sec. Let me do a... Let me do an adventure plate for your troubles. Save me from this game. Chat and stuff. Win trade. Moon. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. How'd you get the eye patch? Oh, your character actually looks like your plate. Okay. Sick. Bosh. Wait, are you max level yet? One of your things was 88. Are you max level? Are you 90? <clears throat> 3 a.m. start? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it sucks because I can't please everyone, you know? It, it's, it sucks. It sucks. But I'll do what I can, you know? Um, uh, nine, so 12 p.m. Japan is... 4 a.m. UK, which is 5 a.m. CET. It's not great. It's not great, dudes. Yeah, do the time that works for me. Yeah, it's just the, the more important thing for me is that I don't start and then have to stop before, like right before the pivotal point, like right before credits or something, you know? Um, I want to be able to really relax and enjoy and, and do the whole thing. Uh, what have I got to do? Speak with, with your shawl. Right, I don't think I'm even going to bother with flying for this zone because it just seems kind of pointless. Right, I'm going to continue on, my friends. Yo, thank you for those gifts. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to continue on because I know that we want to be in a good spot for today. Yeah, early night, and you guys got the- yeah, chat, yeah, dude, I couldn't imagine going to sleep early to, like, catch a stream, that's, that's, uh, that's really sweet, but also, like, I feel bad, you know, but, I don't know, there's not much I can do, unfortunately, time zones exist. Dude, what if the whole world switched so that we were on the exact same time? But, like, people would go about their day. So, like, let's say 9 a.m. Japan is 1 a.m. UK. And, like, people start work at 9. Like, your 9 to 5 is, like, 1 a.m. until, uh, math, 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 a.m. 1 a.m. until, like, 9 a.m. And you're just like, look, I live, in, I live in the UK. This is when we work. And then the whole world is on the same time, man. They do that in China, it's super confusing. 
That sounds shit. That sounds really shit. Now, there are two tasks I would have you perform. The first requires you to inspect the buildings which surrounded the Ondo settlement and note their most distinctive characteristics. For the second, I wish you'd use this knife to take scrapings from one of the remnant walls. Maybe as thorough as you can. You should be waiting here for the results of your investigations. Yeah, why is there... Why is there a city down here, bro? I just got elegant, man. I just got elegant. I got elegant on the brain. It's always elegant. When in doubt, if you see an ancient thing, elegant. Would you actually account for it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, live some, some. Yeah, I mean, that's like, yeah, I'm. Yeah. I appreciate where you're coming from with that. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, uh, I don't, I don't really think about that stuff too much. I kind of just play, and then if people are here, people are here, and obviously I want them to enjoy it. Oh, shit, I probably should have read that. Ah, uh, bugger. Ah, uh, I should have read that. Oh, well, it probably just said some shit like, you scraped the wall, and there, and nothing happened. <laughs> Actually, Snacky, you can tell me, because you're about to do it. You can tell me what it said. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go, Yankee. But yeah, for sure, I mean, I'd, I'd want to try and conclude. It, for me, it's less about, like, viewership numbers and more about the viewers that can attend. And I want to try and make sure that NA and EU can attend for the time in which all of the main Shadowbringers ending stuff occurs, you know? Like, I want to time it nicely so that it's like... Everyone gets to in, in, enjoy it, you know. Oh, is that it? You set the point of the knife against the wall, but even after applying considerable pressure, you cannot remove so much as a flake of stone. Okay. I'm sorry I made you type that out. Inspect the structures of the Undo Cups for distinctive features. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target a building and examine it. Be sure to check closely for anything unusual. Oh my god, is that going to be another, uh... Another duck bill? What are they called? Shoe bill? I'm looking for shoe bills. Troll man. <laughs> there is a shoe bill here at the bottom of the ocean for some reason. <laughs> oh, dude, they're funny, man. I honestly, okay, the thing is, I wouldn't have even noticed that this was a meme if you didn't point it out to me. So, kudos to you guys for pointing out the shoe bills earlier, man. Boy, just looking at me. Okay, what am I actually looking for, though? What is that? Cle Cleonid Lava. Cleonid Lava floats aimlessly. A fallen look on his face, it seems harmless enough. Okay. Inspect the structures which comprise the Ondo Cups. What is an Ondo Cup? Distinctive window, okay. The tall slender towers feature many el elaborate windows, the, one, the likes of which you have seen nowhere else. I mean, do they kind of look like the buildings from Bothry in the float uh, in the floating mountain? Kind of, I guess. Very light. Try looking at your shoulder again. I want to see what it does. What do you mean? 
Oh, what with the camera? Where's my volume low on YouTube? Uh, it should be this equal on everything. I can turn down BGM. It's probably just a bit loud. Oops. Turn that down a bit. Yeah. It shouldn't be any different on YouTube in terms of volume. Like, it should, it should be equal on both. But it probably, I said mic far away from my face. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what have you discovered? Yes, I would agree that the windows are most distinctive. It would seem the structures appear the same to both your site and mine. Now you may say you could not so much as scratch the wall, even with all your might behind the blade. Cyber, every turn where I turn in this place, my gaze is drawn by peculiar materials for which I do not have a name. The buildings I had you investigate are prime examples. They may appear to be constructed of ordinary stone, but I assure you it is nothing of the sort. If pressed, I would describe the substance as, the substance as a composite of several mineral properties, blended to create a material of unparalleled durability. Even the Ronkin Empire, once the greatest power in Norvran, produced nothing which compares to this level of perfection. But if not the Ronkins, then who? Who were these ancients the Ondo claim as the architects of their sanctuary? I suspect our answer lies with the reason Emmett so withdrew here to the Tempest. He may simply have wished to retreat somewhere mere mortals would struggle to reach. But there are many such remote locations. Why here specifically? Emmett, Emmett Selch. Dude, I keep, I keep jokingly calling him Emmett Selch. But then... I have to, I've tricked myself now because now I always have to double check before I read his name. <laughs> Emmett Selk is devoted to his role, and thus we might assume his choice of stronghold somehow serves the Asian agenda. Ooh, maybe this is where all the Asians meet up, bro. Maybe they got like a little base camp. Like you remember in ARR where you see them in their little organization 13 hangout, you know? Because we've never been there. Maybe it's where all the boys come chill after a hard day's work, you know what I mean? Or mayhap tis a place more dear to him than any other. Are you saying this was built by ancient Asians? Is this the third time that the Warrior of Light has told me information that I should have guessed? Ancient... Ancient Asians, how did these pyramids get here? Why are you guys even watching me, MSQ? If the Warrior of Light has to tell me info, man. I couldn't say either way, could this place provide power to Emmett Cell? Are you saying this was built by ancient Asians? That could make sense, actually. I mean, Allegans are the Asians, so if it's like the same thing. That is my theory, that these structures are remnants of a time before history, of a star that was yet whole and unbroken. So traces in the... <clears throat> <clears throat> Such traces in the source would have been obliterated by the succession of umbral calamities, but here in the first they might have remained untouched for millennia. Okay. A copy of the mural in the Katana uh, Ravel. Almet presented it to me during my visit to Fano, after our victory in Calusia. Here in the first scene, oh, I remember this. Here in the first scene, by Emmett Selk's own words, it depicts a city of Eon's past and the disaster which befell it. 
Yeah, this was like the calamity of his world, yeah? Um, the design is much simplified, of course, but do you see the similarities between its towers? Honey? No. And those you've just inspected. This looks like a four-year-old drew it. They look like the what is it called in the uh, in London, the aubergine or some shit. What is it called? The gherkin. What do they call it? They just look like that. We are close to the truth. I feel. Let us search the surrounds for another tower, one which matches the picture near enough to remove all doubt. From what I've seen, not more than sand and more sand lies to the east, and the south held no such structures. So we try to look further to the northwest. Right, okay, so there's a lot in that. So, okay, you may review the Tunnel mural at any time during this quest. Okay, the quest destination will not be displayed on your map. You must search for a structure which resembles the buildings in the mural, then inspect it from the survey point. The survey point will be found nearby in a location which allows... Okay, yeah, sure. So, okay... So what I'm thinking is that this... Okay, that would answer why he's here. So this must be the remnants of his... Uh, of his... This must be the remnants of his, the city of his world, but not on the source, but a reflection of it. That sounds about right. Which would make sense as to why he came here, I guess? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, find a structure that resembled those in the copy of the Tanner of mural, then inspect it from the survey point. So I open the m map. Okay. The structure which resembles one of the buildings in this mural. Inspect it from the survey point. Found nearby. Many shows investigation for the northwest. Okay, so move northwest. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. You end up googling this one? What, the quest? Okay, so I actually have to pay attention here. Wow. Love quest without marking, but this one through me. I mean, I'm just gonna go north and then I'm gonna go west, man. Fun fact there is no fun fact, so keep going. Are you sure? These mobs look nice. Kind of spooky. So I'm looking for a building. Has anyone seen a building? Dude, this is pretty cool, man. Shadowbring is a sick. What's that? Shadowbring is a sick, man. Like... Where did I start? She said go northwest, right? Yo. Uh, that doesn't look like it, does it? Hold on. Just the one? Yeah, that was easy. Chat. Okay. Chat. Go north and west. You guys made that sound like it was going to be a lot... A lot harder. You, guys. Top tip. If you see a rock, it's not that. Keep going. Aye, this is a mural. The mural writ large. Did the same thing to know what channel I was on about? I guess, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Though I cannot guess it at its purpose. I mean, it doesn't even look like the one in the picture. Though I cannot guess at its purpose. It must have been an imposing sight. How much of the tower's heights lies hidden beneath the ground, I wonder. 
Oh, it could be the top of the tower. Centuries of our history have set settled upon such ruins. Countless layers of dust and sediment. An entire civilization, its existence forgotten by all except a handful of Asians. Okay, I was worried about coming to this zone beforehand because I was like, oh, it's going to be like chores. And I somehow... And then... Um... I'm here, and this is actually pretty sick. This is actually really cool. I've never realized it was a small monument. Yeah, I'll be honest, I got here, I saw Snacku, and just assumed it must be right. I was looking for a building. The chore fake out? Yeah, this is sick, dude. Thank you, it's even like, oh, we got chores, but this is this is really cool. So we're finding out about the, the ASEAN civil. So I don't get it. So like every world that's a reflection, like why would the city still remain? Because the other places haven't... Like, you've been in a zone and there's a civilization there, but there isn't, like, already buildings and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, surely it's like every world evolved. Like, there was a point and that point in time it split, and then it's like, right, now we're going to continue developing from this point. An entire civilization, its existence forgotten by all except for a handful of Asians. And yet it did exist. They lived here in this city. I think she explained it. Uh, did she? But let us focus on what we've learned thus far. The Ondo chieftain spoke of mysteries stirring, of a land illuminated. Judging by his words, he believes this phenomenon related to the ancients' return. Thus can we surmise that what the Ondo saw shining in the abyss was in all likelihood yet another remnant of this age-old civilization. And who else would light the lanterns, as Reen put it, than Emmett uh, Selk himself? She's almost certain he is there. The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. I shrug it most convincingly. <gasps> Let's go. I don't even... Uh, I don't... It feels like it's a waste to get flying in the final zone. But I guess... Uh, I guess not when it was relevant content, so... And the Warrior of Light shall answer. Yo, this is sick, man. If we were to find the stronghold in a timely manner, it seems gaining the Ondo's trust remains our swiftest path forward. I only hope our deeds are enough to win them over. Okay. Thank you for assisting me with my investigations. I shall seek out our companions and share what we have learned. Much as I would like to tell you to sit down and leave the rest to us, your condition demands that we make all reasonable haste. If you are not too weary, it may be useful to speak with Poss Owen again and ask if there is aught else he is willing to divulge. It's never a waste. Yeah, it was probably like not a complete waste, but it just feels like I'm going to complete this zone and then just move straight on, you know? Whereas, like, the other zones, you kind of go back to and, you know. If you're not too weary, I'm pretty weary, dude. At this point, Jesus. Ah, Alphano's friend. You and your companions have done much to repair the damage caused when the waters parted. Anything else you can do? Hmm. Have you been to the walls of the Forgotten? Uh, I think... I think I've just come from there. The ruins to the northwest. The remnants to the northwest. Yes, you visit in them unbidden. Psh. Could it be that your footsteps were guided by the ancients? I believe it may be so. Listen then, and I will tell you of our plans to bring light to the walls, that we might enter the shining call of the illuminated land. We have requested a finless craftsman to shape for us a sacred lamp. He is odd for a land dweller, choosing as he does to live in the ocean, but his skill is beyond question. It is concerning, however, that we have had heard nothing of his progress. If we were to visit this artisan and return with our long-awaited light, then any doubt as to your purpose would be laid to rest. His name is Grenolt. You'll find his workshop in a metal structure to the south. Isn't that a guy from earlier in... Isn't that a guy from earlier in Shadowbringers? 
Boy, is that the name of the blacksmith on Eureka? No, that's... That's... What's the name of the blacksmith in Eureka? That also starts with a G, right? Oh, Geralt? Not Grenolt? Very different. Very different. Both, both blacksmiths, very different. You may want to stop after this quest. Really? Okay. So he's a human. Oh, but he lives in this. Okay. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I was like, is he Asian? I was like, how else is he living down here? The workbench. Or he may not want to stop. Dude, I'm so, like, on guard for this whole thing, man. Because I'm like... I'm like, I want to continue, but I want to, like, hold... You know what I mean? Like, okay, do you ever do... Do you ever lose something? And then you're trying to look for it. Um, and the most likely place that you might find it, you kind of leave until last to look. Because you want to savor the enjoyment you're going to have when you find it again. That's what this feels like. This is like, I want to continue, but I want to like, I want to like, slow continue. I'm like, just on guard. Uh, I don't recognize this dude. Oh, that's just great, that is. Me, my, me mind's playing tricks on me now. Look, Grenault, someone's come to visit you at the bottom of the bleeding ocean. Well, it might be as you're a ghost, eh? Go on, foul shade. Feast yourself on me, rotten soul. I've got no use for it. A craftsman what can't craft is more pointless than a sea slug with a dome and hammer. Oops. And that's an insult to bloody sea slugs. Grenot appears to be suffering from a crushing bout of self-doubt. Maybe you could help psych him up. Oh, God. Round two, dude. Okay, I can't fail this one. Not like I did with China's. Worthless, that's what I am. Grenot appears to be suffering from a crushing bout of self-doubt. Oh, oh, shit. Slash psych. Let's go. Huh? You wouldn't be trying to raise me spirits now, would you? Spirit? Not what you'd expect from a servant of the netherworld. Servant. Okay, I got this. Has it really come to this? Have we met before? Uh, might be as we cross ba paths back in the Crystarium, but I don't reckon we've been formally introduced. I still don't remember. Name's Grenolt, and this here's meant to be me underwater sanctuary, a place where I can give myself over to me work, far from the distractions of the outside world. And yet here we stand. Now what's so damn important that you dive all the way down to the bottom of the Bleeding Tempest to bother me? Oh, is he... I remember earlier today, there were two NPCs, like like the blacksmith lady, right? And she's like, oh, where's, um, what's his face? He goes wandering around. And then, oh, no one's seen him in, seen him in years. Because she's also a blacksmith. Ah, the Undo's Lamp. Yeah, okay, that's why his name is familiar, but his face isn't. Ah, that, okay, that gets me sometimes, actually, with, with, um, FF. Is, I'll, if I read someone's name and I remember it, then I assume that I should know their face. But that's not always the way. God's cursed me empty head, I've got, uh, I'm not so much as made a start. I'm worth, uh, worth less than a sea slug. Nay, the slime left by a sea slug. My delivery date's long past. My workbench is untouched. And I call myself a bleeding artisan. You've heard their beliefs, have you? Bringing light to them ruins it will be an act of deep religious and cultural significance. And it was my privilege as a craftsman to be tasked with providing a ritual instrument worthy of the occasion. But I just can't bloody well... Ah! My mind's a bleeding blank. It's like I pissed away my last drop of inspiration. 
Tell me you've got something to show me. Someone as will give me a muse, right? Good kick up the ass. If you stop here, there's no point of us having started with the roll quest. Oh, so this is the stopping point. Okay, that's juicy as hell. The Ondo want to honor the coming of these ancients. So their answering lights got to blaze with the light kind of brightness. With the right kind of brightness. Like like the spark of life caught in a crystal. But just being sparkly is not enough. It's got to dance with joy and sorrow and a sense of hardship endured. You know what I mean? I don't. Your thoughts turn to render Ray and the crystal you discovered at the end of her journey. Maybe Grenell could find inspiration in that. Thank God for the Warrior of Light, bro. Thank God. I've let the Undo down, aye. But more than that, I've let myself down. Might as well go back to mending kettles. Show the crystal. I'm glad we're probably stopping soon, bro, because I am so wiped, man. I'm so wiped. 12 hours yesterday and 8 hours today, bro. I'm... Whew. What's that you've got there? Such striking beauty. It shines with heartache and laughter and the transience of life, like the turmoil of history made manifest. Aye, I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. Ah, you'd never capture such a gleam, not if you labored a hundred years. Oh, literally, this is where you stop, because if you don't have the crystal, you can't continue. Ah, so that is the relevance for the role quest, but... I guess quite a bit of... Okay. Right, so that's why. Okay. That's cool. And this would be real. Okay, now I understand. This would be really frustrating if you got to this point. You're trying to figure out what's going on with these like buildings and like ancient ASEAN civilization and stuff. And then it's like you gotta go do. You gotta go help this rich cat boy in the strip club. You know, and you're like, uh. Yeah, the best was like 15 minutes after this. Okay. Um, I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. Ah, you'd never capture such a gleam, not if you labored a hundred years. But bugger me if I don't mean to try. Where are me tools, gods damn ya? I must set to work before the feeling fades. So, sorry, stop there. This is a good stopping point, okay. Okay, sick. Dude, awesome. Okay, this is crazy. There's no music. I don't like the lack of music. This is sick, man. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay. This is cool. So we're gearing up to go to like a... To go and see like a... Like where the Asians come from. I don't, what is Endwalker going to be? What is Endwalker going to be? I don't understand how there's a whole other expansion. This is a conclusion, surely. I genuinely don't how there's, know how there's a whole set of patch content and an expansion and then another set of patch content. He doesn't know. I <laughs> oh, this is so cool though, man, because this is like, I've had these questions for so long. I still don't quite understand, like, okay, I get that, th like, this is where they lived, but not on this planet, but on a different planet, but I don't quite understand, like, I don't get it. I don't get how the, like, remnants of their city is still here if they... Like, I know that Yashtal is like, oh, well, the Calamity didn't destroy, you know, the Calamity hasn't happened on this planet, so the city's not been destroyed. But, like, is that how it works? Again, I just have more questions than answers. So it's unlocked the job gear. The others are unlocked by completing uh, their respective role quests. Okay. Your job, uh, gear for any job associated with any role quest you finish from Grenoble. Oh, wait, really? Oh, yeah, I, I won't stop. Um, I almost clicked the qu I was like, okay. Okay, okay, sick, 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 sick. Sick, man. Dude, I'm so exhausted. I'm so wiped. Like, this is sick. I'm gonna get a good night's rest tonight, so tomorrow I can just feel like 
a thousand percent ready to go man it's already been explained has it i mean like i said like with the yishtola thing like i guess it's kind of been explained but like it's, i Sly still spielberg here coming at you live from the bottom of the ocean <laughs> to tell you about partner plus even though the times are turbulent here there is a place where heart rests and calm overtakes you the Ortsian cafe if you want to visit that legendary paradise you must subscribe the only way to get there is if you unlock the first month milestone of 300 points mm -hmm. subscribe now and the mm -hmm. Ortsian cafe could be your next destination the Ortsian the Ortsian uh -huh, uh -huh. Spielberg here coming at you live from the bottom of the ocean to tell you about partner plus mm -hmm. even though the times are turbulent here there is a place where heart rests and calm overtakes you the Ortsian cafe if you want to visit that legendary paradise you must subscribe the only way to get there is if you unlock the first month milestone of 300 points subscribe now and the Ortsian cafe could be your next <sighs> destination it could and i'll be there chat i'll be there i'll be there videoing recording sipping tea i hope they do good tea do they do the, do they do at the aeorsian cafe do they do aeorsian based meals like what have i got in my bags bro uh, do they do things like um like orange juice and like um boiled eggs okay i don't really have great food in my uh, cabbage baked egg. i've got some boring ass meals man god damn i hope the aeorsian cafe isn't this Risotto, okay. Al Nero, nice. Uh, espresso con pana. They have some uh, lug worms, plump, plump worms. You have the coffee I gave you. Yeah, th yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be nice at the cafe. There you go. Bam. Um, yeah, guys, actually, that is maybe a really good, maybe that's a really good moment to mention Partner Plus one final time for the stream. Um, Thank you for the copy passes. Guys, a lot was already said in that, but yes, I am pushing for Partner Plus. This is, we're, we're not even halfway through the month and I'm we're already over halfway. Uh, I'm really trying to push for this. If we get this first month, the others should just fall into place. Um, I, uh, I've got to get 300 points. Every time somebody tier one subs, tier twos or tier three subs, I get points. I either get one point, two points or six points respectively, depending on what level of tier you sub at. Gifted subs don't work. Prime subs don't count. Like, they don't count. Neither of them count. So if you are wanting to help push towards this, a tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3. Like, tier 3s are insane. Um, they had six points. The equivalent of six people subbing. Um, that's math. Six times one is oftentimes six. Uh, but it means, what those 300 points mean is that I get a 70-30 revenue share on my subs. So right now I get a 50-50 split. So every time somebody subs, I have like 400 sub points or something like that, right? Every time somebody subs... Twitch just take 50% of that straight away. So um, what this means is I get a 70-30 split, which is massive. It's a 40% pay increase to my income. It's, you know, like like I say, if your boss came in, called you into your office, uh, into their office um, tomorrow, and like, we're going to increase your pay by 40%, and you're like, holy shit, what I got to do? And they're like, nothing, just keep doing you, bro. Keep being you. Keep cooking eight seconds before the big reveal anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's the whole deal. You guys took me up from 60 points yesterday to 100 and over 150. This still needs to like catch up with some stuff from earlier, but you guys got a level six hype train, like bunch of tier threes, bunch of tier ones. So, you know, if you like hanging out in the stream, if you enjoy it, if you're looking forward to more end Walker MSQ finishing off Shadowbringers, looking forward to raids, I'm gonna start an I'm gonna start ultimate raiding soon as well. I am gonna dedicate a day of the week that we're gonna start doing ultimates probably within the next week or two. Um, probably probably quite soon that we're gonna start doing an ultimate and we'll dedicate a day to it. Um, so if you want to see this content, the Eden raid, Savage, and all that stuff, you know, I mean, and you and you like the content, you like hanging out here, then definitely consider you know if you're not subbed or if you're prime subbed consider converting over to a tier one if you're already a tier one consider a tier two or a tier three um it's super important for the stream if i can hit this and it would just go a really long way but um yeah i'm gonna do some sorry i'm gonna do some prizes so if we hit the first month i'm gonna try and do a live stream at the aosia cafe to the best of my ability failing that i'll just do a live stream in japan period and it'll be at a convenient time where like a lot of people can tune in and stuff 
And then um, I also do a specific video of me going and recording in the Aosia Cafe if I can't actually live stream there. And then I will do, uh, on the second month, if we hit that, I will do a Joe Cat furry themed uh, cosplay for the stream. And in the third month, if we hit that, I will do a saucy calendar. I still don't really fully know what that's going to be. I haven't got all the poses worked out in my mind, but it'll be tasteful. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see some funny rewards, you want to see me do some meme stuff, and you want to just support the channel, then consider helping out Toys Partner Plus. But uh, yeah, you guys have done so awesome today. Like, you know, I'm not going to drag on about it, but yeah, thank you so much. I'll probably talk about it again briefly tomorrow and, and whatnot. But yeah, the sooner we hit it, the sooner I can shut the hell up um, about it. So yeah. Um, Shard's a copy of the source from the time of the Sundering. That included the landscape and buildings. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, that's what Ishtala explained, but that's what I'm kind of... Okay, well, that's what she said, but she didn't say, oh, when the, like, when the reflections occurred, there was a literal carbon copy cut of, like, copy, you know, control C, control V on everything. So... That was like obviously a potential theory. The other potential theory is like, well, yeah, I mean, that's probably the main theory. That probably makes the most sense. Is that the world split, different races were created, right? And then like, yeah, everybody was sort of separated out across these reflections. That's what I kind of think. Oh, sorry. Emmett. Yeah, well, no, but Yashtola just said a second ago about some stuff relating to that. Are you doing first Eden Tier Savage next after MSQ or just normal mode? So we'll probably do normal mode, then do 5.1, then do the first tier of Eden, do 5.2, second tier of Eden, 5.3, third tier of Eden, then probably 5.4, 5.5, then do all of the extremes, the Alliance Tower, uh, Alliance Raid, Alliance Tower, Alliance Raid, then do 6.0. And in the meantime, I'll also start doing ultimate. Oh, that's the thing is I want to start an ultimate, but I don't want to do ultimate and savage at the same time because that might be a bit too much for people. Maybe. Maybe actually it might be a nice break, actually. It might be a nice break to have, you know, say we had a couple days of savage, then do an ultimate, you know. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, also this is how you get your job gear, eggs, cabbage. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, busy, yeah, let's chat. Uh, really important, do not log out in Tempest. Okay really important don't dude what's going on man okay so wait hold on uh so i can't even log out here at the i can't even log out here at the yondo cups i have to like leave the zone yeah so if i go back to, oh you know what i haven't done i haven't gone to the gold saucer boom got it gotcha gotcha okay so don't log out here okay you guys have been so cryptic since i've gotten to this part of the story man Everyone's on so on edge, man. It's putting me on edge. You guys like side, don't do this, don't do that. Look here, don't look there. Do this, do that, you know. Side, don't turn around. There's a monster behind you. Come on. What a guy. No, you wouldn't. Would you? Surely not. Oh. You son of a gun. Really important that you have to clean your inventory or everyone will actually die for real. Yoshi P told me this is... No joke. My inventory is fine. Ish. It's fine. Um, uh, subject will be silent issue. I mean, um, I don't know. You should like, I, dude, I can't really comment. All I can go off is what other people are saying in chat. If other people in chat think you are leading, then all I can do is, like, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't know. 
we just try and like everyone's just trying to do their best to make sure that like things aren't spoiled and that people don't give me information to direct how I think because then you know yeah that can that can kind of put ideas in my head and stuff but that's all I can comment on obviously I don't you know so it's hard for me to police my own stream on MSQ related stuff because I just don't know um yeah but me not knowing information is totally fine it's funny when I then We've had some really funny moments in the stream based on me not knowing stuff, so... You know, it's fine if I don't know everything. Yeah. Yeah. You should think today about Moogles. Oh my god. There aren't Moogles at the bottom of the ocean, are there? Koopo? That would be just my luck. That would be just my luck, man. I go underwater... Bam. Moogles. Uh, probably catch it on the later end because of work, but if it goes like tonight, should be fine. What, yes, stream? Uh, with a story? Mmm. Wait, if I can't make it live for the finale tomorrow? If you get to the hospital in the early morning. Mmm. Well, I hope everything's going to be okay. And, mmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do my best, like, ah, oh, dude. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm just gonna do the MSQ when it works for me tomorrow. I'm gonna start it at like 12 o'clock Japan, which is like, uh, when is it? 4 a.m. UK, 5 a.m. Europe. It's gonna suck, but I don't know what else I can do. What's your GMT plus? So I'm eight hours ahead currently because of uh, daylight savings or summer, British summer time, right? It's BST right now. Um, so I'm eight hours ahead in Japan and I am the, so 16 hours ahead of Pacific and 13 hours ahead of East Coast. And is it going to be like eight hours of ultimate one day a week? It'll likely be, yeah, it'll be like one full day of ultimate once a week. Um, I wouldn't want to, it would just be like a project that we're working on because I think an ultimate is like cool and there'll be like a day where I'm going to dedicate and be like, right guys, this day of the week, this is ultimate prog. So people know, nice, it's a, it's a Tuesday, size going to be prog and ultimate, awesome. I'll, not, not interested in ultimate, I'll be back on the Wednesday or something, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing where people will just know ahead of time. Um, Yeah. Your damage regarding ultimate stuff, actually. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take a look. I'll check it out. Yeah. Maybe focus on the story till DT, then come back and do Savage. Sure, but I, I don't think I need to, like, rush for Dawn Trail, you know? Like, it's something I've thought about, but I kind of enjoy breaking up the content with... Like, the Savage content exhausts me in a different way to the MSQ, but both make me tired. And, like, but just in a different way. And I kind of like doing an MSQ break to do some raiding and then do a raid break to do some MSQ. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to break it up with a bit of MSQ, bit of raid, bit of MSQ, bit of raid. And then hopefully that should just make it less like three weeks of raiding, then three weeks of MSQ, then three weeks of raid. It's like, you know, should be a little bit more mix and matchy. I'll watch Ultimate. Yeah, sick. Yeah, awesome. I ho hopefully a lot of people are going to want to check them. It'll be my first time doing them, so I think it'll be really exciting. Like... Like, I really want to, I really want to just, like, bring my A game for the Ultimates, you know? Like, I kind of want to, um, try and do, part of me wants to do an Ultimate where I kind of just get told what to do and then just see how well I can do it and how well I can execute my job. And then part of me wants to be like, oh, I want to try and figure out strats and figure out cooks and stuff like that, you know? No, uh, be carried. I mean, it's more so for me, like, okay... I'm in a simulation, because right now when I'm playing in raids, I'm trying to talk to chat, plus cook, plus play my class, plus potentially direct people, and I'm making calls, I'm raid leading, but on a delay, so it's not true raid leading, but like, I'm trying to do all that stuff at the same time, and I would love, and obviously that detracts from my ability to play samurai like super well. Uh, because, like, there's more brain power being split across other things. So I'll do something and I'll go, oh, that was wrong. Oh, that was wrong. But it's because I'm trying to think about other stuff. So 
I'd love to see, like, right, how well can I just focus on me doing my mechanics? A lot of time as well, like, I'll be watching a mechanic, and I'm, like, trying to do the mechanic, but then watch someone else do it as well, and see, like, hmm, can I notice anything about their gameplay, or how things affected them? So it's, like, it's, like, it detracts from me just focusing on my mechanics and stuff, so I would love to do a, a fight. Like, maybe my first ultimate, I'll just... Maybe my first ultimate is probably not good to cook. Maybe it's good for my first ultimate to, like, go in with a few people and, like, watch a guide and then try and just, like, break that down together or something. And I can just focus on me. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some thinking on how I think it's going to be most entertaining and most fun. Ultimately, it's got to be the most entertaining for you guys. And I think part of that is me having fun, too. So, um... Can you Discord port to see if viewers want to see you blind cook or follow guide? Yes, because Uwu is the only raid only only ultimate that i haven't looked at a guide for i've not seen anything on uwu so uwu is the one the only fight that i could do blind if i wanted to every other one i've looked at um but like yukob for example i looked at yukob after i did coils i looked at yukob about six months ago so but more actually probably more probably closer to like eight months ago so i probably have forgotten a lot of it you know uh, podcast, pod, podcast tomorrow? Yes. Podcast will be at UK's 3 p.m. My 11 p.m. So Japan 11 p.m. UK 3 p.m. It'll be CT 4 p.m. It'll be Pacific, Pacific 16 hours behind? Let me see the, what is it? 11 p.m. T is 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday. Yes. So 10 a.m. Thursday is my 11, is, is the podcast tomorrow for Pacific. Oh, no, that's Eastern. Sorry, that's Eastern, Eastern. So 10 a.m. Eastern will be doing the podcast with Russ. Yeah. That'd be good. That's, so yeah, that's like tomorrow. Um, if you get seven people who have cleared, you can cl easily clear an ultimate in one day. See, I'd want it to be more of a challenge than that. That would just be, like, even I would feel carried at that point. Like, that would just feel like shit. It would just remove so much awe and spectacle from a fight if I can clear it in a day. It would just make it feel like it's an, uh... It would make it feel like it's, uh, an extreme. I want to feel the weight of an ultimate. But I'm happy to not need to take six months to prog it like i'm happy to do like one day a week for like a month two months or something you know yeah it wouldn't feel un i mean yeah i mean like there's certain degrees of of how much you earn something right like there's varying degrees for me if i cleared it in a day i it doesn't matter how good i played it would still just feel completely like i got just full on like i could have just afk'd but um but, uh, if I did it, if it took it longer, you know, then it would probably feel more so like, oh, we really worked for this, you know. Go healer and ultimates, DPS and ultimates, ZZZ, yeah, play support. I will eventually. I will try it out eventually. But I'm going to be a DPS main for DT, 100%, you know, so... Guys, he's playing Samurai and Monk. Yeah, I'm probably going to try and do an ultimate as Monk. So, I think hopefully that should be hard enough where people will respect it and be like, yeah, cool. Or maybe Monk is e easier to do? I don't know. But an ultimate will come in the next expansion? Yes, that'll be... I want to be ready for that. I want to be re I want to be ready for DT, uh, DT Ultimate. I want to be stepping in day one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Respect it? No chance. You got carried whatever happens. <laughs> it was harder in 2010, by the way. <laughs> Mom, can I have some more Hot Pockets? <laughs> Damn, why won't this girl text me back? <laughs> Man, I wish my mom was... 
living with me, making me hot pockets. Think we're texting girls? Oh yeah, for sure. You're definitely, you're definitely. Final Fantasy players definitely texting girls. What's happening is like, they're joining into a PF, and uh, people join Discord. Maybe it's Savage something, and they join Discord and, you know, they enter in a little greeting where they're like, oh hey hey everyone, and then they hear a voice go, uh, hey guys, and they go, go go. Go, 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 go. And they play it cool, of course, you know, because why would they overreact? And then they, uh, they play the raid night out, no problems, you know? And then after the raid night is over, they DM the individual in question and they go, Hey, just wanted to say, I'm really impressed with how you managed to keep up with all us guys tonight you're good at gaming for a girl with like a emoji so I think you're texting girls yeah I think so pretty <laughs> wow you're the best healer I've ever seen Why do girls always play? They're always healers, man. <laughs> Those are wild players. Hey, it could be both. I mean, I've been racing since before I transitioned and did actually have guys say cringe stuff at me when I was a girl. Yeah, I mean, I think every guy probably has at some point. I don't know if I have. I, if I had a good story, I'd tell you. No, I remember, okay, I've never done, like, the whole, like, oh my god, there's a girl in our raid team. I've never done that because, like, who cares, man? Um, what am I gonna do? Like, have a long-distance relationship with a girl that lives in, like, Seattle? Like, no, dude. But, um, and hey, for those of you that do, power to ya. Power to ya. Love it. Keep it up. But, um, so I've never, I've never, like, I've never, like, been bothered by that. But, like, I remember being, like, ten... Or 11, 12, maybe, like, yeah, 12, 13, stuff, playing World of Warcraft, and, like, 28-year-old women telling me about their divorce that they're, you know, going through and stuff, and I'd be, like, trying to be, like, hey, like, legit, you know that meme where it's, like, me, like, 13-year-old me playing World of Warcraft, helping a 27-year-old through her divorce, like, legit, that is... I remember doing that as a kid, I think on two separate occasions, and I don't think I understood. You know, like, when you're a kid, you're just like, uh, hey, you know, well, like, you know, if, uh, yeah, you know, if he's not treating you right, then, you know, just leave, you know, <laughs> get out of there, and be like, you don't know what's going on. I've definitely been in that situation, like, twice. <laughs> You know how expensive Seattle is to live in? It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard. Press transition is weird too, because I had a guy who didn't realize I was trans say, so you're nice and sweet like a girl. I'm not gay though, but just saying. Thanks. Thanks. What do you do with that information? Hey, you're pretty sweet for a guy. Like this relationship with a girl you've never met IRL sounds like a big commitment. Hey, it's, it's some people it really will. I don't like. Hey, pal, you know, go for it. Um, you know, everybody's different relationship. Some people love that. Some people are cool with that. You know, yeah. And the best Sam I know is a girl. Sam, there you go. Wait, I'm not a girl. Uh. Because I'm the best Sam that you know, right? Right? <laughs> Sam, the best samurai that you know. Say it. Say it. You son of a bitch, you say it. Lest. Thou jest. Unless. Huh? No? Huh? What the hell? Am I sure I'm not a girl? I, it's, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? 
Who's to say? Me, probably. I, I probably am the one to say. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Bro, how did we get here? What's going on? You'll have to know like this game if you're going to be remotely ready for DT Alt Day 1. Surely not. Surely not. Right? Shut up, Sai. I like healing okay. Full caps. <laughs> Sorry, Annie. <laughs> uh what's that right i i'm on um oc i'm on sephiroth but um i'm i'm heading off shortly heading off shortly yeah just kind of chilling i like doing a little wind down with you guys you know it's like nice we get to like chat with no like pressure of msq like leering you know i'm not i'm not delaying anyone you know uh trust me sorry yeah is that i mean because in terms of the amount of content that i had ahead of, uh, i have ahead of me or is that because of the amount of prep that's going to need to go into, like, getting my gear and running extremes to gear up and crafting and, like, unlocking this and that and that kind of thing? If you don't do Eden Blind, you should be on time. Okay. I mean, even if I don't do Ultimate... Okay, okay, tell you what. Even if I don't do Ultimates day one, as long as I get into them, like whilst it's very current you know like when people are still like fresh then i'll be happy and for six weeks at max level plus two three weeks of savagery clears to get it for ulti day one right okay yeah yeah okay sure 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 that sounds like a lot you have a uh you have hard content ahead of you that you have to do because you all will be drawing from that plus gear grind plus getting the requisite skill and experience okay yeah I like playing here because I like controlling the lives of the Hey, guys, you don't need to justify to me why you play healer. It was just... It was only a yoke. <laughs> it's like one of those stereotypes that's, like, lightly true. You know what I mean? It's like... I mean, all stereotypes are stereotypes for a reason. There's, like, a little bit of smidge of truth to them, you know? But no, I'm obviously me, man. You play whatever the hell you want to play. Whatever you enjoy. <laughs> like men always play cat girls yeah yeah we do we do cat girls bunny girls cheer girls girls yeah of course it's true i need absolute control i will rescue you into the mechanic fiend um but yeah 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 uh, guys, I think I'm going to probably round it off there for the day. Um, I am going to get to the gym. It's 7.30 now. I've done another eight and a half hour stream. Wow, so I did 12 hours yesterday, eight and a half hours. Wow, I've done twenty hour, over 20 hours of streaming in two days. So that's pretty sick. That's really cool. Today's been, like, awesome as usual. Tomorrow I'm going to do... Tomorrow I'm going to be taking it easier, obviously, because I'll have the gym. Uh, uh, I'll have football, but me and Russell will have the podcast on the evening. So, yes, um, that'll be the deal. Um, tomorrow, we will finish base Shadowbringers. And what I might even try and do is start leveling up my Astrologian so that I can... Oh, this is so hard. I want to level Monk up. I want to level Astrologian so I can do the other role quests because you guys have told me they're good. And I also want to level up a tank. So, I actually have... Dude, I need just like a month of just leveling jobs. I just need to just level a shit ton of jobs. Like, I want to get healer done. I want to get tank done. I want to get ninja, dragoon, monk, samurai, summoner. I got so much to do. So, um, that's what we'll probably start the stream with. So, we'll start the stream at 9 a.m. Japan. Start with some leveling of jobs. Then we'll go into MSQ at 12, okay? That's going to be the start of MSQ, 12 o'clock Japan. Boom. PM, obviously, PM. Um, and then we'll just play MSQ for five hours. Then I'll call it a day. Go to football, come home, get ready for the podcast, and just slam the podcast out with Russ. So, um, yeah, that'll be the plan. 
And uh, yeah, today I don't know how to say thank you guys enough. Everyone that's been watching on the red platform, thank you so much. Everyone watching on the purple platform, thank you so much. I really hope you guys are enjoying this dual dynamic. And I hope that it's pleasant for you over on the red platform. You guys get to check the VODs and uh, and have, well, having all the VODs there for you. And just getting more, you know, more like side content and MSQ and whatnot. So, um, yeah, from the red platform. Because, yeah, thank you. Oh, Kijata. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Why did you even read? Like, wait. Did you type that? Yeah. Yeah. You type. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kijato. Uh, look forward to the podcast from Red Platform. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it as well. So, yeah. Um, upload the full Shadowbringers finale. Uh, well, all my vods, all my all my live stream vods are here. So it will when I stream it tomorrow, it'll be automatically just there. I will probably upload it as a separate video as well. I think people will probably like that. Um, and yeah. Um, thank you so 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 much for everyone that has subbed today whether it be a prime whether it be gifted subs or tier ones tier twos tier threes working for that partner plus you guys in like two days we've gained a hundred over a hundred points a partner plus let me see what it's at now okay it's still saying 155 it's lying to us it's definitely higher than that it's probably like 170 ish now um we are really really close to hitting partner plus for month one and it would mean a lot to me if we can do that. So I'm so appreciative of those of you that have tier one, two, and three today. It's, I don't know how to say thank you enough. And um, yeah, I'm just really appreciative and I'm just gonna keep working hard to put out more content for you guys. So thank you. Um, and yeah, just to everyone watching, have a great night and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ah, my voice, wow. Okay, I'm gonna go rest my voice. Um, okay, heck yeah, Irvish. Cyber. Uh, this is a noteworthy yeah. person who's known in the Yo, community. Yo, Chip Chip, thank you for the Prime as well. On the buzzer. Bam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Take care. See you tomorrow. Sai Spiel Bear here. If you happen to be watching on the red platform, I see you. I notice you. I thank you. But I would thank you more if you subbed with a tier 3 on the purple platform. It will help me get partner plus will will benefit my sub split. I will also have month rewards including an 8 seconds stream of the Aeorzean <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> okay, 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 you son of a bitch. Alright, well on that note, fuck you all. Good night. Bye!